what topics are we talking about? Oh, you know, stuff. <laughs> talk about everything. I don't have like a central theme. My podcast kind of just goes all over the place. It's like really, it's super chill. It's more like a, a group of friends just hanging out, talking about whatever. And you can always contribute topics to chat. You have to join Discord, though. Uh, there is a topic suggestion thread. And go follow them. We should have a command for everybody. I think it's exclamation mark guests. Yeah, I know you can't hear Fox or Bad Bunny. They're muted right now. I think Bad Bunny's working on it. Um, there she is. Hey, sorry about that. Hey, no problem. Let me see. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me back. I'm really excited because I had so much fun last time. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for thanks for wanting to come back. I appreciate it. It was really hard to get a lot of people. Normally, I would have like five girls chat, but everyone had different plans this weekend. So really, was, yeah, just this what are they be doing? Us. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> everyone was like, "No, I don't want to stream this week." I'm like, okay. Oh really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff happening right yeah, now, but uh... I imagine people are just like stressed out. Mm -hmm. They don't want to deal with online at the moment. Mm -mm. Yeah. So we have JCG and Fox Miss Prime. Are yeah. their mics on or are they? Uh, Jay's is, I think. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, wait. Up? I know JC, JC. Is it JCG? Yeah. You just call me Jay. Jay? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Uh, nice to meet you, by the way. My name is uh, Nicole or, or Bad Bunny, whatever. Nice Yo. to meet you, Fox Miss Prime. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Fox, um, I know you're talking about your. It sounds like your headset microphone. Mine? No, Fox's. Oh. Uh, Kevin. The sound the audio doesn't really match up to what your oh. microphones look like, but um, I don't know. I just want to <laughs> check what Discord set to. Yeah, Fox and Miss Prime. I think. Um, and by the, do you want me? What do you want me to call you, Fox and Miss Prime? Is that the best thing to call you? Yeah, that's fine. Or okay. Foxy, like. Or Foxy. Google. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you might seat. want to check out your sensitivity and your Discord settings for your audio. That I, if you're no one's beats. Is that different? Does it sound different? Um, That's a little I different mean, now, I think. A little bit, yeah, because you were cutting out before quite a bit. Does that help? So far, yeah. All right. Yeah. Is it better now? Yeah, I think yeah. it sounds better. Not a static okay. Well, don't know why that would be happening. Okay. But my input my input was on uh, just the default, which so it shouldn't have been coming through my mics. Mm, yeah, that can happen. All right, ladies, thank you for coming. Um, I guess we'll do introductions first. You can talk about what you stream, where people can find you, and what do you think is going to happen for the rest of 2020 as well. Oh, I boy. I don't know <laughs> what can get worse at this point. We'll do that after introductions. So if you guys want to <laughs> go around and... If you want to go first, you can, or I can go first. Up to you. Um, okay, I'll go. <laughs> you can go. Um, go for it. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Caitlin. My stream name is pronounced Amaranth, and I have been streaming for about four years now. I do variety streaming. My main content can be found in like the just chatting section on either doing cooking or pool streams or workout streams, fitness streams, just talking to chat some days. Uh, sometimes I do podcasts like this. I do a variety of some other d dating show type um, segments as well. I'll help people with their dating profiles if they need it or if they have relationship help. They can always ask me during that moment as well. Sometimes I have girls on to judge with me. It just depends. So it's a lot of variety. Uh, and I also really enjoy having my animals on stream too. That's what I hope will be in the future. You forgot dancing? Oh, oh well, I mean, that's part of fitness. Oh, and ASMR. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But yeah, that's basically me. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter also. I have a social media link in there. But yeah, that's me. Who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go next. Okay. My name. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Nicole. Uh, or I go by Bad Bunny. Um, I am a political streamer. So I stream about politics every day. And I, my stream used to be just a gaming stream and I avoided politics completely, but now it's like all politics, which is crazy. <laughs> um, so as you can imagine right now, there's a lot to talk oh, about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's keeping me quite busy. And uh, you can catch me on my stream every day except for Tuesday, Wednesdays. That's my uh, streamer weekend. I take those days off. 
catch me every day on my stream at twitch.tv slash bad bunny. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to cover. Nice to meet uh, you all. Yeah, that's, that's it for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess I'll go. Okay. All right. I am Foximus Prime. I only do ASMR now on Twitch, um, but I do play a lot of games offline. Um, if you come into my chat and make friends with me, you can play games with me offline. But yeah, my Twitch channel uh, is just Foximus Prime. If you like ASMR, I do it from 10 Eastern time until 1 p.m. 1 a.m. And yeah, just Foximus Prime everywhere, pretty much. Uh, and that's all. <laughs> I think that's good though, because right now a lot of people need to relax. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Jay, you're up next. Last but not least, boys. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm Jay. I've been streaming for about uh, full time. I'd probably say about a year. I'm going on two years, I think. But overall, I'd probably say maybe four or five years. Been around for a while. Um, I've become more of a variety streamer. I would say I do pretty much everything and nothing at the same time. You know, I'm Relatable. pretty good for stalling. Yep. I just <laughs> professional whatever I can find. Yep. It's I just do whatever I can really. Um actually today on stream I was just showing them. I uh I make these or <gasps> let me see if I can I this is this is Dito. This is our, our pet rabbit that we actually we have. So I just made this on stream and um we here's another one you guys might know. Like yeah, we do. Features? We have a pet rabbit. I'm Capital pet D rabbit. Colin. They're, dude, these things, I love, I love rabbits. They're so adorable. But yeah. that's, yeah, I pretty much do everything. Um, hang Are out they, with like, friends. felt? Or what, what is that made out of? Yeah, it's wool felt. <gasps> mm -hmm. It's something I just got into maybe about a month ago or so. But I have, the whole box is just a bunch of colors. And I just, I try, I have, I think I have a couple more. Um, here's Feels Good Man. But I try oh, my I best to, to make them look as good as I can. Ooh. That's, that's all I do. That's adorable. me. Adorable. What's your hey, Twitter, by the way? My Twitter? Yeah. Uh, it's be JCG official. Everything is JCG official. I had to change it so that they all match. Yeah. It's do kind you, of annoying. You, but yeah, it's very do annoying. Do you make them for other people yet? <laughs> um, actually, yes. I'm making my roommates right now. So I just finished making... This is... His name's Crazy Slick. <gasps> and he kind of looks deranged, which means, you know, because he's crazy slick. So he looks a little weird. So that's him. And then I just made my other roommate, uh, Erob221. I just made him. Oh, this that's is awesome. Here. There you go. Yeah, he's a little clown. And <laughs> next is going to be Miz. And then, like I said, this is Dito. So I'll probably do Miz next, I think. Oh, cute. For fun. Thanks. I worked really hard on him. Thanks. And chat said, Jay looks too skinny. It's because her camera right now is really confused. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I figured out how to fix it. I don't want to mess anything up, though. So when I figure it out, I'll okay. let you know All later right. on. All right. No worries. Um, yeah, it's making it really skinny right now. But what do you guys think is going to happen for the rest of 2020? I mean, I don't know if it can get much worse than it already is, but the universe is going to show us wrong. Prove us wrong. I feel like we said that in 20. <laughs> I feel like we said that in 2019. We're, like, at least like me and like other people I talked to when mm -hmm. New Year's hit, we're like, Yay for 2020, because you know it's going to get better than this. There's no <laughs> way it's going to get worse. And then it's the like coronavirus. Um, I think Bernie uh, suspended his campaign. Uh, the whole Joe Biden sexual assault thing, I think, was in 2020. Um, and then obviously police brutality, Black Lives Matter, all this stuff, which, you know, it's always been an issue. Uh -huh. So I can't say like it happened in 2020, but no, I think it's just getting filmed. And honestly, like, yeah. I think that it exploded so much. Like people are filming it because everyone's online right now with the quarantine. And so the issue mm -hmm. is just like a lot of these issues are just like exploding because the people are all spending yeah. so much time online. So now we're just seeing more of it. I don't think it's a new issue at all either. Like yeah, but I'm filmed. glad it's finally being shown mm -hmm. like this. And I'm glad everyone's Agreed. getting on, or a lot of people get on board. Like a lot of yeah. people that normally would never be, never really were concerned about this or they didn't think it was that big of a problem. Or it's a lot of ignorance. I'm so glad to see yeah. that it's like getting a lot more exposure. It's great. Yeah, for, for mm -hmm. sure. But man, I don't know what else can happen with pandemic. Yeah, I don't know. Chaos happening. Don't forget the killer bee. Oh, right. killer bee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like the hornets, killer episode though. that came up randomly and now it's gone. And the aliens too. Can't forget oh, those aliens. Yeah. Those stop by. That was exciting. <laughs> yep. Oh. oh no. The aliens. Honestly, aliens would be kind of like a nice 
I, I I'm down for some that aliens. Be, Let's mix yeah, it up. that might be like good for this year. Mm -hmm. True, true. Yeah, bring more yeah. I don't know. Sorry, I'm like messing with what my, my uh, windows a lot. I'm very I'm no a professional worries. streamer. No, I've been doing fine. this for years. I feel you. So it's gonna be fine. Has anyone uh, had any spotting of the hornet? I don't know how far it's migrated. Can someone fill me in on this? I've been so um, busy with the police brutality black lives matter stuff that like i have not been paying attention to any of the hornet bee the stuff hornet. yeah I don't think anyone has. i'm pretty sure it just like it happened and then it, it was pretty much like everybody's calling it a filler episode like it just happened <laughs> and then it's done now true it just, yeah. has it though or are we just distracted by other issues and then as soon as you know we'll turn around and there they are and i think i think they like figured out uh like how to handle them like it wasn't like that big of an issue but it's like it's funny you say filler episode because it does start to feel or maybe for <laughs> people that have been paying attention to stuff more and more at least when mm -hmm. i started getting more and more involved in politics i was like i never realized that politics is like it's there's so much to meme about but it's also so kind of i don't want to say entertaining because it's like people dying it's not entertaining mm -hmm. but right. yeah it's kind of like it's, it's just it's a roller coaster of just I would oh my say god it's like said, definitely uh, cons it's consumed the internet not necessarily yeah. in an entertaining way just on people's <gasps> minds very present uh-huh yeah so it definitely is i don't know it's a lot of chaos chat what do you think let me put a poll in the chat let me put a poll do you think it can get worse <laughs> 2020 <laughs> Predictions. Hold on one second. I feel like Aliens we're jinxing the crap come, out of this right, right now. Not going away right now. Aliens will come exactly, to Earth. Exactly. A war will start. A, no, World War Three, right? World War Three will start. Those are some predictions for this year. <laughs> or, or, or. The world is actually going to end. The world will end. Or, this is the worst. Hmm. It'll be fine. This is the worst it can get. I can't have enough characters, Twitch! It ruins my poll abilities. There you go. 2020 predictions. Go. I'm curious on your thoughts, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens will come to Earth. Two votes. Four votes. <laughs> oh, aliens are winning currently. Let's hope so. <laughs> God, I really do. I want to see some aliens. That's to distract us from everything. It's like, what's worse? Getting sick or being probed? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, if you could go back though and tell your 15 year old self one thing, what do you think you would say? I, I never thought any of this would happen when I was 15, but do you have any advice you would give your younger self? Mm. You can go first if you want, Foxy. <laughs> I don't know what I would tell myself. Um, I'm just like a creative person, so probably just stick with uh, all the art that I was doing because. I think it was like once I got out of high school, I quit doing art and uh -huh. I saw somebody that was doing art at the same time as me and they weren't on the skill level that I was at that time. And now I see them now and I'm like, damn, if I would have put in the time, like, yeah. what would my art be like now? True. I Ooh. was in a similar situation. Yeah, I used okay. to like doodle a lot. And then for a long time, I stopped doing art just because I got busy with college and like other life things. And then when I started doing art again on Twitch, I was like, man, I could have, like, I could have progressed so much more <laughs> than I right. had. Because it feels like you just, like, picked up where you left off, and then you see all these people making amazing things, um, and you're like, ah, yeah. oh, if only I had invested the time. Yeah, definitely. I think Isn't I would have... crazy? Oh, go. Oh, sorry. Go. No, you can go for it. What's up? I was going to say, I'm back. Sorry, I had a mute. I was thinking someone for a rave was really sweet of them. Um, but, um... I do you remember when Twitch didn't even allow things other than video games like you if you ban or sorry if you streamed just talking to your audience without having like a video game that you were actively playing like you could get banned. 
It was the good old days. back in the day. Yeah, that was so yeah. long ago. The good old days. No, I like the it better good. now. It's way oh, better now. now. I like it better now, uh, too. But you definitely still got those people who are like, man, like back when it was just back, back in my just, day. Which is, which is weird because Justin TV started with that would be like an IRL streaming platform of like uh-huh. a just betting platform. It Isn't wasn't only a gaming thing. So back in the actual day, it actually started off not being just a gaming platform. Right. Do you know uh-huh. why they changed it to just gaming or why I they changed? I have no idea actually. Yeah, Do you know? know? No, that's what I was no, asking. I, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I don't... <laughs> yeah. I have no yeah. idea. I mean, they went the Amazon route, right? It's like, why sell yeah, books maybe when Am- you can sell everything? Mm-hmm. Ugh, Amazon, so. don't get me started. <laughs> I'm still working on my overlay. I take forever to do anything. I'm always late for my stream. I'm always late making my overlay. You disaster. sound very familiar to myself. <laughs> it's relatable. So in terms of um, things like getting worse, so there's the killer bees, apparently, which I'm assuming <laughs> is, uh, is, is these bees are coming after us for some reason. I have not read up any of this, Let's this stuff see. whatsoever. I'm going to Google that right now. What is the status of these killer hornets? The, I, think they, I think they were dubbed murder hornets. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah murder hornets. hornets. Yes. Straight. Yep. Is it because they kill bees, or is it because they chase after humans? Uh, they kill I, everything. I think, right? I think that if you get stung by them, there's a chance so that you can die from them. But I think the media just like blew it up to like try and like put attention on like some nonsense thing, you know? That the news does a lot. Hmm. Yeah, they want to sensationalize things because they mm-hmm. get some clicks and stuff. You should make a felt murder hornet. That would be so cute, Jay. Dude, I'm so scared of bees. Oh, <laughs> I am that'd too. be so hard. I am too. I, I, every like time I see to bees. one, every time oh, I right. see a bee or a wasp, I run like a little girl and scream. I do the same I'm thing. like, nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's so scary. I know. Okay, now I'm freaking out. Ugh. But other than the killer bees, I think the coronavirus, I mean, I used to be um, an epidemiologist. So I like studied like the spread of diseases and stuff like that. Okay. And coronavirus is, I don't know what's going to, it doesn't seem like it's decreasing in, in any way, shape or form. It, last I checked, at least, I don't know if anyone's checked recently, but it doesn't seem like it's getting any better. Yeah. Um, hopefully no. we'll be able to come up with some sort of a vaccine or whatever soon, but it doesn't seem like anytime soon. So that's yeah. going to persist. Yeah, we're just getting distracted right now. It hasn't gone down. You know, what's so funny. It's like when you're talking about um, what else is in store, basically, for 2020, it's like we're looking for like new when you talk about like like new releases When you're talking about like filler episodes and stuff. We're so used to new problems showing up that and they're freakishly bizarre problems, too, sometimes that I, I honestly have no idea. And it's it, it's it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary to think about. Mm-hmm. Chat, what do you think is going to happen in 2020? Chat voted on the aliens. We had a poll. I had aliens would be so great. I would love that. <laughs> we should let, be, awesome. be careful what we wish for for a second. Yeah, aliens are going to come to Earth. They could be amongst us already. I don't know. True. You know, we we have no idea. Do you think that reptilians exist? <laughs> Ripple, we, like people? reptilian people. I think reptiles <laughs> exist. Does that count? <laughs> no. Like the reptilian people. <laughs> Do you ever go on YouTube and try to like deep dive into those channels that like legitimately believe that I, stuff? I try to refrain from that is what I try to do. I've thought about it so many times. And I'm like, no, I'm going to get freaked out and start thinking everyone around me is a reptilian. I cannot. I have to. I have to pull up. Maybe I can show you all like without showing the audio or whatever. But there's this really short video. I think it's like a QAnon thing or one of these groups. And they're convinced that like Queen Elizabeth is a, is a lizard person. And they took a video of her. And like, I swear, I, I so want to get pilled. I so want to get like convinced. I miss the days where I actually fell for that stuff. Like, you remember when you were younger? Or maybe some people still fall for this stuff. But like, do you remember like how exciting it was to fall for conspiracy theories? Like, if you really fell for them. I remember I when I was younger. What, you what never. You no. What, 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 what did you experience? Tell us. Okay, like like nine eleven, like 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 jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. Nine eleven, you everyone kind of fell for that for a little bit, right? 
Am I the only one who fell for that one for a bit? I was a kid. I was not concerned yeah, with any of that. I wasn't really thinking about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I was either. Well, I'm 34, so maybe. Yeah, you're you, a boomer. You're all young. Okay, boomer. So. That's fine. <laughs> oh, well, what? Damn, she just called you out. <laughs> Never in my chat makes fun of me for being old, and now I'm getting called old over here. This is oh. a <laughs> Just put on your glasses. It's fine. It's casual. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Um, okay, so I fell for uh, the 9-11 truther stuff. Um, I think I've probably fallen for some aliens conspiracies. Um, what other things? I fell for... I'm trying to think of other ones I fell for. I know there's a lot of them. Have you ever watched Ancient Aliens? There's no. Just, oh, my God. You're like... I need to get you exposed to so much garbage on the internet. It's oh, just so fascinating. Oh, I don't know if I want to We're doing be exposed a good job. to the garbage. I know. Yeah, I feel like I already it. stream. Most of my message <laughs> deletes are exposing me to the garbage. Okay, you got gotcha. plenty of garbage. It's okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so uh, maybe maybe it's enough garbage for you then. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like more that I was like pilled by, but. Um, yeah, I want I want to I miss the days where I could get sucked in or like the moon landing was fake. I fell for that for I think like 10 minutes. I was like, "Oh my gosh." I, <laughs> I think thought it was the moon was fake. cheese when I was a kid. Oh yeah. Oh, I have thought that too, the cheese. Yeah, that's what I heard from I think in a cheese. Pokemon show with Meowth and he was like looking at the moon like, "You think the moon's made of cheese?" And I was like, "Whoa, is it though?" <laughs> I was like 5, I don't know. No, oh I remember, God. like, there was, like, a commercial that I loved about, like, the moon being made of cheese, and they were, like, uh, oh. well, I forget what it was. It was something, like, they were, like, man went to the moon whenever year it was. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at years. Um, man landed on the moon, and they found out that it wasn't made of cheese, and we haven't been back since. And then it's, behold, the power of Because that was just so disappointing. <laughs> I you know. know? We finally That's found, like, though. moon cheese. Mm. <laughs> there was a person in my chat that thought that the moon was a spaceship. Have you ever seen the moon with a that spaceship? That makes sense if you watch Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Well, they thought, this is actually a conspiracy theory that people have, that the moon is hollow and it's a spaceship that looks like a moon, but it's actually a spaceship. And there's aliens that are observing Earth from, from inside the spaceship. I would believe it. Um, So okay, we got station. you. We got you convinced on your first major. That's no moon. That's a battle station. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Um, and there's another one there. The Earth is hollow. There is one where um, we're living in a simulation. It's not much of a conspiracy theory, but um, that one's always interesting. And I think that there's oh, so yeah. much in our world right now that makes it feel like, are we living in a simulation? Or the know. idea that our entire world and all the world and everything was invented last Thursday. Is it like called like the last Thursday, like, um, like paradox or whatever. The fact it, it's, if we had all of our memories implanted in our minds and you like existed in the matrix, like in a little bathtub hooked up to stuff and they're just trying to implant these memories in your brain to make you convinced that you aren't actually just plugged into the matrix, for instance, but you have been living a normal life this whole time. How could you differentiate that from like, what we're experiencing now. I have no idea. I never yeah. thought about that. <laughs> These are the things that you think about in your free time. <laughs> we, we cover a lot of weird stuff eventually. And you see, when you, people show up and they have these like really, there's people that are like show up to my stream that like really truly believe some really interesting ideas. And so I sometimes just like to play with them to see how far can we actually make it convincing? Cause if so, that's actually fun. If I can actually kind of halfway convince myself that, yeah, that's actually the case, that's kind of a trip. Right? True. I mean, no one's stopping you from, you know, like believing it. Like, no one's there to tell you otherwise because no one really knows the truth. No one really knows. Like, mm -hmm. it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. No one does really know. That's true. I don't, I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not going to believe anyone that's like, that thinks that oh. they know. Like, dude, none of us no know. <laughs> no Listen. way. <laughs> I think, like flat earth, I think flat, earth, flat earthers are um, actually really, really interesting because like who's behind the flat earth conspiracy? Like who's who who's is like starting? big earth like profiting <laughs> off of people believing that there's a flat earth? 
I found like one documentary documentary. It's <laughs> just whatever. Like this two hour video or uh, YouTube video in which the guy says that it's the only one I've ever found that explains the reason why uh, like the like the, the idea behind the conspiracy theory. He's convinced there's a flat earth and he thinks that the governments are trying to try to convince us that there's a flat earth because if it turns out that we understand there's a flat earth, then we have to acknowledge that we are at the center of the universe, which means that we have to acknowledge the fact that humans are like the most important species placed here by God. It's like, that's his like idea. And there's like a lot, there's actually a non-trivial number of people that believe this. Like they believe in flat earth. I don't even know what to do with it. Are any of you flat earthers? No. Okay. <laughs> we there's that. There's, there's that. No, oh, yeah, what I can't say I've really looked up anything about it either. I know about them and it's like funny to think that people believe that kind of stuff. But I don't know. It's not something that I'm super interested in. So I'm sorry. I don't have like really inf any information on this topic. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm sorry. We can talk no, about we can talk about things that are probably less like weird. And I just my brain hurts when people, people, people say like flat Earth. I'm just like all I can think about is dumb copy pastas. Yeah. Like, yeah. All I can think of, like. Then they, I wanted to be flat like Amaranth's tortilla, and then I got a bulldozer. <laughs> like, that's all I can think about, because my chat does it all the time, just stupid shit. <laughs> the world got a bulldozer. I can't chat. I really can't right now. <laughs> now they're going to start. <laughs> there we go. They're going to oh, they're gonna start the copy bosses. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Conspiracy theories. Um, what, I mean, how much worse can it get, really? I mean, I someone's going to start making Antichrist That's conspiracies. <laughs> Though. With, see, with all this stuff, this world is lizard. going on. The queen is a lizard. Queen Elizabeth. I'm going to just... <laughs> Who would actually... What do, wait, what do reptilians look like? I'm going to look this up. Reptilian. Where's the video race. of the queen is a lizard? I need to show you. People, oh my God, chat! Wait, it's 12, true. Chat, I'm twelve a million Americans believe the United States is run by lizard people. Wait, twelve million Americans? That can't be right. I mean, they are kind of snakes, but chat. Yeah, but I don't like, know if I'd go that far. People, <laughs> chat. I'm a believer now. Look at this. How can you deny? How can you deny? Oh, that's real. That's that definitely real. God, where is this? Did they? This is the video taken down by the government. Oh my gosh! Oh, how can it you the deny? That, this is it's not my bad googling skills, but it's the government. Or God. prove it's not the government. There's no way it's twelve million. There's no way. Queen Elizabeth is a lizard. Let's see. I'll never be able to find it now. I'm so bummed. Anyways, all I have to say is that this video is straight up evidence that Queen Elizabeth is a lizard. So, so if you deny it, then you're denying facts. True. I, I, yeah. I believe it 100%. Yeah, good. <laughs> God, I don't, I don't even know. Oh, man. So back to the original question. What can yeah, you tell you're speaking to yourself one thing? What would you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you could do what? Sorry, tell I your, the question. Tell your 15-year-old self one thing. What would you say? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's a really great question. One thing? Only one thing. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. One thing. Or would you change nothing? Mm, that's, a, oh, that's a really good question. My 15-year-old self was very different than me. I was very, like, severely insecure, very, very self haty very, like, not popular at all. Mm -hmm. um, and if I could, like, know that that feeling wouldn't be a permanent thing and things are going to get so much better for me, I, I think that it would have helped me to be far less depressed and far less like self hate Haiti. Mm -hmm. However, like you said, like what should I change that? I think a lot of my, my upbringing and having that background maybe allows me to have a different level of like, it, you know, perspective or different type of perspective. If I was like 
some like prom queen that was like perfect my whole life and like always knew I was like hot shit, that could very well alter my personality and my perspective and my level of like ability to empathize or even my ability to understand how it feels to be an outcast and how it feels to feel ugly and like wrong in your own body and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a really great question. What did you all, is this when I muted you? I'm really sorry. I don't want to know the answers now. What did you say? Um, I would just tell myself to invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> that's, that's, what I, that's like one thing. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Invest in Bitcoin. Sell Are you when it hits like 20K? Buy the Bitcoin when it's like a dollar. Sell it when it hits 20K. <laughs> Do it. What is Bitcoin at right now anyways? Isn't it like... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Let's probably like 6,000 or something like that. Bitcoin yeah, that's, value. That's... <laughs> and there's I Ethereum have... too. Oh, t like 9,700. So almost 10 Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's, not not bad. Bad. that's actually really good for Bitcoin. I cannot believe it's still going. Chad, if you yeah, have I it, don't... sell it before it goes down again. <laughs> How were you uh, at 15? Were you like, were you like super cool or super um, awkward? No, or? I was, I was very awkward. Um, I actually like grew up really not comfortable with like people touching me or like me touching myself even. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> in all aspects of that meaning. Um, and it wasn't really until I got to college where I just got comfortable with even, like, a platonic hug or, like, putting a hand on a friend's shoulder. So I was just, like, really, like, standoffish and, like, really awkward and not comfortable in my own body, you know? Wow. Like, like I mean, I guess I was comfortable in my body, but not touching, not my body touching anyone or them touching me. I was, like, ugh. I was always tense. You know what? And, like, well, the thing is, like... I didn't have many friends and I felt like I didn't fit in anywhere because I was too i guess like nerdy for like the girl club but i was also mm -hmm. a girl so i wasn't accepted because i had cooties by the guy <laughs> <laughs> or like you know it's it was weird i never really had a place growing up mm -hmm. so i'd always so you never just, had a click really no, or like no, a, no, never had a click yeah. i that guess can be like, really hard yeah Aww. i guess i was considered like a teacher's pet or a nerd but, like, the other nerds didn't want to hang out with me either. <laughs> so it was kind of like, what? Because I, cause I was, did modeling in high school. So, like, I looked like uh, a popular girl. But because they had wow. been outcasting me, because I had been outcasted since I was a kid, because I had, like, a glow up with the puberty and, and everything improved. Mm -hmm. But because I was already outcast as a kid and I've lived in the same city my whole life, I grew, I grew up with the same people through school, like, from elementary to high school. So I was already mm -hmm. an outcast. When I yeah, that could be really school. hard. Was oh, it a, then, wait, did yeah. you say it was a city or like a town? It's like, a, it a suburb. School? It's like outside, outside okay. of Houston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be hard, especially if a smaller school and a bigger school can be hard too if you're growing up with the same people mm -hmm. because then you're kind of lost in it and mm -hmm. you're there's like it's hard to break ranks and be and meet new people. Everyone's just ingrained in their cliques. Yeah, it? I remember mm -hmm. the same cliques from elementary carried on to high school. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. How it is. It's interesting that you say that you didn't really like being touched yeah. because like, unfortunately, there's a um, when it comes to um, women or in this case, girls, because we're talking about 15, there's this idea that uh, females bodies are there to be like handled by other people, whether it be men or even other women, like their bodies are, are less of their own and more of like the property of others. So the mm -hmm. idea of you not like being like not liking being touched the fact that you point that out is almost like a problem is really interesting because I think of it as like actually a very natural well, reaction. To it was uh, not on... just not just like guys, like even my girlfriends, like platonic. Yeah, no, I that's what I like mean. Though. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like and you just don't want to be touched. And that's like I don't think that that's necessarily wrong. I think that it's interesting that you uh, considered it to be a problem, though. Because I mean, like it was because it was, like the social me from having like social, true like, friendships, even with girls. Yeah. Like having like mm -hmm. that social interaction because I feel like like when you have a friend, I feel like you should be able to give them like real hugs and like be able mm -hmm. to like use body language and put your arm on their shoulder and stuff and like mm -hmm. not be afraid to touch them. But for me, I was like, 
uh, it just made me tense like in conversation too it was just like very mm-hmm. socially awkward I actually was exactly like that. I didn't like hug my friends or anything like that. And the mm-hmm. point that I noticed that it was like different was that I remember going up in high school and then going to my group of friends and then everybody hugging each other. And then mm-hmm. like I had like a really close guy friend and I noticed he went and like gave everybody else a hug. And then like we just high fived and I was like, is this weird that I don't let people touch me? <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. It's perfectly fine. And you think, see how, like, if it was a dude, though, and no one's pressuring dudes, like, why aren't you hugging everyone before you say bye? Or when you say bye, when you say hi, why aren't you hugging and doing this? Because it's it's far less of a, a societal gender role, like, expectation that men men's bodies are other people's property. Where when it comes to women, though, we're expected to, like, always be maternal and always be, like, touchy-feely and, yeah, mm-hmm. you can touch me and it's actually totally fine because mm-hmm. I would never be upset about that. Like, no, it's it's your body and it should be expected that you're not open to be touched until otherwise. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I just think all I'm trying to say is it's really interesting that um, what I consider to be a very normal thing for you to feel... And you as well, Foxy, um, mm-hmm. is actually thought of in hindsight as almost like a disorder of some sort, which it's, I don't think it is. I think it's perfectly mm-hmm. acceptable. Yeah. yeah. I would think well, that's I also what I would tell oh, myself, too, when I was 15 is like d- deep breaths. I feel like I would have been a lot less tense if I had just like, <laughs> deep like, like, like just breathe. I'll, I'll be OK. You know, because I was in every time I was in a social situation, I would just be like, oh. Like, super <laughs> tense. Like, I'm still probably, my shoulders are probably still tense just from, like, that feeling of being tense for so long. And now I have to, like, as an adult, like, I have to force myself to, like, relax. Because I still mm-hmm. carry, like, a lot of that tension, too. I had, like, a huge book bag that I would carry on one shoulder. And it threw off, like, my posture and my alignment. Oh, my God, my mom would yell at you. <laughs> and I still have that as an adult. It's like, just breathe. I can chill. Wear your backpack on both shoulders. <laughs> Get the front class. They didn't invent those till like way later. At least yeah. for like regular backpacks. That was like only for hiking backpacks. Now mm-hmm. it's like regular to find a backpack with the front class. That thing saves you so much. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's pretty much like what I would say. Like, don't be as tense. Relax. People aren't that. People aren't as scary as you think that they all are. Because I think, mm-hmm. like, as a kid, like, I grew up, uh, we lived diagonally from, like, a sex offender registered. And so I was always, I was always taught by my parents to be, like, very cautious. And so mm-hmm. I think that, like, made me skeptical of all people. Like, and, mm. like, just as I was raised to, like, constantly be looking over my shoulder and be cautious, I think it just made for, like, a very, like, tense and nervous kind of social anxiety. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like I would go to my friend's house and like the association of going to my friend's house would be tense because I would have to like run across the street and not like avoid eye contact with the people because it would often be sitting on the driveway. The sex offenders would be and it was like a, like a very Jesus. tense childhood. And I actually, would, yeah, they would cat call too sometimes when I was like nine. Oh my God. It's gross. I just streamed the other day where we talked about cat calling and I, I don't want to like. It's like a it nine-year-old very... girl. They'd be like, what's up, right. sexy mama? I'm like, I'm fucking nine. What the hell is wrong That's what I people? keep trying to tell people. I think a lot of uh, people, like especially a lot of dudes, don't realize that uh, women, oftentimes when they have a, when they are, have an experience being catcalled, it starts when like they're like a child. Like mm-hmm. they get catcalled by, by men mm-hmm. at nine, 10, 11 years old. Yeah. They're, and they're like whistling at you, calling you sexy, trying to like, they're, it's so vile and like it's so not okay but it's it's just one of those things that's just never really discussed and i'm glad it's starting to now become more mainstream to have these conversations because it's like so not okay at all definitely not yeah yeah, that's what i would tell myself don't be as tense not everyone's an asshole (laughs) you know (laughs) it was like now nowadays i try to generally trust people unless they give me a reason not to Mm mm-hmm I oh, I do the healthier, even if it's I not as safe. Too. I think it's healthier. I can't. 
I can't do I can't trust everybody right off the bat anymore because that's just how I got used all the time and it took me so long to like see that because I always tried to see the best in everyone because you yeah. trust them mm-hmm. and it, it never works out you they have to earn that that is a very important trait to have like to be able to be trustworthy and stuff and I, I just don't like giving trust to other people who yeah, haven't earned it I get that too mm-hmm. definitely yeah I go I've, I've went back and forth growing up on that like do I trust people or not trust people and it's just like in a, in a situation where you're a content creator and like say at a convention you have to meet people it's so much mm-hmm. stress it's so much stress if you just like automatically don't trust people at least for me but I'm mm-hmm. like I'm gonna just chill and like I'm gonna save as long as I'm like not in private like in an alleyway if I'm in public I just gotta assume that not everyone's an asshole because otherwise I just what have a- like a terrible tense time yeah, I mean, it's hard, especially with your level of notoriety and so many people just being like creepy or like angry that you exist, just right. like exactly. unabashedly yeah. exist and somehow that's offensive to them. Mm-hmm. That's scary. Um, I've I've thought about something like when you're talking about conventions. Yeah, that can scare me. But I what I'm what my concern is, uh, first of all, that is a concern of mine. But another concern is like dating sites, I'm not on any dating sites. And I used to be like pretty active on like OkCupid, but obviously that was a while ago. You can see my, you can tell my age, right? OkCupid, no one does it anymore. But I don't do any dating sites anymore. And I always wonder, is that, am I missing out? Am I, am, am I being too paranoid or am I not being mm-hmm. too paranoid? Because right. I don't want someone just being like, oh, now I can find, get her, I can locate her and find her alone and just, who knows what they'll do to me? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of right. really angry, crazy people out there. True, there are. Yeah, so true. I don't know. What do you all think? Do you do you go on dating sites even though you're streamers? Ah, uh, no. I've, there, ne- I've, never had, I've never been on one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You've never been on a dating site? I've never been on one. Um, I don't know. I just never felt like I... I, I, I don't want to sound conceited, but like True. I've never felt that everyone I loves me. That. I never need to bother, so it's just never been a problem for me. But like, 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 I'm just like I don't. I can meet somebody if I wanted to. Like I don't need that aid. Let that. I don't know. It's just not something I ever got into. I think it's fine if other people do it. Yeah, I feel that too. I used I tried Tinder a long time ago. But I quickly learned that apparently most people assume that you want to smash on the first date. If That's you what I heard about that. Some the thing on Tinder. But I don't know if it's mm-hmm. like the thing anymore on Tinder, is it? Yeah. Know. Yeah. So I, I just recently no. reinstalled it just because I wanted the um, – I it, it helps with my Instagram a lot. I got a lot of follows on Instagram. I know. Shocker. <laughs> but – yeah, oh, that's another works. thing. I've seen people like chat out their Twitch and stuff on on Tinder, and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't like uh, do myself on a dating site. Like, yeah, that's nah, that's, that, that's like, just Instagram follows, man. That's easy stuff. I don't really play on it. Like, I don't like swipe or anything like that. But I'll leave it there just so people have like another way of like finding me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's oh, someone, did, do- someone in chat said mentioned e harmony. I remember e harmony. You have to pay, <laughs> and then it like. It matches you up. They said that someone chats that they match them, them with someone like 500 miles away. Yeah, it's like I was convinced to join eHarmony by one of my friends. She was like, listen, people on eHarmony are taking dating seriously. You know they're being serious. and not just there for like hookups. and not just there just like just talk to talk to women and just never follow through. I'm like, oh, great. So like I, I don't think I ever paid, but I think I did a trial where like the first several days are free. And like, yeah, it was like such a limited selection and it didn't, it, it was just not a good experience. I don't know if you've ever had good experiences, but I never had a good experience with eHarmony. And then I remember plenty of fish. That used to be like the, the site. And now that's like tra- a trash heap. There's like so many yeah. sites that just go through the ringer. I don't know. Maybe I should start promoting myself I, in dating. I, do, I see idea. some sites when I do the dating profile review. Does this look better, Jay? I try to fix it manually on my end, just like stri- oh. making your window separate oh. and stretching it out. Um, I think it's better. Yeah, that, is, yeah, that looks great. Okay. Cool. Thanks. No Sick. problem. I should do that for you too on my side. See if I can do that. Oh, thanks. No, because then, yeah. I, I like looking kind of skinny. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> you're already skinny. You're already skinny, Benny. I know. I know. I Maybe that one should try a boomer only site. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a bully. <laughs> Boomersonly.com. Is that a thing? Oh, now I have to search there's, it. There's like, there's gotta be a boomer. There's gotta be a boomer. Oh, like, there's a Christian date site. There's farmers only. 
there's the like there's like the like, Jewish dating site. There's there's all sorts of dating sites. There's like gamer ones I've seen. I get ad, oh. like advertisements for that all the time, and I'm like, oh, you're okay. Boomersonly.com like is taken. Darn, I just checked over there. <laughs> what about that site where um you can? It's kind of like what is it just called? Like e girl or something? Where you oh, sign up oh, and like e like, 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 gg oh, or something? Yeah, e-girl.gg, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't need to do, do people actually use it anymore. I don't have know. you ever done too. it? I haven't. Ooh, I don't know what I would play with them. Like, I don't like, want to play PUBG anymore. I'm done. They have like I'm Minecraft. With, they have Fortnite. They have uh, other they stuff. They have everything. Oh, League yeah. of Legends, Minecraft, Destiny, any any game you can think of. There are people that are willing, begging for money to play with you. It's pretty insane. Yeah, people and guys. There's actually a couple guys. Yeah, on there. I saw yeah. those dudes. Yeah. If they can, <laughs> they can make bank, then that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I would play Pokemon with somebody if they were gonna trade me stuff too on top of paying me. <laughs> 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 of course, why not? That sounds and like then a big like, deal. And then there's like the sugar daddy sites, which aren't really dating, but it's oh, getting really? more of the um. Nor is the e girl one e girl one really dating, but like the sugar daddy sites where. Like, I think I talked about, I don't know if we talked about this last time, but it's like mainly dudes that are looking to like pay women typically just, and I know it sounds bizarre, but I've been told this by a number of women and they're like, I'm not, I'm not joking. I know some guys are looking for sex, but a lot of these guys are just looking for company and for a woman to spend money on. I'm like, financial really? dominatrix maybe. It's really, I have never been on anything like that, but I have like people message me all the time, like trying to be a sugar daddy. It's so weird. Really? And I've even, I've even had a girl message me telling me that her daddy was interested in me. Oh and if I God, would talk, and I was like, what? Can I tell you that from a dream? That's just so much that they're, yeah. oh my God. My, it, my dad is like really into you. Just letting you know. <laughs> So, oh, so no, it was like sugar, sugar dad, baby for him. It's like, like a sugar, sugar daddy, baby. yeah, okay. yeah, like a literal, yeah, it's a little. Sh- <laughs> it Damn. was bizarre. I wanna, but I I like, wanna, okay, I want to try, try it. I think it would be like just, just to try. I mean, like if I live my whole life and say like I've never tried a sugar daddy site thing, like I don't know, I'd be kind of bummed. Like I just need to do it. But as a boomer, like my my days are numbered. Like I only have so True. many more days. With- catch on to me being such a boomer so i gotta do this quick that's true you gotta <laughs> get on that on delay <laughs> so i'm gonna ask chat would you have a sugar dad daddy or sugar mama i think it's different for like yeah sugar or sugar mama i think I have a sugar when it comes to, daddy i, I think so a lot I of should. dudes think of it they're like oh yeah totally but if I were in their position, I might also readily say yes, but you don't understand when you're constantly like offered these types of things and there's a certain type of risk and there's a certain type of like dynamic and it's like it's a it's a different scenario when you're always getting like sexually harassed and mm-hmm. always getting like sexually like like objectified and then mm. and then this. And then there's like what if the expectation is that they demand sex and they like stalk you and try to make your life hell. Yeah. Like there's there's this guy I'm that call uh, it a sugar parent. See if that gets the There we go. <laughs> Would you have a sugar parent <laughs> yes, <or no? laughs> That's not sexy at all. It's not like a PTA meeting. I'm just doing like just a bunch of people at a PTA meeting. <laughs> um that's really funny. What were you going to oh, say? There was something about a guy. There was a guy. Oh yeah, like there's a guy like the other day um who donated 983 i believe subs in one day and my stream like a few days ago Whoa. And then he was being, yeah it was a lot yeah and then he was being but he was being super creepy and he kept being really 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 oh, creepy never mind i was like, gonna say me next never mind yeah i mean yeah i mean but they're being so creepy and i was just like I have, I'm just gonna have to ban you like you're just too creepy oh, and i don't think people understand that I love money. Trust me, I do. I think people know how much I love money. Um, but still. Oh, oh, I would totally just put up with this creepiness. If you're saying that, you don't understand what creepy is. Because when 
it, it's a different thing when you're involved in it. Yeah, the money's <laughs> wonderful and that thank you very much for all the subs, but at the same time, it's like true. Your safety, your dignity at sometimes yeah. like you feel like you're giving up your Yeah, your there dignity. are some repercussions. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Is my stream frozen? No. Oh. Uh, no. Stream. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I thought you meant your like video I stream. An ad? Oh my gosh. Wow, you're not subbed to yourself? What the fuck? Yeah. No, to you. Oh, you're not subbed to me? I'm not subbed to you. What right the now. fuck? I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> Just relax. I got I got that that mad creeper money, so I I can totally do it. It's not a big deal. I already gifted you one. It's fine. You did? Yeah. Wait, you banned me. I didn't ban you. Oh, it says I'm banned from chat. What? Who banned Bad Bunny? <laughs> Which mod did I it? I'm unbanned. Uh, Which mod did it? <sighs> Who do I have to fire? Dying tube said I did by mistake. Okay, as long as it was a mistake. Who He's like, that? please I do did. fire me, actually, is probably what he'll accidentally say. Mo accidentally ban me? How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> dare you, you were doing a joke? Oh. <laughs> I was doing a joke. And I got it. So thank you for the thanks for the sub. I appreciate that. No problem. Thank you, thank you. Chat, if Amaranth doesn't have a sub. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. How I do don't I give know, subs do to I? people that don't even? I don't know how to give subs to people that aren't currently in my chat. It's too stupid. I don't know how Twitch works. I don't know either. I've I, I've been on Twitch for four years and I still don't know how it works because I'm too stupid too. <laughs> What's our next? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, try to get eighty subs at Amarin's stream so we can get. Oh yeah, get some chat, chat topic. topics in here. You we better be submitting them. Away. Don't do it. Oh, if you, you don't don't just not submit topics actually submit some go to go give us some good ones um okay so my next question for you guys if money wasn't an object because we've been talking about that and social media which didn't exist what would you do with the rest of your life sugar baby is an option but what would you do <laughs> for the rest of my life as a profession mm-hmm if you if money wasn't a, a right, problem, what would you do? It doesn't have to make money. What what would you want to do? Like, what's your like ultimate passion that you'd want to do forever, whether oh, it makes God. money or not, like a cause or or just like something you enjoy doing a lot. I'll let I'll let Foxy or Jay go first because my answer is probably pretty boring. I'm trying to think about it more. I mean, mine's pretty just like cliche. I would probably, if money wasn't an option, I didn't have to worry about it. I would probably try and write a book because I was like really into like fantasy. Like I was that kid who would go home, rush home so that I could get on role play forms. And would you like, be the so next, I loved writing. Would you be the next George R. Martin? Um, I, 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 I don't really like his books. Well, I mean, like, as far as writing a series, like a lifelong series. Um, yeah, that would be, I mean, that would be awesome. Um, like, I do, like, I don't hate his work or anything. It's just not, That's, not yeah. my favorite. Just conceptually. Um, but yeah, yeah like, be, be like, successful like that. Um, mm -hmm. That would be cool. Um, really or cool. if it wasn't that, it would probably be, uh, like, computer animation. Um, that was what I was going to college for. Uh yeah, it's just pretty simple. Where did you role play? Was it like forums? Um, yes, I role played on forums. So it was like, because I remember I first started out, like I first found out about chat rooms and I would go and role play as like a Pokemon. Don't judge me. I was a kid. <laughs> um, but then when I got older and I wanted to start writing like more in depth and paragraphs and stuff like that, it, forum role playing was like a lot funner because then everybody had to like be literate as they called it. Um, but yeah, I right. role play anything, like anything that I was interested in at the time. So it was like Pokemon, Digimon, yes, um, Harry too. Potter. <gasps> Sick. Were you on, did you ever role play on Neopets? That's right. I, I did. Yes. <laughs> I did. And then eventually they started making the filters too strong. And so people started leaving the forums. 
Yeah, um, I, I went, I rolled for Bunch I of nerds in this play. podcast right now. Bunch of nerds. I rolled like on Neo Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I thought so because you said then they wanted literate, and I'm like, this is Neo Pets. <laughs> This is Neil Fitch, yeah. And and then I remember I um, transitioned to Gaia Online, if anybody remembers that place. Oh, yeah. I I didn't get roleplay on there, but I remember it existing. I had an account, but I I didn't spend that much time on there. Yeah. It was fun. But, yeah, Yeah. it was first Neil Pets, then Gaia Online. Chat. We're so dorky. <laughs> You're like, I want to role play my. I did that. I role played Pokemon, Digimon, uh, animals, fantasy stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're lame. I mean, yes. awesome, fucking awesome. So that's yeah, pretty time. cool to me. Awesome. I had a lot of fun doing it. Like, I'm not even kidding. I would like look forward <laughs> to did. getting home. Me too. I like go and watch like Dragon Ball Z when I got home, and then I go and get on the computer. <laughs> And role play. <laughs> yeah. I would spend all night coding a layout and writing my characters yes! and making oh my, my setting God. maps. In I remember making the layout. That's great. That's great. <laughs> uh, what about you, Jay? What would you do for the rest of your life? Uh, I've always, I don't know. I, uh, this one's going to be kind of weird. It's not weird, but I don't know how else to. I just want to help people. So yeah. I would probably do things that help someone be a better person, whether it's counseling or just helping them with their goals, whatever they are. Like that, I would just spend my time genuinely just helping other people with with anything, oh, homework. Yeah, that. or, yeah that's it it's, it's pretty happy. cliche, but yeah, I really, I really, really enjoy helping others. I really do. So that'd be something mm, like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. That's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Now mm-hmm. I have to say something yeah, nice. Bad bunny, like, go. like I'm a good person. I have to be a better person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I want to help people even more. <laughs> like you have no idea. <laughs> I want it. My goal is to help people more than JCG. Yeah. Bad bunny. <laughs> in quotation marks. Um, okay. So I'm assuming that the question, when you say money's not an issue, it doesn't mean that I can now have money that I can give to people and give to causes because then that mm-hmm. means I can like solve so many problems that are in this world right. that like could be solved or at least you know mm-hmm. which I'm assuming is that's kind of a cheat answer um mm-hmm. but if money wasn't an issue I would probably honestly I would probably keep streaming maybe not the same hours but maybe the same hours who knows but I really do genuinely love streaming to the point where like this is this I'm, I'm choosing to do this over I used to be a scientist and I no longer find that interesting and well, this is like this is now my passion you could make streaming more interesting because you could fly in like guests or go to places and interview with people yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah so it'd be like, I get, like mad cool IRL setups and like mm-hmm. better than just T-Mobile like plan for my IRL streams and stuff like you know I could probably deck it out in some way um but I also really really love animals a lot um, and I would love to have maybe an animal sanctuary where I could take in like factory farm animals and, uh, give them a yeah. place that they can Aww. live out their lives happily. Mm-hmm. There's some sanctuaries like that, that, um, you know, they depend on, on people donating to them. So if I had the ability to like fund it myself, I think that that would be awesome. I would love it. There's like some really the amazing meat sanctuaries out there. and stuff, saving animals from like slaughter. Or yeah, like, saving like mm-hmm. for slaughterhouses or like factory farms or even like the um, you know, the the pet industry is pretty horrific yeah. at times too. Puppy so are bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I or fur farms. I, I mm-hmm. would love to be able to to help animals like that because that's like a big part of me is like loving animals and being like Same. an animal rights person. Yeah. Same. That's I awesome. talk about animal rights a lot. I've been vegan for like over a decade, so we talk about it quite a bit on my stream. Um, we talk about uh, animal rights stuff, that's and awesome. of course, Jack gets that very is- upset. But um, yeah. <laughs> but but, but most people, take, like, I found that too. It, it, the stream doesn't like to hear about animals in pain or like even no, of course, and that's actually and a it's good understandable. thing. Yeah, it's very it's a good sign. Like you don't want people like yeah, I no, love it when good. animals are tortured. And <laughs> like no, yeah. that's a, that's a natural. If somebody mm-hmm. actually is like torturing animals as a child and they find to me no problem that typically is a sign of a psychopath like we yeah, don't right. we don't we're not excited about that idea right um it's such a bad thing so yeah i can understand people don't want to hear about it and i don't want to mm-hmm. like make this a whole thing but yeah, yeah. I, I love animals i've i am a big animal rights advocate and so that would be if i could do that that'd be awesome yeah 
I'm similar, though. Uh, my focus that I want to do for the rest of my life is, like, more on, like, rescuing um, dogs and, like, other animals that need it, too. Not so much, like, going to farms, but, like, getting on the streets or getting dogs out of the yeah. market in China and other places. Yeah. Like, Korea and yeah. also, too. Like, all over there, they just, like, torture dogs. And, yeah, like, there's so many dogs. Everybody. Many it is changing. It's getting a little better, but there's still a big issue. They, still mm-hmm. they, they, they sell and torture dogs dogs mm-hmm. for slaughter and mm-hmm. yeah it's think awful. that like the more that you torture it the more tender the meat is and that's just terrible mm-hmm. so that's what i would want to say and then also just like uh in america or other countries to save dogs natural disasters mm-hmm. or just off the street in general yeah mm-hmm. or there's a lot shelters of shelters pull, yeah pull the ones that aren't going to be euthanized and yeah save them or the ones that like when there's there's kill shelters that euthanize and then, um, which is sad, so you could save those animals. But then there's no yeah. kill shelters, which is like nice until you realize that that means that they just turn away animals that just don't have homes there. Right, they just can't and that's right. With no with mine, I would want it to be like no kill, yeah. cage free, um, oh, and just like, like a run around in little packs, yeah. little like packs. Exactly. <laughs> That'd be Big so pack. great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, I was gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try my best to hold back on all my I've I'm, you talked about like the dog, like, you know, the hurting the dogs and tender meat and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, I was going to refer to like this uh, Chanel perfume really quick. They used to make this Chanel perfume, Chanel number something or other. Um, part of the uh, perfume was sweat from whipped cats, whipped male cats. It was meant to like force them to excrete male pheromones and then we put that in the perfume. And then women would buy it because it thought it smelled nice. And what they thought smelled nice and smelled attractive was actually male horm- male pheromones coming off of tortured cats. So when animal rights activists heard about this, uh, yeah, it blew up and now they no longer do that. But that used to be unironically. I've never liked perfume. Yeah. You know, My, perfume. This instinctually since I was a kid, I've never liked the smell of any kind of perfume. Mm. Oh, I like, I like it. I like Especially Chanel, though, because I think my aunt had some Chanel, and I was like, this smells like ass. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't far maybe, off, to be honest, yeah, apparently. Yeah, seriously. Um, <laughs> but yes, Yikes. But saving animals, it's fucking, it's fucking great. I'm very happy about that. Like, I love that you love that. That's great. Yeah. Yay. Yay. It makes me happy, though, to hear people <laughs> that care about it, because that's what it'll take is changing, like, the mm-hmm. current generations who are growing up to care about animals so that we can get laws changed. And they've now made, like, animal cruelty a uh, actual crime, though. So you can go to if you if you abuse your pets, you can go to jail. So that's good. Mm-hmm. At least we got that going for us. But yeah, true. Hopefully more will change. But I want to bring Chad down, though. I know that Chad doesn't like these kinds of topics. Even though I'm passionate about it. Yeah. They don't like they don't like the negative stuff. I love I love just like talking about negative stuff all day though. Now it's like I c I'm like addicted to it. I used to avoid it so much, but now I'm like every day if I if I don't have this if I don't like face these issues and talk about them head on, I almost feel like I feel like I'm I I'm being useless now. Like I went to um I went to a police protest the other day in Seattle. I don't know if you've seen, but the Seattle protests are like particularly like the police have been particularly brutal. And um, I remember I was there and I was on the front line at the like barrier and the cops were trying to threaten and trying to like mm-hmm. flash their mace and stuff like that. Oof. Oh, that was actually yeah, a good, safe. that was actually a good uh, donation. I was trying to skip the other ones. I'm going to redo that one. Hold on one second. Um, not, not you, okay. the person who donated. Sorry. Thank you. I appreciate the donation. Thanks for the five bucks. Animals. Thank you. That's very sweet. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, like I, I never got tear gassed or, or beaten up by the cops that one the, during the, the, uh, time that I was actually at the protest and I almost felt like bummed, not because I want to actually get tear gassed or hurt, but I'm, when you're talking about stuff that matters to you all the time, it can feel like, wait, what, what's happening? Uh, Wait, so what what what's what are you bummed about? Okay, just start over. What no, are you listen, about? listen, listen. When you're if you're talking, okay. So if you're for me, it's like I'm talking about these like political issues and stuff all the time, and I'm so used to talking about things that I'm so used to talking about things that actually like 
are things I want to change, but it feels like I'm always talking and nothing's changing. And right. so if I have the opportunity to feel like I'm actually fighting the enemy and I'm actually making a difference, right. the more of that feeling, the more I feel like effective. And it's a not a that's not OK, because there's me getting tear gas doesn't really do anything for anybody. Right. Like that doesn't actually like change the world. It just makes me feel like I'm hmm. in a more direct fight. So I acknowledge it's a really, really not healthy I like like um, it's not a very healthy thought process, but at the same time, when you're like, oh, I want to avoid negative, I'm like now like addicted to that stuff, which is not healthy. I need to be you're like, addicted to being no. negative. Yeah, kind I of. I think that's just part of maturing as a woman. The older you get, the more negative you are. You're just like, the more Karen you become. <laughs> yes. Oh no, it's happening. Oh, exactly, Jay. Uh -oh. Yes, He's old lady now. <laughs> was I old nothing in Seattle during the WTO riots? I don't. I was in Seattle for about ten years, and I don't remember when the WTO riots were. But I wasn't political then, anyway. So um, I definitely wasn't part of those riots. Yeah, I don't know. I think it is good though to care. Like it's good to be impassioned about it and to speak up when others won't for a cause that you believe in. I think those are all good qualities. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about being too negative because. You know, there's constructive negative that gets things done, like peaceful protesting. And then there's called like, like toxic negative where you just bitch and don't try to change anything. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, people oh, do online. Yeah. They people take like, it to like, online, they just well. bitch and then like they don't do anything about it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then like there's people that just, not even about politics, just like there's that friend who's always talking about how everything's just the worst for them and like life is just so horrible for them. It's like, all right, can you just... Right. Can you, well, not you just yeah. enjoy being miserable and just getting <laughs> getting that type of attention. It's just not okay, in my opinion. It's very annoying. I find that so funny people. though, like to you like find it have funny? like somebody. Who's, I think it's like funny, like somebody like just posts negative stuff all the time. Like, <laughs> I, I I I I don't know if that's mean. I don't Fox know, Miss but Prime I is like y'all are sad fuckers, and I find it hilarious. That's what like, <laughs> Fox <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I guess like, this, is, this is like get the popcorn reading these comments today. Yeah, I do. Hell I, yeah. I love reading like that. Hell I go through yeah. those ones that are like over 200 comments. And I'm like, damn, what's this about? <laughs> Let's yeah. check it out. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, looking like, in, where's the so drama? Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's gone to, the, yeah, I totally, yeah. I totally know what you mean. It's like gone to the point where I'm now like kind of addicted to being canceled, canceled by like people that I don't respect whatsoever, like incels and stuff. And so I'll do stuff to try to like upset them. And they're so easy to upset. And I'm like addicted to that, like that incel hatred, like, cause it's such a stupid, if it was legitimate hatred, then I would feel bad, but it's like so stupid. And mm -hmm. it's so like over the top, uh, inappropriately toxic that I'm like, just trying to bait them more. It's like I said, I've got a problem. I feel like I've, the internet's ruined me. My brain is ruined now. That's true. I agree with that. Internet has ruined me. Absolutely. Like I, I think that since I started streaming, I find it so much harder to like focus just because the, the nature of like how much information is thrown at us on Twitch and like Twitter and you're never off. Just, like, you're never off the clock. Like you're never <laughs> off the clock. <laughs> I'm just like, my, I'm just scattered. I'm like, oh, so many things to do. So many things to be aware of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Like I've had to like stop myself from being on social media too much. Like I've made rules so that I'm not on it like all the time. Mm -hmm. That's maybe not a good thing. Like trying to like be a streamer and everything, but it yeah, keeps it's me a battle. Safe. It's, it's you need to disconnect sometimes though. It's really yeah. helpful. You do want to disconnect, get away every once in a while, come back stuff. So I, I like that. Mm -hmm. I do. I do the same thing. Yeah, for me, my version of that is. Um, Playing with my dogs after stream, I guess, because it's Aww. just like that feeling I get around animals is so peaceful. But it's not nearly enough as I, I should be having. But I'm I'm I try to keep my mind on my goals, and it's like I just gotta like, like this is a really good opportunity. I like streaming, and it's just in a few years I'll be able to have all the animals, like that energy that I want to save and to share with people on stream. Like eventually, my streaming will be just positive energy. Like, because I'll be around the animals all the time. So I have to, like, keep going. And that's why I don't take breaks personally. But I understand that it's probably healthy, too. I just refuse. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably that. good for you. I'm just like, but 
If I keep going, oh. I can get there faster. That kind of leads me to like my next or. Hmm. You got muted. Her audio cut out. Or did my audio cut out? Did Discord cut out? Can anyone else talk? Maybe Discord cut out. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Discord, why? You can hear me? I can try to close the call and reconnect. Hello? Stopping. There we go. My oh. Your audio cut out for me. Oh. I was confused. I had to come <laughs> back. I don't know what why. Happened? That was weird. My, your audio cut out on my side, but the Discord audio cut out. I had to join, leave the call and join again. Oh. Okay, no, did no, it I cut out for all of you? Either. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was hell? very I was confused. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and, and sure, I'm just asking, what do you do to try to be happy? Because my forms of trying to be happy is um, just escapism, like through, um, you know, like games or shows, which is not as much becoming happy as much as it's trying to avoid acknowledging things that are make you unhappy or stressed out mm -hmm. so i don't know i don't do anything that makes me like actually happy i do things that just stop me from being severely upset That's and severely depressed <laughs> what do you all do uh i do like the same thing with like gaming um but then it's like I've, i'm trying to get myself to stop playing league of legends now because i find like on those days when I play League, I'm salty by the end of it. Yeah, everyone who plays League says, like, oh, I hate this game. And they just can't stop playing it. But they're like, oh, I hate it. It's a horrible but game. You, <laughs> like, I you start it in the morning. I'm just going to play it all day. And I need to, like, not do that. This is why I don't bother with competitive games. They're just stressful. And I'm bad at them. But mostly because they're stressful. Mm -hmm. Just win. <laughs> That's right. the issue. I have, that? I have to play and get good in order to win. And to do that, I have to go through so much stress to get good. <laughs> <laughs> the stress of losing <laughs> so it's just like i can never commit to it because i'm like oh, i hate this before i even like give it a real chance uh, i just uh -huh. like try mm -hmm. a few games and i'm like i suck I just, so this is so frustrating <laughs> I just quit. Uh, or or like um and thank you for this sub by the way i see you um ella's king ella's king thank you so much um i that's kind of how i felt about battle royale games i'm like okay I want to try to like this, but it's like honestly so stressful. Playing PUBG, I don't play them anymore because they're just so stressful. But being at the final circle in PUBG is terribly unfun. Like I'm just very <laughs> upset. <laughs> I'm like very stressed out. I'm actually like my body's. I'm like sweating from like my palms and like my kneecaps and like places you're not supposed to sweat. <laughs> and I'm just like, why am I doing this? So I'm like, but I'm like, I gotta get better. It's just a really sadistic relationship. Mm -hmm. Like and That's then I'm crazy. thinking about you playing League. It's just like toxic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you're still playing it all day. Yep. Oh, yeah. So you like it's... to do self care by putting yourself through League and yelling yeah. at it. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Jay? Uh lately I've been partaking in um social activities. Like leaving my room. What? It's actually during it, Corona? It's insane. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Nani? It's, it's in. It's insane. It's like having friends and like going outside. It, it actually helps out a lot more than I thought it would. Like having friendships and like keeping that. My house is a zoo. We're always at max capacity. So like that's just I can just go outside, have some social interaction and be like, OK, I, I remember how to be a human. Oh, you I can still have conversations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, I think I have like six but there's like a couple more people who are here visiting Damn. right now. So there's probably like nine or we're at max capacity for houses for sure. And that's but. your friends group is like your roommates. Mm -hmm. Yep. That can really help because I, I have one roommate and like, he's my friend. <laughs> he's my friend. I have a friend and that's yeah, my, my friend. friend. <laughs> so like, I don't really have a, a, like that's my social life essentially. And then there's the internet. That's, that's my entire social life. <laughs> and like, I would love to have friends. Like, but how do you meet friends? Like, what what is that even yeah, like? Yeah, tell us the secret to meeting friends. <laughs> oh, dude, it's really hard. I they they kind of they kind of picked me. I think that's what that was. I I didn't really pick them because a lot of them I actually I they're like the little brothers I never wanted. You know what I mean? They're just like oh. those little brothers. So I'm cool with it. But yeah, no, they they chose me essentially. So that that's how I did that. I just oh. got lucky, I guess. Okay. 
Hmm. Yeah. Or, or so basically, you have no, I don't, you have any advice for me? Just get lucky um, and hopefully make some friends. I do, like, I don't even, I don't even right know. Right now, like, it's really I, hard because Corona. Like, right now, yeah, you can't even, yeah. like, just try to, because you're just trying to hang out and just casually bump into random people. It's like, there's so much risk and, like, potential harm built into that that it's like, it's almost like unethical to try to go out and just, like, be a social butterfly and just mm-hmm. randomly meet mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, and I don't know when this stuff's. I don't know when Corona is going to end, or at least the the um, social distancing stuff part is going to end. Right. So I guess we're just. I'm just going to continue <laughs> being a being a, being a weirdo. Be, being weirdo is good though. Like sometimes being weird is actually what what helps. Like being weird is different. It's unique. It's being yourself. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, it, I, I like being weird. That's me. I agree. What are ways I that think you're weird, weird you is think? normal and normal is weird. Hmm. And I think everyone's a little weird. And if you yeah. have like no quirks, do you even have like a personality? I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. It's what makes us who we are. Exactly. It's what makes us unique. There's this girl in grade school that uh, I remember she would sit at the cafeteria table and she would paint her nails at lunchtime and lick off the nail polish off her fingers. Ooh. That was a cool personality quirk. That made her really, uh, you ever... and she didn't get point. Wait, what? Well, that's, that's what? Like, it's like, it's not... you're not supposed to ingest that. No, right. of course not, but she did it anyways. And that made pe- people thought she was cool for doing that. No, they thought she was weird. Okay, okay. What is this like, bullshit? Huh? Twitch won't let me make a poll that asks chat, are you weird? And my responses were pretty weird. Yeah, no. Or the weirdest I know. And it says content uh, does not meet guidelines. What guidelines? Weird is now a bad thing to Twitch? It's so Confirmed, weird. chat. I, it's weird bizarre is bad, what Twitch apparently. decides to say you can't say. <laughs> that, that's kind of weird. Just yeah, like, that is weird. Yeah. Hmm. She and I was that little girl. No, I wasn't that little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that had no friends watching her being like, Man, what a weirdo. <laughs> but then I would like eat my own snot and collect bugs. It was just, I don't know. I was no one to judge. Self-reflection is nice. very different for everybody. I feel like everyone's their own worst critic mm-hmm. of like how they think they perceive themselves and how they perceive other people perceive them. What's a weakness that you have? I think there's something you could improve on personally. Procrastination. Mm. <laughs> that is by I mean, far my hard weakness. Of this. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I have like so many emote slots and I'm just like, I'll get to it. Uh huh. Just, there's just, just hanging out, just open. And I'm like, I'll get to it. It's been forever. That's for sure my problem. Mm-hmm. And I'm just so nice. Like, it's just such a problem for me. I'm just such a nice person. You know, when yeah. you're just like a really good person, you just like, that's a weakness of mine. I'm just so good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've always struggled with that too. I think for me, it would be mental organization. Because I feel like if I can get my thoughts together, I'd be less forgetful. And, like, that would somehow translate to my environment being neater as well. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm just always so, like, forgetful and scatterbrained. It's like I have, like, so many things to do in a day. And, like, sometimes I just, like, forget, like, a big chunk of them. And I'll wake up the next day. I'm like, oh, no. And then it's panic. And it throws off the next day. But yeah, that, that would probably be me. Just organization yeah. mentally. Mine's like pretty similar to that and that my weaknesses is like start projects and then I start another project and then I start another project and then nothing is done because I'm doing so many things at the same time. And I feel like I start things and then I never finish them because I just I'm working on something else later. So it's probably like an ADHD thing. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I've never been like diagnosed for it. Um my younger brother has it. Uh, I, I re- you know, like I read things on the internet and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like me. But I feel like a lot of times like things on the internet, they make it very vague so that you think right. it sounds like you. Mm-hmm. There yeah. is a thing, I forget what exactly it's called, but it's like if you're a psych major or you take a psych course in college, something like psych student disorder or something basically it's the idea that when you're more exposed to learning about psychological disorders you're going to start believing you have them because you can find a way it's almost like reading horoscopes you'll just find a way to like make it fit you're like oh my god that's that's actually so yeah yeah ignore ignore the other things or 
if they say a symptom, you're like, oh, I've one time felt that when they're like, do you feel it all the time? Like, no, I felt it one time, but now I feel like I have the symptom. So yeah, yeah, it could be the case, but it doesn't. I mean, it sounds like you're already expressing like one of the symptoms of ADHD. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier in my stream. Actually, you're reading like over like the traits of like different um, zodiacs or whatever. And I'm like, this could this is true, but this could apply to anyone. <laughs> it's like that kind of thing. It's like anyone could feel these things about themselves. So it'll be like all the best things you want to believe about yourself, like generally positive outgoing ambitious like everyone wants to believe a lot of those things about themselves yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i feel like it's it does cater to just like the general self there's more to you than meets the eye people mm -hmm. sometimes you have <laughs> yeah there's you put out a personality in front of other people but in private you actually feel a little different like oh my god i do that's so weird <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah definitely you're more complicated than most people give you credit for <gasps> I'm so that's so am mean. I am I deep? Damn. Yeah, I'm so, so deep. <laughs> yeah, I think they should um they did like a I saw this video, it was like a I don't think it was a bona fide study, but it was close enough where um they made a generic like horoscope profile and they gave it out to like all these people mm -hmm. and everyone thought it described them to a T and mm -hmm. it just was a generic thing. That they're like, give us your birthday, give us this and this. They pretended that they needed all this very specific information. And, and so the people were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this very specific horoscope. It's very specific, like psychic reading. And um, it was the same one just for every single person. And everyone thought it was perfectly tailored to them. So it was really interesting because they all got the reveal. Mm -hmm. And they all, so many of them felt real dumb. <laughs> it was fun to see. But I think we all kind of fall for that stuff at one time or another. I used to fall for horoscopes when I was younger. Yeah, a lot of people, like, get hung up over, like, the compatibility aspect with other people, mm. too. Do you ever do that, It's all Jay? fun and moderate. Yeah, I'd say I used to when I was younger, but nowadays not so much. I think it's fun. Everything's, you know, especially something like that. I'd say it's good in moderation. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, ask my, like, a potential partner what their sign is, but, you know, yeah, like, it's, it's like fun that's to just read. making your mind subconsciously biased if you know anything about it without yeah. giving them a proper chance because everyone is different, so... I feel like, exactly. I feel like it, it would be crazy to say like the month you're born in just happened to be born in defines your entire personality. Like I don't know. I feel like that's very very limited considering like yeah. people are a product of their environment, the way the way they're raised, their experiences. It's weird to be like, "Oh, I was born in this month, so therefore I'm this way and I'm only compatible with this type of people." Like that's just like mm -hmm. very strange to me. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know the science behind horoscopes. If like someone actually believes in astrology, like what's the science behind it? What is it about the moon and the stars being this position that makes my personality like permanently away? Not to mention that my horoscope is like severely opposite of me. It's like you're very shy and you're very like um, spiritual and you're I'm like, what? No, it's absolutely not me whatsoever. Maybe it used to be me to some, some extent, but not anymore. Yeah, that's true. I've met a lot of people who like don't match like my personality even though we're born in the same month and i'm like no this is bullshit <laughs> it's like no uh yeah i don't know did you did you answer um jay the original question it's like what um, weakness that you have weaknesses oh weak stats yeah i got a lot i have a lot um this one's probably is not going to be so I'd say one of my weakest points is that I don't know. Well, I, I know how, but I don't drive. Oh. So I'd say that's a weakness in itself. So, yeah, I'd like to do that. I already, I made a resolution, New Year's resolution, that I'd have my license by the end of this year. So that'd be, that'd be the thing that I do plan on changing. So Oh, you just never mm -hmm. bothered getting it? or Yeah, never bothered. There's Ubers now. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, it is a little more expensive, but I don't have to pay car insurance. I don't have to pay for gas. I don't have to, you know, yeah. worry about a, a car or anything like right. that. So that, that part's nice, but I I lose out on the, all that freedom. So I'm like, okay, enough's enough. Yeah. I'm, you know, getting kind of old now. You should probably have a light, be a grown up. You're just so, professional passenger. That's your yes. professional passenger. It's fine. Exactly. There you go. Professional passenger. Oh, no, good for you for trying to take the initiative to get that going. Yeah. You never know yeah. when you'll need it. Sometimes stuff can happen to your family or roommates, and you might have to take them somewhere, and you don't want to be like, well, I can't because I don't know how to drive, and now mm -hmm. we can't get you Exactly. Back. So, yeah. It's right. Good, just in case. 
I let my license expire, so I'm pretty sure I have to retake the driver's edge stuff. Oh, the driving that's test. the worst. Like, it's oh. been expired. Speaking of me being a procrastinator, <laughs> it's been expired for so long that I'm pretty sure I have to take the driver's test again. So, oh. and watch I fail it. <laughs> Just yes. I'm a boomer that fails the driver's content. ed test. Ooh. Stream driver's ed for content. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That'd be great. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I wanted to ask that. Uh, I guess, where was I? There was the next question I was at. Oh, could you date another streamer or social media personality? Yes. Yep. I would actually like almost prefer that at this point kind of not necessarily prefer but well because there's like a certain there's a certain like ineffable type of experience when I say ineffable I think it can be described and it isn't just like something that is you know it's an actual thing when you're in the public eye there's a certain like you have a lot of experiences that you can't really have very well unless you are in the public eye, unfortunately. I only, pretty much only mainly, maybe there's been an exception here or there, but dated people that are not streamers. And it's always, it's always kind of difficult to explain to them a lot of the parasocial dynamics involved. They're typically watching my stream too. So that's kind of like, it's, it's odd because I'm their entertainment, but also... Mm-hmm. you know dating them um i actually dated a viewer like who dm me and it was no i get so many creepy dms for some reason this was like not creepy i don't know how he did it it was bizarre but i dated him and it, it was a great relationship but it was also it was also like it was difficult because i he had all this information about on me and about me that i could never have on him like if you're watching a stream a streamer you are gathering so much information on them and you're not, and I'm not talking about stalkery information. I'm just talking about a feeling of familiarity with them that when you see how someone moves, how they talk, how they cough and sneeze and how they act when they're tired or how they act when they're sad or happy and the things that they're interested in and just, just the verbal tics and things. There's just so much information and familiarity you're gaining. And so if you don't have that reciprocated the other way around, there is always going to be an imbalance. And that's what contributes to these like parasocial dynamics that you see when people think that they have a relationship with a streamer that actually isn't existing. And it doesn't have to be so creepy that they think they're in married to you or something. It could be just they have a feeling of them being closer to you compared to you being, you know, the feeling of closeness they have toward you is not mirrored by the feeling of closeness you have toward them. And I, I kind of blame the internet, but I also think it's just one of those things that humans, normally throughout all of human history, we've always met people and talked to them and we've had to build a rapport with them personally for them to disclose personal information about themselves. Mm-hmm. It's only been like recent that this whole like live streaming thing has happened where I can talk to a number of people and talk about my life in detail and so on and so forth, but they're going to just give me a, a little bit about themselves and I just see words on a screen. I don't even see what they look like. Or yeah. How they move, how they talk. Yes, so exactly. Creepers. Yeah. Cre- yeah. <laughs> creepers. Um, so yeah, I think that if, if you're in the public eye, you understand this and it's that, that understanding I think is really for me, if I have a, if I see another person understands what's like being the public eye with all the harassment and all the creepiness and all the expectations and dance for me, dance for me that you get from people on the internet. I think that that having that in common, that understanding is really, really bonding. So I think at this point I probably could only really, or do you think guys only, get but, people telling them to dance for them and take off clothes? Do you think what? <laughs> do, the guys guys get, would, do I see creepers no, in of chat course not. saying dance no. and take off clothes? <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question. You live with guys, JCG, who are streamers. Do how do they get harassment too? Oh, besides are you kidding? chicken legs? Besides are like chicken still- legs. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! They all get it. They all get it. Poor Russell, man. He has his. Own, he has a twerk emo, and the poor guy doesn't even want it. The poor guy gets sexualized every single time he walks in anybody's bedroom. He gets sexualized all the time. Um, Miz, honestly, I think he actually likes it. I think he enjoys it. I can see that. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of, there's a oh, Darion, every, all of them. No, sir, they really do. They are, they all get sexually objectified all the time. Uh, actually, I think they get it more than I do. Really, in their chat. Yes, yes. That I really do think they do not get it nearly as bad. Or I'm sorry, I don't get it nearly as bad as they do. Like mm. they really, really sexually. Objectified. And they're men. Yep. Oh, that, yeah. That's an aber. That's that. That's completely like an aberration. That's interesting. Like they've actually mm-hmm. conducted studies on Twitch, on Twitch communities, Twitch chat, the dynamics of treating how Twitch viewers treat women compared to how they treat men. And studies have repeatedly shown that there's like a statistically significant difference in the types of treatment that men get versus women. Specifically, women are overly, overtly objectified, sexualized. Um, when they're playing a game, the conversation is generally not focused on their gameplay, but it's focused on like their body and their like, hey, cutie, hey, sweetie. Wait, hey, you're beautiful. telling me that women play games on Twitch? Yeah. What, <laughs> what yeah. gameplay? I, I know haven't... they own they own tits during, so it could be really confusing, right? But like while they own the tits, they also play games. I have never seen a game on a screen with yeah. a woman in my life. It's all <laughs> Bobs. So that's interesting that you're, you're, I think it's your roommates, right? That have the different experience and you have a different experience from them because that's absolutely an unusual dynamic that you're seeing. Yeah. I think though with, with them, it is definitely more, I would say, of like a meme than it is of anything like serious. Yeah. Because that's funny. You know, they got that the gotchies and, you know, mm-hmm. all that stuff. So I, I get it. They do laugh it off. But sometimes I feel bad because, you know, we know what it's like. So it's like. Eh, like, you know, they, they ignore it better. I mean, they definitely because they know it's a joke. Whereas for us, we can't. Do they like the attention more than we do, though? Because I feel like most men on a day to day basis don't get sexualized. And on some level, some of them, you know, they have to crave it on some level just because they're so deprived of attention. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's Miz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely Miz. Russell. Russell doesn't like it. He he probably would say it's kind of weird. But you know, Miz, sometimes sometimes I think he does, you know, th- but that's Miz. We we know how Miz is. So. Yeah, but. there's a difference between like actual objectification and mm. like consensual haha objectification. Right. So, yeah. Like objectification when you basically take away, you strip away someone's humanity in some way or shape or form. And you treat them like it more of an object. Like when people call me pet names, I'm like, I don't know you. That's why you call me, hey, sweetie pie, hey, beautiful. Oh, is that weird honey? Very creepy. Oh, they hit like you, you with the honey. Ugh. Yeah, it's very, very, very creepy. It's honey? very creepy and very gross. And it's like a form of objectification because they're not like, hey, it's a person. They're like, no, it's a female. So now I get to call her like these really endearing, cutesy names like like we're in a relationship together and it's really Fucking belittling the whole thing. it's very very gross chat if you didn't know don't do that i know you might think it sounds cool because someone told you it was cool i that person's wrong it's creepy unless someone's like yeah call me that i love that but gross. that's that's what needs to happen don't just if you want to go up to a dude on the internet and be like hey there sweetie pie hey sugar dick if you're not gonna do that <laughs> Don't God damn! Don't do it to women. You know it's just they would like that. Are, See, that's the thing. I think there's a disconnect. Too. I think a, a lot of guys who do that to women, they would genuinely love it if girls called them that. Like you would. But make the their reason day, they would love it life. is be, right. But the reason if they would love it, I I don't know if they actually would. If they're if they're getting it from dudes, if dudes are sexualizing them. No, no, no. I mean, like, like if they, they, yeah. I think they're thinking about it. Like I would love if a woman did this to me. So they do it to women because they think like that's they, they treat women how they would like to be treated. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them are just assholes. But some yeah. of them actually generally think that they're complimenting women because they have such a little exper- experience with real women. All they do is like mm-hmm. watch porn or hentai or whatever or like play yeah. video games where they like get to control the girl and stuff. So mm. they, but what's interesting is like they would have never say that to a man. And the reason they wouldn't say it to a man is not because um, men don't like being called beautiful. It's because they've imposed now, and more important than the person is now their sex drive toward that person. So, like, they're superimposing that sex drive. Otherwise, if they think that everyone wants to be called beautiful and sweetie, then there's no reason they wouldn't assign those terms to other people. Because they don't like, those people probably aren't attracted to men. It's just their preference. Right. But that means that when you call me sweetie or beautiful, I know you. I am approving of your attraction to me. And like, this is now an understanding. Like, there's so much more built in that's like a sexual. If the way that you treat a person on the Internet that you don't know is now governed by your sexual interest in them versus 
like them as a human being, it's just really creepy. Am oh, I making yeah, it's any sense? Definitely creepy. But I think I understand what you mean, by the way. But is unfortunately I, ignorance. But I know that mm -hmm. doesn't make it right. But I think that that is a lot of what it is. I think a lot of people generally don't mean to offend women and have no idea how creepy they're actually being, because no one's ever told them otherwise. Because they don't have the chance to talk to girls for them to correct them in person. <laughs> so. I, I think that a lot of them, like, actually don't understand how disgusting they're being, like, how women are perceiving mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. But no the thing is, like, if, if a woman says, I don't want that, and then they take it to the next level of, like, no, it's just a compliment. But see, the, compliment. The, the issue is they watch porn. On, these types of people only watch porn. So when she says, I don't want that, she actually does. Ugh, that's so sad. Okay, chat. If, if anyone, women, uh, and anyone, non-binary, man, whatever... They say they don't want it. Guess what that means? This, this, I'll, give, I'll give you a hint. It's in the fucking question. If someone says they don't want it, they don't want a treatment, what, what does that mean? That they want it. It's like an are you sure question. Are you sure? Is this a trick question? Is it going to be a quiz? It's so tricky. No, really. You don't want no, to be a quiz. Yeah, if a girl says she doesn't want it, like you need to res like understand that, hey, she's not... Being like, oh no, stop it, Ron, stop. Mm -hmm. She's like, actually. That has to be an understanding that you have with them. She's actually like, like no, you're fuck with you. Thing. Not in a sexual yeah. way. Go do that to yourself. Fuck off. There we go. That's the one. Mm -hmm. I actually just posted on Twitter about this. There's this guy that, um, I, I forgot this treatment a lot. So Dudes would be like, can I show you my dick? And I'm like, no. And then they show me their They dick. ask you? That's so nice. They yeah. don't ask me. They I just know. show it. Oh, they they ask for permission? Nice. Holy shit. It doesn't shit. always happen. If you, yeah, if they're just showing it, clearly they don't care about consent and they're absolutely disgusting, right? Mm. But I've gone some more times, like a few times now where dudes will be like, "Do you? can I show you my dick? I'm like, no, thank you. And then they'll just show me their dick anyways. I'm like, I, I said no. I'm like, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so what do you think? the thing if there's a if there's a conversation you're having with a person and they're saying no and they're there's no other if i'm saying no to you and you're rejecting that no tell me what i need to express to you to correctly communicate to you that i am saying no if there's no way that i can possibly ever communicate to you that i'm actually rejecting you then there's you are suffering from delusion you are being delusional you are now imposing your own reality on what is the reality. And if there's no way that you will ever take a no from me, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Period. True. Sorry, True. my finger slipped. Oops. <laughs> um, and I sent him a screenshot, too. I sent him, it's, it's like the last thing I tweeted. Uh, I sent him a screenshot where I'm like, hey, this is where I said no earlier. And he's like, well, how would you rate my dick? I'm like... What is with that? Oh my I'm literally God. showing you where I said no. I've seen girls yeah, who like offer people, that as a service it's on rape, like... It's rapey as fuck, No, man. no, like, I mean, I've, I've seen girls... Uh, this is the problem. The guys are asking because girls... I think it's because girls have started offering that. Some girls on their, like, other websites. Where it's like they have a service to rate guys' dick. So now they're just like, can you rate my dick? Oh, yeah. Can you rate mm -hmm. my dick? Can you rate my dick? And it's like, no. I don't want to rate your dick. Uh, first of all, never, like... Do you guys not understand that if you pay someone to rate your dick, they're going to they're going to rate it better than it actually is because you're paying them. What, what are you the rating fuck? it on? What, what, I don't know. What, like maybe the attractiveness the of it. I don't really know. Oh, I've been on those sites and they're hilarious. They're so fascinating. People when the people go into like a whole paragraph, like so the curvature of your dick is slightly to the left. <laughs> Now that's actually not preferable, so I would prefer it to be more straight. Also, the shaft's <laughs> diameter is not actually proportional to the length, and the head is a little bit too red for the shaft. And like, they'll get into this like very nitpicky like detail to it. I'm like, this is fucking fascinating. Can't tell if it's degrading or just like, is it like? Well, a they're roast asking session? for them to rate awesome. their dick. It's like it's so. I mean, like you know, they're asking for the they're asking for it. So. Nice. That's pretty cool. Sorry to anyone with a crooked dick in the chat. It's you, Your dick is valid. I, okay, I, I, Small dicks are valid. Crooked dicks are valid. Circumcised, uncircumcised, your dick, are, your dick is valid. Period. And you can't control that, okay? This, your dick's your dick. <laughs> Anyways. What about True. the vein showage? I'm sure they talk about veinage. 
Do you right, like can things? Can we talk about something else? I'm really sorry. <laughs> Uh, who ha- well, wait. Uh, what was the question? The question was, would could you date another streamer? Yes, is that how this yes, editing yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that you, where that went? Could you, um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit. Let you all take could over. You, could you date another? streamer? I feel streamer like I'm inserting all these weird topics. I'm just like, or social media personality. Oh, aliens and flat Earth and dick. Oh my god, measurements and, and stuff. the curvature in the veins. Seven point five. <laughs> from the middle um okay so what about what about you guys who have who have not answered yet which could you date another streamer or social media personality uh yeah i think that honestly like i would like it's pretty much kind of like the same answer because i know when i first started streaming i was like seeing a guy and he was in a streamer and I remember it started getting weird like when i started like taking off a little bit wait wait what were you um, taking off Huh? Wait, what, you, what were you taking off? Where is this oh, I wasn't, going? No, I wasn't taking off. But, like, I started getting more viewers and everything. He started Oh, getting, like, oh your career after. taking off. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Um, but he started getting, like, weird about it and, like, giving me, like, attitude whenever I was, like, I need to go live. You know, like, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, and it, it just got like weird and I actually quit for a while because I was dating him. Um, and then when I when we broke up, then I just went back to streaming. And now like I can't really see myself dating somebody that doesn't understand like this is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't like you said, they don't under like a lot of people, if they don't do it themselves, they don't understand like the time that you have to put in. Cause a lot of people seem to think that you know, I can just go live whenever I want to, but I need mm-hmm. to still have like a schedule and everything. Right. Um, and like when the camera turns off, that doesn't mean I turn off. I have to do mm-hmm. like a bunch of other things. Yeah. People that don't stream don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I just do all that on stream mostly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People are like, why are you, why are you setting up and eating on stream? Like, because I'm streaming all day. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just deal with that. But yeah, I totally get that. There's a lot of people that don't understand stuff about it that yeah it would it's always easier i feel like to have someone who understands and sometimes mm-hmm. people who don't do social media can understand just from like they mm-hmm. they maybe they are just used to the environment have heard streamers talking about it or have friends who've done it like there's people who do understand who don't stream for sure but yeah there's mm-hmm. a lot of people who i think expect like i see from the chat like the some of the delusional creepies who are like if you were my girlfriend i would make you stop streaming so we could spend more time together and you get away from this yeah, toxicity that's and i'm like that's really not how this creepy. works like you can't make somebody who you met because they were a live streamer or like a YouTuber you're dating ever, the to person stop doing like it. you're not dating the person that you're trying to crack right. them into like, they're you're not dating the person do- they are it's like you met them because you saw them online and now you want them to stop being online it's like what yeah Mm -hmm. that's so weird it's like that's not how this works yeah and actually like get that the the first guy that i was like seeing he actually came into my chat and then that's how we like we knew each other kind of like through mutual friends but we weren't friends really and then he came into my chat and started like chatting in there all the time and then that's how we were like oh do you want to meet up and go have uh lunch or something like that but then he got jealous of me streaming and so it's weird yeah that's hmm. that's Papega. I someone... real life <laughs> Papega, honestly <laughs> you know when you're just hanging out with normies and you start yelling out Papega and they're all like <laughs> what it's crazy when you hang out with like normal people how weird we are like there's so much weird stuff that if you're very online, you're just like you don't realize how weird you are compared oh, to other no, people. Oh no, totally. There's a learning curve you're, in this like, culture you're for sure. Like I didn't mm-hmm. know what Kappa was and all this other stuff. Like yeah, no, there's definitely like you have to learn the Twitch culture and like it's yeah. hard to actually assimilate back into the normie life. I feel like after you've been doing it for so long, because it's just like oh you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Because, like, just in chat, converse, like, conversationally, talking to my stream, I'll use, like, the emotes, like, their words in chat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is weird, you know? <laughs> Trying to talk to people who don't understand. S. Exactly. I'm so right now, Monka S. What? Exactly. Um, but, Foxy, you're talking about, like, people getting jealous. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, you gotta be secure 
if yeah. first of all, if you're going to date someone, period, mm-hmm. don't right. don't put your insecurities on another person to have to solve. But also, if you're dating a, a like a female streamer, I feel like that is insecurities will absolutely come to the surface. I think pretty quickly, and they're mm-hmm. it's either you um, decide it's not going to work out, or that you might accidentally for some reason or another maybe fall for them and then not realize how controlling they get and i think i can be really mm-hmm. dangerous because there are a lot of like really insecure very jealous dudes out there they're like yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no no one can talk to you the way i talk to you oh god <laughs> you're just like good i hope not because you talk to me creepy <laughs> right yeah, <you're> creepy. <laughs> yeah definitely uh we have a to- chat topic question real quick kind of like on the line of like relationships and stuff. They said I'd like to ask everyone on the podcast what do you guys think about furries? <laughs> would you Ooh. would any of you dress up in a furry outfit? If so, Ooh. would Ooh. would you attend a furry con? I think a better question I'm going to reframe this slightly is to ask what are your fetishes? Instead? <laughs> or what's your fursona? I, I actually get a lot of people that think I'm a furry. Um, Cause your name is Fox. Fox. Yeah. Fox is, yeah. Cause in Fox. And I have found out that foxes are like a very important, like really, really popular in the, I don't have anything against it, honestly, because I have friends who are furries. I'm just personally not into it. Uh, myself. It's cause you're into league of legends. They think that you must play Ari cause your name is Fox Miss Prime. Oh, and therefore you're going to wear no. Fox ears I actually and seduce them. don't play her. I was actually I know, a but Swain main. The league of legends culture. I feel like it's, I feel like the revolutionary of the Fox furries started with Ari, like in like Naruto, like, like mm. this generation of Fox furries. It's like the two big influences. <laughs> but keep going. Go for it. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's like I always I always get it a lot because of my name. Um and it doesn't like bother me. Like I don't care. I know I'm not one. Um but like I said, I don't have anything against it. I know people who are furries and they're fine people. Like they can do whatever they want behind closed doors. That's their prerogative, not mine. Um doesn't bother me, but it's I'm not part of it. Oh yeah. I totally understand. Um, I, I've met some furries, uh, at, at conventions, but I don't know if that's like just wanting to look cute in a furry outfit or if they like use them in the hotel room afterwards. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. Cause, <laughs> if, if, Cause if they don't, if they, if they do use those fur suits in the hotel afterwards, I feel really bad now that I hugged them. You know, that's just like gross. <laughs> oh, How do you yeah. clean that? You like take it to the dry cleaners like once a month, maybe like that's. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have been told, though, like, so, like I said, I have friends who are furries, and they warned me, though, the fursuits that you're not supposed to hug them. If you see a furry, fur, like, a furry suit, and they're wearing, like, pants, and they don't, like, like, it just looks like a suit, but then they randomly have pants covering it, they told me, don't hug those people, because... <laughs> oh, my God, really? Cute. Yeah, that's what I was told. Wait, wait, why? Sorry, why can't you? Why shouldn't you hug them when? So they're because, in a furry suit and so they're wearing they're pants over the furry suit, suit. If they just randomly have like pants over it, uh, supposedly that means that they it's an exposed suit, so it's probably a sex suit. So they're probably having sex in it with their pants on. Oh, well, it's, it's- like. Covered. So the it's, suit it's could be dirty, oh, you're saying? Yeah. Like, ooh, I oh, they wearing I, a half suit. It will come off later. Oh. <laughs> it's like, just, wow, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, it's like, no, I have for bread. The they it's always, like those are always the ones. Around, it's always oh, the ones with no. pants on who have the free oh. hug sign, too. Oh, oh, oh my no. gosh. Did you no. hug them? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Whatever Oof. happened to look, younger you that never wanted people to touch you? Like now I you're said, hugging, after high school, you're hugging... after college, I, I became okay with hugging people. When I started doing, like, conventions. Man, you should have just stuck with your original. I should have just stuck with not touching people. Shit. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> oh. I, um, I remember I did, like, a... I did a furry stream where, like, we delved into furry stuff. And I learned about, like, the history of furries. Uh-huh. It was really interesting. There's, like, people that are... Um, looking like fur, I think first furry community started off as a, a sexual thing or at least had sex involved. Not necessarily mm-hmm. like they're trying to only have sex, but like they would have like well, hotel that parties. Makes sense, and it was more like a doggy sex thing. style. So that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you have that joke waiting for no. this for this topic? <laughs> no, it just came to me just now. I'm like, I could see that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, so like, yeah, they had like a they had sex involved in like the origins of it, but now it's delved into. There's people that do it just free because they they like to express themselves that way, or it's a fun <laughs> form of escapism. Mm-hmm. And there's mm-hmm. other people that do it because they're trying to like, you know, it's it's more of a sexual thing. Yeah. And um and then there's always like the weird Nazi furries that show up and they try to like infiltrate furry get togethers with like white supremacy stuff. Oh, that's I crazy. don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I've seen pictures of that. That's really weird. Yeah, and they and the furry the furry community tries to make sure that they're not allowed and they get out. But there's that's <laughs> always a thing to be aware of. Um but they don't represent like the furry community. They represent people that the furry community does not like acknowledge mm, as part of them. I see. But I but I used to be very like negative towards furries. I used to be mm. like, "Oh, furries are subhuman. That's so cringe." Blah blah yeah, blah. That is and so now cool. you desire them. <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> I if any furries are in the chat. I'm I'm watching you. So, no, I have uh, a friend of mine. Actually, um, is a furry. She's she she's a furry herself, and she explained how much she gets bullied for being a furry, and how much people target mm-hmm. her, and. And how this is just a thing that is how she wants to express herself and it's, it doesn't harm anyone and what's the problem. And yeah. then she, she spoke about it in such a way that I was like, honestly, what is my what is my problem? Like, so if a person's into a thing, I have to have a problem with it because it's not my thing and I find it to be like cringe or whatever. So now I have to call you subhuman and, and even borderline bully you for it. Like I never went out to try to find furries to bully, well, but like they I find, they, certainly they're took, attracted to you because your name has bunny in it. It's a, like oh, a bad yeah, that's bunny. True. There's like that's Foximus true. Prime. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but like it, it just occurred to me. I'm like, what is my fucking problem? Like if and I think about it, like if I could get into a thing as much as people furries are into being like dressing up as furries and, or mm-hmm. you know being their first Sona. That that would be awesome. Like, you ever been into any sort of fandom and other people cringe, but you're like, I don't give a shit because I'm in this world and I love it. Like, if you're really into a, a book series, if you're like really into, you're talking about um, were you were you all Neopets or whatever earlier, yeah. <laughs> like stuff like that. It's like being really into a thing is so fun. It is. And the more cringe that you might look to other people for your your interest that hurts no one, it's perfectly friendly and perfectly fine. Uh-huh. The more like absurd it looks to the rest of the world, the more you're like that person has to be really into it because it's so weird to do. It's mm-hmm. so weird to dress up in like a furry outfit and just like I'm oh, a furry really person. Into it. Yeah, yeah. Are, like, I'm like, what's the problem? Yeah. So yeah, I, I I was an asshole. I used to be an asshole about furries, and now I'm like, you know, you do you. It's not for me, but who gives a shit? I don't have to. Shouldn't have to yeah, bully people about it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, everyone can have their own kinks and stuff. What are your kinks, though? Do you have My any? King? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Oh god, I'm not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna <laughs> wait on this one. Do you, you have a box? First? Uh, I I have to think. <laughs> no, I can't think of anything else. I see you have a head. Hulk poster behind you. Now. Are you a fan of the uh, uh, No, I don't want to do anything with the Hulk. Oh, okay. Um, I'm actually I'm actually like not in like my, I'm not in Texas right now. I'm like out of state, out of friends. Uh, so this isn't my normal backdrop, but I mean, I do like the Hulk. The Hulk is probably one of my favorite. But no, I don't want to do anything with the Hulk. Play uh-huh. the Hulk. Hide the zucchini later. Hmm. Hmm. I think my fetish in general was, would just be cosplay. Like, not furry specifically. Oh, fun. Mm-hmm. But just cosplay in general, I think is fun. Real role play. Uh, I don't think but I that's have. not a kink. That's like an interest. That's like a hobby. That's a, yeah. that's like a fetish. No, I mean like okay. in the in, oh. in the yeah in the bedroom role playing too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh, in the bedroom. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm a virgin. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. That's why the guys accepted you. For... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Am, am I the last one? Um, yeah, I can't think so. And everyone already go? That was so fast. Yeah, That's because JCG I, I, well, doesn't want to talk about it. And 
Yeah, yeah I, I think that's pretty normal, I guess. Like, I don't, I can't think of anything. Like, I mean, the role play thing can be fun and everything, you know, like I've done like schoolgirl kind of things because, like, that's always like people's like interests. But I remember like doing it and then like not really being, I was like, this is kind of weird, actually. <laughs> For me, yeah. I don't think that it's weird in general. I just felt weird. Acting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Maybe I mean, I'm like. A bad <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense. It is it is kind of like it makes you feel kind of goofy and kind of like do you ever try to 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 like do a presentation or recite a speech or do act something in front of like a friend? Uh -huh. It's so it's like, oh my gosh, I would rather do this in front of like a, a group of strangers rather than at least is how I feel, rather than like a friend, because it's like it's so I don't know. So yeah, I think it if you're not really comfortable with that dynamic, I think that's actually that's pretty normal. It, I mm -hmm. think it's kind of actually, it, you have to really focus on not being self-critical when you're trying to cl like click into yeah. that mindset of like mm -hmm. playing the little schoolgirl or whatever. <laughs> oh, it's just weird. Oh my gosh, I lost it. my homework. Anissa. Whatever will I do? How can I ever make up the extra credit? I don't know, something, something stupid. See, I don't role play pedophilia. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my role play pedophilia. Okay, that's creepy when you put it like that. Adults. When you put it like that, that's creepy. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm there's there are some people into that though. I don't know. Well, one of the things I'm into is like the daddy, uh, the daddy oh, thing. You're a daddy's like, girl. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, the, what is it called? Like, um, it's like a daddy little girl or something. Daddy's yeah, but girl. then there's I don't know. Yeah, it there's like a there's different ways you can like there's different like labels for it. But I'm not into the whole like at all times. I'm always because there's people that like like they will like larp it all the time. They will always have this like daddy little girl like daddy daughter relationship oh, like outside the bedroom like in Walmart. Like daddy, daddy, <laughs> like it's yeah, like, I've seen, I've seen it's YouTube not. Videos, that's not what right? I do. But when you say it's like role playing pedophilia, then it creeps me out. But it is really creepy okay, if you only, think about it. The it's only thing that I would say like, would be appropriate would be like if you with with like the pedophilia role play. I think the one thing I'd be open to is if it was like childhood crush on cartoon characters, you know, who aren't real <laughs> people, like Misty. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Chet. Why does your mind immediately hot? just go? Listen, of all the things. This is the only acceptable one. Childhood crush on cartoon characters. Yeah, like, and then you like have a one immediately version. to mention, like Mist. Yeah. Why did you think? Why did you come up with that so quickly? Because chat was like, I thought I saw some of the chat being like, "You cosplayed Misty though," and I'm like that's different because it's it's a cartoon character. You're not for You're not like dressing up as like a like a like a generic <laughs> schoolgirl <laughs> concept or like a daddy thing. I don't know. I feel mm -hmm. like it's. Different. Isn't but, anime girls? Aren't they like seven thousand okay, years old yeah. and like yeah. half a dragon and like half some <laughs> other shit anyway? Like, I mean, <laughs> I don't think I don't think that really matters that much, dude. Like, yeah, I had the biggest crush on Sailor Moon. I had the biggest yeah. crush, on mm -hmm. like an adult version of a of a of origin a character that was like originally a kid. I think is okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because you're not like yeah, this ten year old. It's more of like a. It's like with the school girl, it's weird because she's in her school uniform. Yeah. And I'm like, you haven't graduated yet. <laughs> so, like, are you, is this legal? What is this? I don't know. Um, I guess it depends if it's like a college girl or something would be different. Yeah. But if it's mm -hmm. like, if you're combining daddy with school girl, I don't know if that's too much or not. Like the little mm -hmm. girl thing. I don't know. This is, it gets weird really fast. <laughs> Very fast, like I don't know actually. if I want to mention my stuff because it's like no I I can understand if weird. it's like daddy like in a playful way you know like oh punish me no it's like very very like oh you like want him to pay for your your car and your stuff too like I can understand that, <laughs> Is that like a I would say what about I don't know. Your daddy then pay for your car. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've never gone there, but if part of this kink is that I get a car, that sounds. Daddy, can you my file license, my taxes for me? Daddy, can I you change my light bulbs? 
Daddy, can you fix my screen door? Daddy. It's like he's like a handyman at that point. <laughs> oh my gosh, were you like in the room when I when I was having all that sex? That sounds exactly like it. All the sex that I've had. Totally it. Um No, it's like it's it's I like I like when um I'm like sexually fucked, I think. There was a time where I couldn't really find any porn appealing. Well, I think the everyone, girl... if they're sexual, gets fucked. That's, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> I think everyone who's sexual is sexually fucked. It's really How no other way that? to be sexual. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> such a dork. <laughs> I, um. True, though. I am. Yeah. There's a time where, like, I was the only porn that it could ever work for me was porn where the girl was like actively crying and really, like, really upset. Like uh, she had to be very upset. Why do you? Why crying. do you thrive off of negative energy? <laughs> like, thing. I don't. This is why I you don't, like. I'm not trying to be so like much. this. You are. Is your chat this toxic? Or are you more toxic than your chat? My chat is very <laughs> toxic. They're very. They're toxic. Yeah, we have a toxic chat. And I don't have very good mods. I have. I just modded someone today, and now it's already the mod team here. My mod team is trash. Do you Look, think? Hey, mod. Desire where for, are you? I hate you. They're not even here. They're all just you, lurking. Is your desire for negativity a product of Twitch, or is tw Twitch just fitting in with your natural desire mm -hmm. from childhood? Ah, uh, isn't that the ultimate question? I think that it's been a synergistic com combination. I think that I do have a lot of. Like, I have a lot of negativity from, like, my childhood. Everyone has a fucked up childhood in their own way, right? Everyone has something. Ooh. But uh, my childhood was, it, it, I made, it turned me into a pretty dark person, I think. Mm. And I think that the internet really helps to accentuate that. So I think that me coming to Twitch, and I, I think that it was a both, I think it was, you know, it was just a nice combination of the two that just mm. synergistically led to me needing a woman to have to cry and be upset <laughs> in a porno for me to find it appealing. I no longer am like that. I try my best to like break out of it and I have, but there was a time when that was the case. And so like, that's why I'm like, do I really want to get delve into the specifics or even like the, even the generalities of things that I've been sexually interested in? Cause it can get really like dark. Are you one of those people? Oh, hi Maude. Like hi Husker. Hi Chloe. I mean, is there like Sorry. a topic you could say or like a subject? Like for like, I, like I would enjoy BDSM. Like that's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, yeah. I, just, like, I mean, like I talk about with the daddy stuff too, but it gets like pretty. Are you into the victim fantasy? I at think all? so. Where it's like, like like against your will or whatever. Yes. Yeah. That mm. was, and also I'm, and this really fucks me up because I'm a rape victim, and so it's like, mm -hmm. am I? That... Am I like? is this my way of coping with that trauma and taking control back or whatever? Or am I actually have those, have those, in, have those experiences in my life, which are traumatic and absolutely unwanted, obviously mm -hmm. have they like actually permanently left their mark on me, which is really upsetting to think about. It's upsetting to think you that anyone can have that much of an influence on me. If, if the desire for those fantasies happened before or after that's what would determine it. Well, there's a thing with, I think it, it was before a bit, but I was also, I was also sexually abused at a pretty early age as well. So mm -hmm. like, so it could who knows? Be all in there psychologically. But, right. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to, but I, uh, there's a, when it comes to women with like, and this isn't just a That makes women, sense though. That's why you like watching them miserable in porn because you feel like it's relatable. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Right. And I'm like, if, like, if they were happy, I'm like, this isn't, this doesn't feel like, this it's feels real. like a bummer. <laughs> I don't well, know. Well, it's because you it. know, you didn't enjoy it when those things happened to you. So for you no, to like, connect right. with it, you have to have it be, feel like a relatable thing rather than being like, well, right. fuck you, you enjoy it. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's like, but it I will say, unrealistic. someone asked me in, in your chat earlier something that uh, is basically this question. So I'll answer it. Um, it was, if I ever, if you ever looking at some like more dark ish kind of porn you will every once in a while come across a video that looks like some live leaks shit where you're like this doesn't literally feel like it was staged this feels like it was a real thing and then i feel sick to my stomach i feel horrified mm -hmm. 
I, if there's something that I have to have a certain level of, okay, this is realistic, but also it's not real. Cause if it's mm -hmm. too real, even if I know it's acting, but sometimes it's done too well. I like, I literally, I feel like my stomach is in knots. I feel horrible. So it has to be a certain, sorry. <laughs> Cops are trying to come arrest me. Cause, <laughs> oh shit. Cause you were at that so, protest, huh? Yeah. Yeah. They're protesting. Trying to, probably, yeah. Protesting. They're coming after me. Um, there has to be a certain, and I know a lot of people probably can understand this. There's a lot of porn that you probably like watch where maybe you never want to do it, but you like to watch it or you like to watch it so long as it's fake, but it can't be too fake because you want it to be still that's not how so I corny. Feel about, that that's why I like evil. hentai more. It's all fake. And mm. I don't have to worry about if she's not enjoying it. <laughs> Right. No, actually, that's, like, I actually like hentai for that reason, too, because it's like no one it's a, no one's getting victimized right here. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so like there's a thing with when it comes to it's like consensual, non-consensual or like rape. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, not not it's like a rape fetish. Not it's not the right Fantasy. word to use because that means that it sounds like you're actually like into raping people. No, um, but the, uh, the victim fantasy is why I call it that. Yeah, that's a better way so of putting that it. Way yeah, the people can't like misunderstand as like you want to do the violating. Mm -hmm. It's just like the being held down mm -hmm. against your will type of thing is actually right. something that is uh, a, like a, it's a common thing. It's actually quite common. People. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. especially common amongst women uh, who are raised in like conservative religious households, like yeah. I was, because if mm -hmm. you're taught over and over again that sex is bad sex is not it can't be your choice because then you feel bad about right. it right if it's someone Precisely. else's choice that yeah that makes You're, sense. the agency is taken out of your hands you no longer <laughs> are being the sinner you're no longer being the horrible um slutty whatever your upbringing your conservative shaming, yeah. religion mm -hmm. told you right yep. and that that can oftentimes be an escape for women who are who have that who mm -hmm. have that hang up? Because like, I, it's that's how I was bad raised. If and I you want it and you initiate it, but if someone else is initiating right. and you're just like you're, you happen to be in the situation. It's like mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. be blamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Precisely. Yeah. So I think that's, I think it's interesting, and it's also kind of just yeah. Don't don't shame. Don't don't stigmatize sex. It doesn't lead to people not having sex. It leads to, uh, you know. People that are sexual, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty natural inclination, right? Oh, the animals are sexual. Look at the Both bonobos are. who are mostly related to genetically. <laughs> they say oh hello God. by fucking. And it's not even <laughs> like a shameful thing. It's I just do. like greeting, like hi. I just have sex now. I don't even shake hands. It's like way, <laughs> way better results. Like people love me. I may have so many friends right now. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only have one friend. I don't know. It's it's a natural thing. I think it started becoming like a shameful act when people started trying to control other people and like control mm -hmm. like what yeah. kids are made in which which family, which bloodline and stuff and like control the people like oppression. It's part of just like the human. It's not natural mm -hmm. to be opp this oppressed. It's uh, definitely just humans no, constructing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference between choosing a life partner and being like sexually shamed. You know, because that's like a choice where it's like, I want to be the only this person. But it's not a thing to be like, how dare you be a slut or whatever your people want to call mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could ever get married, though, have a life partner. I feel Aww. like I, I just no, not all. I just I just never I don't think there's anyone that I'm not going to get annoyed with within like a month or so. I get annoyed with people very easily. And these are perfectly great people. There's not like I'm just. I just like I start getting mad. I get so mad at them for I'm like, oh god, that's of course you the would thing. Make that I don't think like, I, I don't know. Uh, I feel like that's not natural either because um, like monogamy for life. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like that's what I want to do, but I think like in nature mm -hmm. you don't see that often purely because like most of the time the animals that do stay monogamous to each other they die before like the human lifeline you know it's like they're with it. like like wolves i think like if they are, remain alpha they are made year after year but they don't live that long you know it's not and like humans alpha, the alpha wolf thing was debunked though no Isn't alphas are the parents activity? alphas are the parents basically of the pack but like another if another pack came and like took over the position then they would mate it's basically the alpha is like the two who get to mate they reserve the breeding rights in the pack um 
but yeah, like they don't live as long as humans do. I feel like it's unnatural to force humans to be together in like a like a biological way. I feel like that's what we want as an emotional way, validation. But as a biological way, I don't think that there are two creatures necessarily that live together as long as humans do committed to each other just because of natural death causes and stuff. And like mm-hmm. that emotional, like like social creatures typically just don't live as long as humans. I know birds live as long, but I don't know if like parrots are monogamous in the wild. I'm not sure how that works. I know pigeons are monogamous, yeah. and they'll even cheat on each other. It's like pigeons really... have like a, a life rate of like three years. <laughs> hmm. uh, I don't know. I feel like so. A lot, I don't think a lot of people like should be taught to like. Oh, I have to be monogamous. Like if that's not for you, it's not for you. And no one is the same. I feel like it's not natural to force everyone to be the same way. You know, they just don't live as long necessarily. But I think we're way more like, I I like that. I like what you're saying. I would agree with it to a point, but I also think some animals, I could be wrong. I've never talked to an animal, but I don't <laughs> think they can handle all the emotions that a human can. Right. No, we can feel harder. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like have a lot of those emotions and like we grow just because, yeah, we, we do last longer than ant, like other animals, but we also grow Right. At the same time. The emotional so. capacity is different, for sure. And, but yeah. for some people, their emotional capacity is different from other humans, even. So that's why I'm like, it just really depends on you. But I don't think it's natural right. to force the entire species to be like, you have to be this way or else something is wrong with you. Like, no, that's probably just not for you. Exactly. You know, yeah. there's a lot I, of diversity within the human race. So, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I feel like, don't try to necessarily be a multi. <laughs> But yeah. Do you guys want, do you prefer monogamy or do you prefer open relationships? Uh, I personally am a monogamous kind of person. Um, I, but I have a lot of friends who are into the open and I, I don't know if I've really seen any relationships that I think all relationships have problems. Oh yes, they Uh, do. (laughs) No, nothing's perfect. (laughs) Yeah. Um, but then when I've like, like I said, personally, I'm into monogamy because it's what I want. I don't have anything against people that want to be in open relationships. I don't think that I could personally be with somebody that wanted to be in an mm-hmm. open relationship because, like, when I get into a relationship, I really focus on that person and trying to make them happy. And I and I guess, like, want them for myself. That's just how I am. Yeah. Hmm. I've been in an open relationship before. I've been I, the last one, last major one I was in. I was it was an open one. I actually convinced the dude to like embrace it because he was like kind of against it. I was like, no, 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 no try it. And then he like loved it, and mm-hmm. it made him feel like like very. He's like he felt like so. He kept telling me how like masculine it made him feel because I was just like, he would like talk to like women and was like, yeah, go go have sex with them, go for it, and like. I would love Trap. the idea of him going out and having sex with other women. I, it made me feel like he was going out and like, like some some really really cringy kind of um, like like dominating, conquesting like type of you know cringe shit. It's cringe shit if you think about it, really. But that's the thing that like I loved. I was like, yeah, I, I like to see a guy that could flex how like sexually attractive he is by like women paying attention to him so the logical conclusion is like if you can have sex with them that to me is like awesome <laughs> so i like so loved you, it so what to, to you you want a guy who is desired by lots of women is i think is what you're trying to say i want to yeah i wanted a guy that's like very desired by lots of women right and so much so that he's able to just have casual sex with them and like that that like there's a there was a woman who lived like on his floor and like i was hanging out with him in his apartment she's he's like i just got a text from her I'm like go for it so you go out and have sex with her and come back and i was like that was awesome like i love that which is really weird i understand so you're not odd. a jealous type basically you're like the opposite of jealous you're like oh i'm not jealous yeah okay. i don't get i'm jealous. gonna ask chat are you jealous <laughs> you can keep going it's fine yeah it means i was literally a cuck yes dame this is true literal cuck you jealous type are you the jealous type what about you jay what are, what are your thoughts on it and like as far as like jealousies or just open versus monogamous um 
Yeah, I, I think, yeah, whatever the person really wants. I The only thing I care about, and I say all the time, like, just make sure you guys are, like, on the same page. Because mm-hmm. some people don't know. Like, they, you know, like, I thought we were in a closed relationship, and it turns out he thought it was an open one. And so it's oh, like, yeah, that kind of fucking sucks. So, yeah, I no, he's a scumbag. That was yeah. a scumbag move. <laughs> you yeah, can't exactly. just assume things. Yes. Right. And, yeah, I don't, see, I don't know if I could, do, I can't do an open relationship, at least not anymore. That's not, like, I'm mm-hmm. I'm ready to settle down. Like, I'm looking for, not looking for it, but, you know, when it happens, it happens. But, yeah, that open relationship stuff seems just, it, to me personally, I just, it thought it was kind of weird. I didn't get it. So it's yeah. not like, for you, though, point? right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't get it. I, I agree. I don't quite, like, I mean, I can kind of get, I can kind of get wanting to, like, have new experience with other people. But from mm-hmm. my personal preferences, I'm like... I, just the way that I am, I can't be attracted to more than one person at a time. Oh, I never exactly. did. The, I never, I never like, like truly had, like that's with other dudes, though. like emotionally <laughs> and physically at the same time. You know, mm-hmm. I can't yeah. have that for more than one person. Yeah, yeah honestly, I, I couldn't people, do that either, though. When like, people would hit on me when I'm in a relationship, it would disgust me because I'm like, yes, Bruh, you know, I'm in a relationship. Like, what are you doing mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. Like, what do you think's gonna happen? Yeah, it can be really offensive to people who's like. They're like not even it's just like for some people they actually are very offended by it. It's very I understand that. Like it's it seems like it's like glorified cheating or something. Like it mm. makes if you really value monogamy, people that have an open relationship and try to pursue you, um, it, it's almost like you it's making a mockery of a thing that you really think is valuable and something that you hold in very high esteem. And they're mm-hmm. like, nah, I'm just going to smear my genitals everywhere. It doesn't matter. It's like, mm-hmm. wait, that's not how it's supposed to go. What are you doing? Like, that's, right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's just not, that's not okay. Right. And that's it's perfect. Unsanitary. I think it's perfectly fine if people are, have that opinion because, yeah. And that's certainly, I think, the default opinion is that yes. don't sleep with other people in relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would be, I don't know. I, like, part of it, too, is just like, I don't know where, like, I go down the genital train, which means like, if if they aren't faithful, if they have an open relationship, it's like where I don't know who's been inside her and who's been inside him and who's been inside her and him and all their yeah. partners. I like go down like the germ train and I'm like, yeah, oh, that's no, that's yeah. the thing that scares me. Yeah, that's the concern. It's like STDs. I'm like, if you give me if you give me anything, I swear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, that's all that's my big threat Ooh. yeah it's like their partners and their partners and those people's partners and all like it just like that's like a tree that just sprouts bigger in germs it's just, uh, I don't know I just don't trust it it like grosses me out to think about <laughs> Ugh. icky so so okay we, don't, we know you don't like that I think most people here don't like it then yeah but I mean, if numb. you're into it, that's cool. Oh yeah, I would. I would never judge someone if, yeah, if they right, were right, into right, that. Right. Yeah, that's what you mm-hmm. like. Yeah, yeah that's what you're into. Reference. And it could just mm-hmm. be she's not thinking about the germ train. She's thinking about it like they're so desired, like it has like a psychological mm-hmm. aspect, not as a physical. Like if I could like smell his per- smell her perfume on him, I would be like, that's awesome. Oh, what if it smells like cat like, piss though? Say what? What about the cat piss? What happened to that? <laughs> you were he was he was doing it with the girl who doesn't care about the animals. If she was wearing cat piss perfume, then I would be like, huh? But also like really offended and be like just very angry. So it would be very. It's never His happened taste, to me, but low I would. I don't know what it would be like for me. I don't know which emotion would win. Would I be horny or would I be angry, or just like angry <sighs> horny? Just like ah, yeah. For Wag you, it finger. seems like they go hand in hand, though, with the negative energy desire. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, that's make that would make me genuinely angry. Right, I don't want right, to be right. genuinely right. like upset. Yeah, yeah. I want to be like, you know, let's pretend to be upset, like, or you know, just. <laughs> I'm just I'm sorry, I'm always like taking over these. Wait, do you actually, do you pretend to be upset sometimes? Yeah, I like cry and be upset and stuff. It's like part of like the role play. This is why men find it very hard to communicate with women. 
They don't know whether <laughs> they're actually mad or not. Some women are pretending no, some man, are actually mad. No, man, we talk mad. about it beforehand. It's all part of the Oh, okay, all in the role play. You have okay. that behind the king or else it's a disaster. Yeah, have a safe word. Communicate. If, I just, if I'm with a new guy and I just start sobbing in the middle of it, yeah, he should be concerned. There's no preemptive, like, we haven't had a conversation about, like, Guys can't tell okay? if they're doing a good job or not. Like, I think she was mad. I don't know if she was playing or if she is actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. For the record, Chad, if some if you're having sex with someone, and they start crying in the middle of it. That's a bad Please thing stop. unless they've had a conversation beforehand where you're like, let's pretend that you're really upset. And then you have a safe word. So you yeah. can say the safe word have and then you word. know that it's actually not fun time that we actually need to stop for real. Have a safe word. Yeah, definitely. Everyone, what's your safe word? Put it in the chat. If you don't know one, figure one. Just find one out. What's your Yetzi! safe word? see. I don't know. Yeah, I do not have a safe. I don't God. use safe words. <laughs> that was from the uh, arc. Was, what was the animated Batman movie? I don't know. Probably Quinn yelled it out the window. But I think she was excited. Uh, do you have any advice, though, for guys with regards to first dates? Ooh. Like topics yeah. to, to avoid or to bring up? Any of those? Hmm. I would say avoid the exes. On this one too. Avoid talking about exes or asking a girl how many guys oh, she's been with. Yeah. Avoid talking about that yourself, too, because most women don't want to know immediately. Because that's already, like, setting up a bad thought in their mind of how they associate you if they're just thinking, wow, he's a man whore. Or, wow, he's such a virgin. Is he desirable at all? You know, like, mm -hmm. it depends on the woman you go out with. But, yeah. Um, I would avoid talking about that. Hmm. That'd be my, my advice. Anyone else? I know, I'm trying to... Th Ooh, skip me. Here, come back to me. I'm still... That's a hard one. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't, I don't think that I honestly have a lot of dating advice myself because, honestly, like, all the relationships that I've gotten into, they didn't... We, we knew each other beforehand, and most of the time it was, like, through the internet, um, like through gaming and stuff like that. So I never really experienced a lot of dating. And the, and the dates that I went on were really weird. Oh, so, no. What was your know. weirdest date? Hold oh, on, no, 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 no. Story time, story time. What was your weirdest date? Uh, okay, so I feel bad about them. So like I used to go to this arcade, and this arcade would hold car shows. So car kind of people were there. And so this like Japanese guy asked me out, um, and like just like trying to show off like his car and I don't know anything about cars. I'm just like, yeah, I could drive one. Uh, I don't know anything. So it was really weird. But the thing is, is that also English wasn't his um, like first language. So he was like, it was kind of like hard to discuss with him. And I felt really bad because this is when like those Twilight movies came out and I made him take me to see Twilight. And then I found out on the date that he really couldn't understand English that well. So I made him watch Twilight. How did you meet this person? You don't need to know English to watch Twilight. It's fine. Yeah, but for, um, because I went to an arcade and he asked me, like, he just asked me on a date and he was like a car guy. So it was just really weird. And I was like, we have nothing in common. Like, I was sitting there talking oh. about World of Warcraft to him. And then I made him see Twilight. <laughs> you find that you have nothing in common on the first date though that's good yeah because i sometimes i don't find out till i'm tapped from seeing them for two weeks i'm like wait we have nothing in common do we yeah but he was a really nice he was very um uh, like very respectable and everything but yeah i'm not in the cards so that was just really strange to be like asked out on a date and then like we literally had nothing in common Aww. and so like that's my dating experience Damn. That's so I don't have any advice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your advice is don't date people that you can't understand if you're going to make them watch an English movie. Have a, yeah, know each other's language. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's your tip. Speak the same language. You don't, mm -hmm. don't make them watch a movie but they don't know what's going on. Makes for a really awkward date right off the bat. Mm -hmm. It was very strange. <laughs> Just awkward the whole time. Yeah. Did you? Did he ever message you after that? Or yeah, I mean, we like stayed friends because like uh, we would go to the like he would because like I said the arcade that I went to would hold um, and actually it's like Anime Matsuri they used to have an arcade 
Okay. Um, and so they would hold, like, you know, they do all that car show stuff. Right, right, and right. So he would come for, like, the car show stuff. Oh, is this the, was this the director's arcade of the Amin Matsuri? Was that, I know he yeah. had one at one point. Because I'm like, that's the only arcade I would know who would have cars. Yeah, uh, it was that one. Planet Zero. Man. So it was strange. Okay. <laughs> We're in Houston, chat. We, we know, like, the same places. Mm, I got gotcha. you. What about you, Jay? Any, any dating do's and don'ts? <sighs> On the date itself? Um, shit, dude. I'm so awful at this. I'm so bad. It's been so... I I think I've had maybe a date, maybe like four times. I I mean, like, I'm trying to think like dates before relationships, not during relationships. Those right. don't count. Right, right, right. So that's... Like, like I haven't dates. really had many. Yeah. It's... Uh, good luck. That's... um. I actually don't, I really don't know. I, I can't even say, like, be yourself, because that's, you know, some of you shouldn't, okay? Like, some of you are fucking weird, but... <laughs> Shots! Yeah, I, so, some, some people... Crap. Some people, well, not, not you guys, but, like, I thought you said being weird was a good thing crap. earlier. Yeah, some weird, though. Some weird, you know, it's just not meant for others. You just... Wait, whoa. Daisy oh, B yeah. said some of y'all shouldn't be yourself because you're weird fuckers. Because you're, cause you're yes, yeah, so you need to, you know, hang out with, Holy you know, get some crap. friends, you know, something like that. That yeah. I think you're thinking of a socially inept people, like yeah. people that are like are socially make people. It's like their energy is very uncomfortable. Yeah, and they, they are right. not like being aware of how socially, like, I guess. Socially awkward is fine until you're like clipping your nails on the bus in front of people. What? And then you're like, like, there's a level of like quirky right. and weird, but then you're just like, you're really, really breaking some serious social norms. And it's not like the fun kind of like, it's, it's actually just making people feel like something's wrong with you. You know, like you're mm. feeling uncomfortable and unsafe around them and you don't know how to handle it. So don't, don't, don't do that. What are these life experiences you guys have? I feel so sheltered even more than I already did. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so don't clip your nails in the first date. Uh, <laughs> don't make sure they speak the same language as you. Um, don't, don't, don't be weird. <laughs> don't do like people do in my Discord DMs and tell me you're a virgin 60 times. Um, oh my god. Nice. Well, yeah. that's not first date tips. That's like a that's like no, that's, general. I mean, tip. just in general, don't tell a girl like I'm a virgin. Like the first time you meet her, because that comes off really weird. And like, yeah, it's almost like you're requesting sex. their services. Yeah. Help? <laughs> Can you help? SOS. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, that's weird. Clipping toenails. I have some. I have some tips. Um, I would say that if you're on a first date with someone, I have some very specific like almost like pickup artist tips, unfortunately. First of all, sit a, don't sit across from them. Sit like side by side, like at a bar or like in an L shape. The si across, oh, from, okay. an across from you is yeah. very interview, very interrogation, very, you're, you're at a far distance. It's harder for you to break the, break the touch barrier. Like it's I mean, hard on the first, first date, initial. I don't know if she would want to break the touch barrier necessarily. It might be too fast for some people. <laughs> You if know. you're on a first date and you're sitting close to each other and it's uncomfortable, then yeah, don't break the touch barrier. But at least you don't want to have to say, I think this is going well. Do you want to switch where we're no, sitting so I can get closer like, to you? If you have a, a table, um, and it, like don't like avoid a booth. It's better this way. Avoid mm -hmm. a booth and get a, just a square table and then a corner, corner. Yeah, seats. sit, sit in like, a, like an L shape or if, like I said, at a bar, if you're like sitting on the same side. You can like turn to each other, but and that's have very them... important too. You don't want them under a booth because then you can't see her feet and her, her body language. Her feet <laughs> will be pointed away if she's not feeling you. Like you can tell so much more from her body language if you're not in a booth. Whether oh, she's interested or not. I never thought about that. Yeah, yeah stuff like she's that. like she'll be like. It's Dang. the difference between like sitting like this, like leaning into your presence, versus like sitting like this kind of where her pelvis is pointed away. That that invokes that she is like wants to have like a flight response. Where she's like uncomfortable because she's not facing you. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It was like, mm. I would say like breaking the touch barrier if things are going well. Breaking the touch barrier, as in like a very benign, non-sexual form of of contact, physical contact, I think is really important. I've been on dates with so many guys that are just so terrified at the prospect of ever touching me that I'm like. 
It's like we've been on like three dates and you still haven't like touched my shoulder or, or we've shook hands or something like or maybe we'll have a hug at the end, which is way too late to ever build sexual tension in any sort of way. So mm -hmm. stuff that will like help you feel like you're making it more of a connection that has the potential to become sexual without it being, you know, don't grab a tit. That's not what's, what you're supposed to yeah, do. Yeah, I've had that don't, on the don't, first don't, don't, date. Don't break don't the touch do by grabbing a tit. It doesn't end well. No, yeah, don't do that. It's, that's a problem. Don't do that. Um, but something that is less of an interview and more of like a opportunity to just have a more intimate interaction. But um, also in that same vein, a lot of people like go to interview questions when they're first meeting a person. They're like, okay, well, where'd you grow up? Okay, what's your family like? Where do you, you see school? yourself in five years? Yeah, that's that's just who wants to have sex with a person who says no one's like, where do you want to be in five years? And like, all I want to do is just fuck you right now. Like, that's not a thing. No one's sexually intrigued what the by that. Fuck? No one's fucking into that. But uh, something that would sexually intrigue people is like throwing them off with um, maybe maybe more unusual stories or something that that allows for someone to want to poke in more. Ha poke in more into your life and to learn more about you right um to to allow for some sort of trajectory to the conversation to become more intimate and more personal and more and actually involve intrigue so that which is kind of hard to describe it's hard to describe and it's kind of weird but i think that so many people don't even do anything remar remotely close to this they'll just do interview questions it's just and they just sit across from you it's like a, basically i'm at a job interview like I'm not I'm not interested in fucking you if you're as you're trying to like see if I want to get a job at Quiznos or something like that's not just, just not make sexually sure to intriguing. Avoid for black me. couches on the first date. Yeah, don't don't do the ca don't show them. A, yeah, avoid a black couch with the camera, <laughs> you know, in front of it. Don't do that shit. It's not how it's supposed to go. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I've like I don't know. <laughs> I should go on more dates. I haven't gone on a date in forever. You should stream it. I would watch. <laughs> yeah, was, that'd actually be fun as fuck to see. To go on a, to go cool. on a, I've done like dates. I've done stream dates where I have like a viewer get get on webcam and date me. But it's always like, okay, what is that? That's not like a date. Like you can only do so much. So is holding the door, turning oh, turning the chair for a female still good? New good nowadays. Um, first of all, don't call women females. That's not good. It's creepy. <laughs> It's like calling, like, can I touch your epidermis? That's like, like what some sound, guys sound like a say. Ghoul. They're like, when I find a woman to breed with, I'm like, can you not say that? That sounds so yeah, weird. Yeah, don't don't say that either. Try try not to talk about women like they're objects for your like consumption or something. It's really or that like they're a different species other than human. Yeah. So call them women. You know, that's a safe one to use. Oh, it's a safe term to use, but. Holding the door, or, or it depends on who you're talking about, but I'm a feminist, and if a guy opens the door for me, I'm like, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. I don't think anything more of it. Um, if he pulls a chair out for me, I'm like, oh, that's really kind of you. So long as there's the understanding that there's no like strict gender roles where there's true women but always guys, do this and men always know, do that. Just know that if you are holding the door open for a woman, don't be the asshole who then stops when there are people behind her, too. Hold it for everyone who's exiting. Mm. Because I yeah, don't like been, slam the door and be like get it yourself. I was <laughs> I was streaming at a car show in Houston, and this guy was holding the door open, and I thought he was holding it open for everyone because he started like when he was fifty feet in front of me, holding the door open, and I'm like, oh, what a nice person. And then after I exited, there's people behind me, and he just let the door go, and I'm like, <laughs> he was fifty feet ahead of me, being like, oh, I'm gonna hold the door for her. Like, See, that's yikes, really and bad. Only her, and I'm like, oh, immediately that's, gross. Yeah, that's a red flag. It's like a, it's like a guy who's really nice to you, but then a horrible person to the waiter. It's like you're just trying to kiss my ass because you're trying to get something out of this, right. but you're actually kind of a dick in general. Like, yeah. if I wasn't, if I wasn't like a sexual prospect for you, you would just treat me like shit. Mm hmm. Yeah, because he was yeah. holding the door open. For, like, there's people in front of me just passing. And then, like, as I exit, then he lets go of the door, even though there's, like, families behind me he could have still held it open for. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what an asshole. Yikes. Don't be that guy, <laughs> chat. Be, if you're going to be polite, be, be at least seemingly gen genuinely polite to everybody, not just, like, callous. <laughs> Seems, it seems, seems like you're just trying to get brownie points and don't and aren't actually nice. It's a very nice guy of you to like put in nice tokens in a woman and be like, where's the sex coming out? 
Like be be yeah. actually a nice person. That means be nice to people that you're not trying to have sex with immediately. Mm -hmm. Like just like you know, like you're not trying to have a transactional niceness. Just be a nice person. Yeah. No, like helping an old lady walk across the street because you're just like only trying to fuck Dude. her. Like don't do that. Yes. Just be a nice person. <laughs> Help people. Be empathetic. Yeah. Care about people. Mm -hmm. That's actually so attractive to women if you actually stopped on your date to help other people too at the door. Like not even for her. Like that is so attractive oh, if you like. Sure. If you, oh my god. Yeah. So attractive. It's I like agree. he helps like wait and he helps like a person across the street or helps yeah. like or holds it open for other people. Like like if you're outside waiting and he still has the door open because people are passing, that's like so much more attractive. Oh my god, it's so it is so attractive. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's very attractive. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, guys. Chivalry isn't dead. Don't let them lie to you. <laughs> yeah, chivalry isn't dead. Some people it's love it. It's just rare. Just don't. Yeah. It's, sh it's not chivalrous if you're doing it because you're now, trying to. Now, don't act like she's dead. helpless, though. My pet peeve was when the guy got out of his car and rushed around to the other side just to open my door. Like, I can open <laughs> my door. You're not a chauffeur. Like, don't, <laughs> yeah, don't a be little, a try-hard chivalrous. <laughs> like, I am capable. Just be a convenient nice guy. Don't be a try hard nice guy. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> it made me feel really awkward. Um, another thing should they bring flowers or a present to the first date? Mm -mm. No! Mm -mm. <laughs> Wait, what? First date is like you're just trying to figure out is this person crazy? Are they trying to kill me? First it. date is like. It's like date. If it's like date zero, your date one is on the second date. Dates. I mean, sometimes the first date or date zero, whatever, works out great. If in you're that gonna case. bring her a present at all, offer to pay for her meal at the like. That's like the only type of present yeah, I feel like you that, should be that, bringing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would also cool. say that guys that pay for the meal on the first date, it's very kind of you. But I think yeah. that I was raised in an environment where the expect um, my upbringing was by by. Um, people that insisted that the man's role was to have to pay for the meal all the time and if a woman ever tries to pay it's so unattractive and it breaks up the natural order of things and yeah no i for no, me I personally that, i always like offer to pay for myself but if they're like no yeah. i insist i'm like okay i don't even yeah, offer to pay because that's weird to ask it's weird to ask what i do is i just get my wallet out and if they're like no yeah. i'll pay for it then i'm like okay thank you like i just yeah, assume that, that i'm gonna pay for thing. myself unless they stop me the back, you're just Unless the date's really bad. I've been on dates where it's absolutely atrocious. And I'm like, <laughs> like the guy's just an absolute piece of shit tool. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're going to pay for this. Because I can't believe I actually just sat with you for the past hour and just listened to this garbage Ooh. coming out of your mouth. I would have so just left then. Field. I've actually left a meal of dates before. I'm like, this isn't working. Goodbye. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, I think a good gesture on the most part is that try to pay for your try pay for your meal and if someone insists like no no no, i have it then it's like well thank you that's very kind of you and mm -hmm. and specifically the person that like initiated the date asking like if you're asking me on in a date then it it seems more natural that when the page the the check tug of war happens that the person who asked is the person who eventually goes okay i'm gonna pay but mm -hmm. like i still think it's perfectly appropriate for you know split the check or mm -hmm. whatever yeah or yeah i like pay. that yeah, I don't think you should go into dates expecting to have your stuff paid for. Like, always go in yeah. and you have to pay your that own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if they want to pay for it, that's fine with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. Mm hmm Damn. So, red flags, guys. Girls were like, are you going to pay? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to pay? Or are you going to pay? I don't bring my wallet because... Or... <laughs> Just remember that the person will be the most nice to you as they're ever going to be on your first few dates. Because after that, mm -hmm. they don't have to, if they feel, once they feel like they've locked you in, the natural human desire is, is to not have to impress you more because they get too comfortable. So if they're already not nice to you the first date, it's only going to get worse. Run. Yeah. Or they're trying some weird pickup artist negging thing, which is like, okay, you need to mm -hmm. chill. Get off mm -hmm. YouTube. Oh, <laughs> Stop yeah. Stop trying to learn from 
we many watched some of those videos and I talked about why these don't these are not accurate from a woman's perspective. No, no. Like at There's least from the guys. To be kids and giving them money and listening to them for their like I would advice. like to make a course from a woman's perspective that actually helps guys. Like, but I don't trust it from a man's perspective, especially when he has an ad in the middle of his video. Like, if you buy my watch, women will fuck you immediately. It's like <laughs> <laughs> women hate this like, one weird trick. She can't help themselves. Just have to take off their clothes. <laughs> There's this one pickup artist that I actually like, but he's like not a pickup artist per se. He's more of like a relationship. He talks to a lot of women. He talks to men and women, but he's kind of like relationship advice, dating advice guy. And mm -hmm. I for chat, you remember his name? Chat, what was his name? I forgot his name. I actually paid for something that he provided once. That's how much I liked him. I actually paid money to like get access to his damn his like thing his stuff and like i love him it's no it's not alex it's not alex jones it's like matthew something i don't know, mm, I don't know. anyways he was great he was like the only one because he gave you great advice like um everyone has like rich we all have rituals every day we have a ritual that we like wake up and then we make ourselves a cup of coffee we brush our teeth we, we have certain things that we do every day and we don't really put too much thought into them and it's kind of just the thing we do he said, like, make that a part of your life for things that are just other than, you know, brushing your teeth and stuff. Make it so every time you enter a room, you compliment a person on something, not something sexual and don't have an expectation of, so now can we have the sex? Like, no, compliment someone. I'm like, oh, that's a really cool bag or, oh, that's that's a really cool laptop. Whoa, that's cool shoelaces. I don't know, whatever. Um, cool sunglasses. And then just present, give them provide them the experience of feeling good because of you and then leave mm. it when you're used to that dynamic it becomes less it doesn't become weird when you finally say to a person that you're actually interested in there's not it doesn't work hitting on women doesn't work when you're hitting on them and they can feel that you are trying to get sex out of the out of the exchange it is True. super creepy and it's so artificial and it doesn't feel right and it doesn't take much to get that energy. Like I'm shit at reading people and I still get that energy from dudes when they're just, you can tell they, they're not, they're saying things that they think they need to say in order to get the crank the crank and get the, the sex at the end. And it's very awkward. Mm -hmm. So I like, oh, I think it was Matthew Hussey. Matthew Hussey, I think was his name. He's on YouTube too. And uh, so that was one of the tips that he provided. And I really, really like that. I think it's great just for socializing. <laughs> if someone gives you a compliment and they don't like, you just feel good. And then you're like, that person made me feel good. Mm -hmm. and you like them. <laughs> it feels good to feel good. So yeah. um, it's, it's all about the energy you put off too, like in a room. Yeah. Just make, it'll make um, you more likable just normally if you oh, practice Matt, having I'll good like energy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, someone in your chat knew Matthew Hussey. It's exciting. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's that positive energy. That'll make you more successful and not just like romantic relationship, but just like friendship relationships too, business relationships. Just having good energy. So yeah, compliment Ooh. people. That's true. Just don't don't make it in like a gross way. Like you can tell a woman you look great today, or you look like I like it's complimenting like her fashion style or something. You don't have to be like, I like your titties. <laughs> Like, you know, as that's, much as you want to, that's not how you do it. do it. Or I like how you did your hair today or something like that. You know, something not sexual. Don't, Don't talk about her eyes. On her makeup. A lot. Some women can get insecure about their makeup specifically. So I'll be like, I like your makeup today. Cause then she'll be like, what? You don't like my face without this bitch. Mm -hmm. right? like, oh, like, don't do that. oh if you get a girl like that fucking run dude. Like, Oh, if you get a girl like that, that's yeah. like, what do I not look good without? Oh, Gotta I've go. See you later. So many though, it's very Fuck common. That. But uh, don't. Yeah. That that reminds me. Don't tell women that they look better without makeup. Oh yeah. Don't ever do that. Weird. Yeah. Not because you don't think it. There's lots of things you think, but you don't say them. Yeah. Saying you think she looks better without makeup is like, it's just it's cringing like, like 15 different ways. It might not seem like it because you're like, well, if I were a woman that wore makeup and that lived in 2020 and with all the shit that's involved in that i would no just stop it just don't do that yeah. maybe if you're dating them for a really long time and you've developed some sort of relationship and now it's like they're trying to you know it's it's a much it, that's not a thing you tell a person to try to break the ice <laughs> like that don't do that shit mm -hmm. i know a lot of people do that 
and um they don't know that that's, that's actually cringe so don't do that don't tell a woman to smile that she looks so pretty when she smiles no that makes I'll her not smile she'll be like hmm motherfucker <laughs> Basically, when you're trying to tell her how to wear her face or her body better for your preferences, it's really creepy. You all I ever want to do is be like, you look great today. Like, that's fine. <laughs> that's a safe way to go. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not saying like your makeup looks good is okay because like I'm garbage at it and I'm learning how to do it. So when somebody tells me it looks good, I'm like, well, thanks. Oh, that's the point. That's why that works well, for you because we get to know you though. See, this, this is a thing where someone has to not just go up to female and say it it's like a specific thing that you right. like so that requires them to know you a little better mm -hmm. which i think is great yeah your makeup looks cute by the way oh, i think your makeup is cute, cute. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I was really admiring <laughs> the whole time so i think it's oh, really cute <laughs> yeah true um is there a polite way to ask someone to come back to the like to your place after the date if you if you were someone who would be open to that, was, is there like a polite way that you would want them to say it? I don't know. Because personally, for me, I'm like, don't ask me. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, my policy. I have a good answer to this. Um, I the last guy I dated, I went home with him on the first date, and he um he told me later that this is a thing he did specifically. And this is like a move because he was kind of a womanizer before. Uh -huh. This is the guy in the open relationship thing, too. So it kind of all makes sense. But um, he's like, we left this bar and I had a few beers. We had a few beers. And then he was like, OK, well, do you want to go to another bar or do you want to like go back to my place? He gave he said, give two options. One of them is just casual. The other one is his place. And then it's like it's not a big deal. And I was like, yeah, let's go back to your place. <laughs> let's go for it. And that was that. And I, I, I really, I don't know. I really like that. It was just very casual, no frills, very adult. Not like so. Uh, it's like okay, let's be real. We're adults. <laughs> so, so we the other option in this. was like another public place to go to. Yeah, another public place to go to. That's smart. Or do you want to go back to my place? So it's like you don't They're have to open and honest about it. Yeah, and you don't have this. If, if they ask you, do you want to go back to my place? You know, you it's a yes or no, and like it's really it's awkward. Yeah. No, it's way more monumental than just saying let's go to another bar. Yeah. You know, so I really, really like that. And if you go to another bar, then you're like, okay, let's go hang out another day. You can like pack it up and hang right. out another day and right yeah. again. If you be. I really like that approach, and it felt very confident and very like mm. it was yeah. very low no pressure. That is a good way because that's like if you don't know them very well, it's like you don't know how to read them whether they're feeling you enough like that or not, or what they even want. Because a lot of people don't talk about that before the first date, whether they're open to that kind of thing or not. So yeah, I think that's a safe way to be polite about it. Without mm -hmm. a lot of pressure, true. That's good. One. And also, don't just don't ask those things when you're like, you have not broken the touch barrier yet. There isn't like a lot of chemistry happening, and you at least haven't like. It, it has to be pretty. You have to be kind of like really in a type of exchange at that point. Maybe not. You're not kissing. Like I didn't kiss him at that point, but uh, we certainly got mm -hmm. to a certain level of like intimacy and like sexual tension during when we were having drinks together, if you just like were sitting across from each other and did the whole, where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? And it's like, do you want to go back to my place or what? <laughs> like, yeah, that would be that. weird. No, it's not. It's just really weird. You, it, it, you need a little bit of experience and social, like so emotional intelligence to gauge. Okay. Is this and even then on the way there, yeah. are you clean? Oh yeah. Oh my, that would be oh, terrible. Oh, and by the way, if you go back oh. to someone's place, that doesn't mean that now you are guaranteed sex. Like, I was like, I'll go back. I felt perfectly safe with him. So I was like, I feel like if I go back to his place and I'm like not into it, it's totally fine still. There's no guarantee for sex at any point in this, in this whatsoever. Have you ever so been in that situation, Jay, before where a guy is expecting you to come back and you're like, this is really awkward or like maybe you did. I don't know. Did you ever mm -hmm. have anything like that? Um, I mean, well, I feel like I'm. When it comes to like dates and stuff, maybe that's why I never really went on many, but it, I was pretty like, you know, straightforward on what I was looking for. And I made sure that that person was too, if they're already like up in the air or like they can't even, you know, give me options as to like where we're going to go to eat or like go on the date or whatever. Like, I'm probably not going to like go on the date to begin with. So I've never, I can't really say I've had any problems like that. I, w I mean, it sounds like, you know, an, an interesting experience. I think it'd be kind of funny to... <gasps> to go through that but whoever dates you they have to ask you now to give you the chance to go through that oh 
God, you no. You just I, said it. Oh, oh no, so you've set offended. yourself up. You set it up. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Not. Take it back. Take it back. Would not be interesting. No. Take it. I don't, I'm not interested. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. True, true, true. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't really do it. I'm not even ready for. Well, I like I said, I'm, I'm excited for a relationship. But as far as like looking for one, I'm not. So it's like, why would I even date? I, I feel like that's just pointless. I feel like it's like leading the person on unintentionally. So it's just like, why I even date? I don't want to be too intrusive. So for, feel free to not answer this. But how old are how old is everyone? You don't have to answer. I don't want to make anyone feel. I'm just wondering when we're talking about dating experiences, like my my expectations and experiences and like uh, needs and whatever for dating were dramatically different at different points in my life. I think it's pretty, we would all understand that, but at 34, I have, my dating life is dramatically different than it was like when I was 30 and which is, I didn't expect shit like that and dramatically different than when I'm what, when I was like 24 compared to now 34. Um, I guess, yeah, whenever I ask people that I'm talking to on, on a stream how old they are, everyone in the chat just starts blowing out their age. <laughs> really cute. That's right, chat. I'm 69 years old. They just want to get involved in the conversation. They're so True. cute with their little answers. Just really impressive looking. I'm 69. Um, oh, yeah? This? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, can we get more subs? 80. Hello? <laughs> I'm 88. I could be older if we had more subs, but we only have 88 subs, so that's how yeah. old I am. Yeah, only 88 subs. I only have 19 subs. It's pathetic. Uh, no. I deserve so many subs. You have no idea. I'm oh, just... don't start that. Oh. Don't start that. So you're gonna you're gonna open the can of worms. <laughs> don't start that. Um, okay, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. No, I, I'm I'm only 26. I'm still a baby. Wow. I know. I'm still young. I got a lot of. Potential still to um, to to keep on my dream and run my ranch while I'm still physically fit and young. That's so, so crazy. Yeah. That's something. Uh, Foxy, are you interested in uh, sharing your age? Uh, it's actually kind of like a joke with my stream, um, so I don't reveal my age because my stream has come to call me a Fox Switch, and so I'm 302 according to my chat. Uh, it's just kind of like a joke with my stream. Um, so I'm sorry I'm going to refrain from sharing my real age. She's That's always totally 18. Fun. That's what I tell people on my birthday. I'm 18 <laughs> every time. I'm old enough to party. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> every time I have a birthday stream, I just have the number 18 on my cake. Over and Aww. over again. Just to fuck with people. They're like, wait, you haven't been legal this whole time? They look at their hands like horrified. Um, it's a good time. <laughs> Jay is quiet. That's okay if you oh, want to be quiet. Wait, yeah, sorry. Okay, I, was I wasn't sure if she was <laughs> no, like refraining or if I should move on. Or <laughs> I started reading chat. They, my chat thinks okay. I'm 39. I'm 28. I turned 28 in February, so <gasps> yeah, that's all I am. Yeah, I'm getting up there. We're getting wiser. It's fine. True. We're we're aging like fine wine. I hope we're gonna get the stem stem cell research in our generation. It's okay. We'll be okay. We'll be young forever. We'll de de age ourselves. It's all good. Let's get that boosted. <laughs> live forever. Do you want to live forever? If that was an option with the stem cell stuff, would you get it? Hell no. I feel like it I seems would. interesting. It seems like something that might be fun to do for a little bit, but maybe not forever. I feel like it would. I would. I feel like it wouldn't necessarily stop your age. It would just slow it down a lot. Yeah. I don't know. It could if possibly it be fun because I, I just think about all the possibility of the things that you could learn. Because there's like so much stuff. Like even at my age, <laughs> um, that I still want to learn, and I feel like. You can't like learn like there's so much stuff that you, there's to learn out there that you have to like pick and choose. And so if you had the option of mm. having a center life, then you could really explore what life has to give. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I saw, saw this really cool video which talked about the idea of immortality and how humans have always assumed that immortality is actually completely impossible, that 
we've never even really focused that much energy on trying to become immortal. We focus on, you know, anti-aging, you know, disease um, reduction, blah, blah, blah. But there's certain mechanisms in our body that directly result in us aging, directly result in us having to die eventually of like an old age. And so mm-hmm. the video was really cool because it was like, what if we actually just focus on the stuff that actually makes you legitimately age and we are able to stop that and we could actually focus, we could actually become immortal. That would right. actually be a potential technology you could develop. I'm like, do like you asked, like, would you actually want that? Yeah. And then imagine like the, the world's population. Oh my God. Like no one would die. Everyone would just, it just be piling up. We could finally That's go to right. Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Wally. <laughs> I think personally for me, because I have like a, such a strong passion in life to save animals, I would want to so that I don't have to leave them behind. Like I don't have to leave like the ones that I'm taking care of behind or like the thought of like, what are they going to do without like me helping them or driving that force if like I built like a big sanctuary, you know? So I think I would want to s- stick around as long as I can because I feel like even in a few hundred years, you're still going to be homeless animals if humans were to live that long. So I feel like I just want to keep doing it as much as I can. Mm-hmm. I like that. Just haunt them, Kinzer says. Haunt them. Be like, I'm still here. Hello. No. Uh, no. I want to stay. What a weird around. ghost. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I hope they can use that on dogs too. Stem cell research to make dogs live longer. That'd be amazing if we get like 30 oh, plus years out of our yes. dogs. That'd be so good. I think that's what they were testing on next after the rats was dogs. Like to see if they can help increase the longevity of dogs. Mm. That's really fascinating to me. They deserve to live longer. Uh, I actually have to pee really bad. I don't know if anyone else has to take a pee break. I do too. I, I was okay. going to take that break. <laughs> pee break. I'll let it. I'll, I'll allow it. All right. I'm going to mute myself. Good. Good call. I was call. about to get up and get a water. So are we all? Are we all going to? We all. We're all going to bail. Chat, you go pee too. We'll be right back and we'll continue this. I'm putting it at the begin, at the over, over my stuff, the top of my, over the puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna mute this. Are you staying here, Jay? Or are you going? Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. I don't mind. Do you want me to just leave you up to talk to people, or? I'll talk to chat. Sure. Okay, Jay will keep oh, you God. entertained. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't harass her too much. Uh, that was a good one. Good one. Yo. How's it going? <laughs> Just kidding. You know what? I've been playing Words with Friends too. It's been really fun. That's all I got. This. <laughs> Hey, I got a sub! Hey, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Hey, Bubble, I see you. Um, uh, uh, Polar Bear, thank you for that Twitch Prime as well. Much appreciated. Hey, shout out to you. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Uh, who, who else we got in here? Who, who did I see? Casanova with <gasps> another Twitch Prime? Shit. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate that. You guys are the best. Yo. Oh, can you don't fucking pog chant me, dude? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, 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 no. Don't even. Don't even. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Don't, don't even, dude. <laughs> no, I'm just sorry. Oh, never mind. Now what? Try hard seven? Mom, man. I can get behind that one. Do you think she's got wide do you think she's got wide hardo enabled nope fuck what what does she have wide people happy enabled oh she does does she have pepe l nope damn now what 
Where am I from? I am from Buffalo, New York, but I was raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I've been living here in Austin for about, it was a year. It was a year, a year last month, I'd say. When it, Pepe feet? Oh, dude, we're not, no. You guys are gross. Tell chat how Chris Hansen exposed you. Chris, hang no. Tell Miz to start baking. I like our kitchen. I like our kitchen a lot. I don't, I, I, and I don't want to clean up after him. So no, that's not happening. No. Cheek to Waga, that was like 10 minutes from uh, where I used to live, I'd say. That's pretty cool. I've never smoked a cigarette. Siggies. Yeah, I play games. Mm -hmm. I play a lot of games. I'm actually more of a variety streamer than anything. So I, I try to play as many games as I can. Uh, go in there. Gosh, shut. Oh, God. I started streaming about four or five, four or five years ago, I'd say. But full time, full time, it's been about a year, two years. Siggies are gross. True. If, yeah, if you, if you smoke Siggies, you're out. Out. Not happening. Do I want to go? No, I do not want to go. Same. Uh, cigarettes are nasty. They, yeah, exactly. Yeah, those are, ugh. Ugh. A thousand bits? Hey, thanks for the thousand bits. Cigars? What about cigars? I don't like cigars either. They still smell gross. And they're still bad for you. I think one entire cigar has like the same tobacco as an entire amount of cigarettes. Like an entire pack of cigarettes, I mean. One cigar. Same as Ugh. an entire pack of cigarettes. But that's why I thought, um, well, at least in my family, when it comes to cigars, it was more of a occasional celebration. They rarely ever smoked the whole cigar. Because, I mean, those are really thick. Yeah, I know. I've known people who smoke, like, the whole thing. Actually, one of the people that um, I knew who smoked cigars was like, I'm just going to smoke it once every six months or so. And they ended up just buying more cigars after they finished it repeatedly. I'm like, this is disgusting. Oof. And then they, yeah, this clothes smelled like it. Their hair smelled like it. Their breath. and Yeah. Just like, yep. And they're like, oh, it's not as bad because I'm not inhaling it. And I'm like, it's getting on your lips. Your system is still digesting it. Well, it's because you're yeah. not breathing into your lungs. I mean, it's not affecting your body. Exactly. It's still affecting and it something in, in a negative way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. What's yeah. the point? Because people don't know how to, like... Uh, it seems like a lot of people that I know who smoke, they, they're the types of people who don't know how to, like, chill without the use of drugs. They don't They don't practice meditation. They don't practice yoga. They don't practice, like, deep breathing or anything. So they don't know how else to release their tension, mm -hmm. except mm -hmm. with drugs. Do you practice meditation? Oh, I come trying to. I try to occasionally. Like, oh, cool. Like when I'm laying in bed, mostly I like listen to like a meditation track, and it just like it just makes you aware of your body, like your breathing, and like how tense you are. Like let it all go and stuff. Like guided meditation tracks are nice at night. I like that. I've always wanted to try, but I feel like I could never... It was really hard. My mind always wandered a lot, so it was really hard yeah, for me. Yeah, I don't think it's so much about, like, clearing your mind of everything. I think if you just have... If you focus on your breathing or, like, so, like consciously force yourself to be aware of all of your body parts and, like, relax, release the tension, and then focus on your breathing again and just make sure you're not getting tense, I think that, that that's what personally works for me. Mm-hmm. Because I can't clear okay. my mind either. If I like try to think about yeah. nothing, I think about everything. So I have to like focus yeah, exactly. on one thing to think about. And if it's like oh, you're breathing, man. it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Just like calms mm -hmm. your body down, makes you feel less stressed. Okay. I'll, I'll have to try it. I mean, maybe I'll just try it again because it's been a while since I've tried and I just kind of mm -hmm. gave up. But mm -hmm. talking about meditation, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It doesn't There's have to be good. sitting up. It doesn't like I think feel like when people think of meditation, they think of like sitting with your legs crossed quietly oh. against an em empty room, <laughs> and like you don't have to do any of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's like guided meditation that's actually really I would say that's a really great place to start. Um, because they can they can like walk you through it, and then you can learn 
I don't know, just going from like zero to just like one little fly, I'm gonna lose it. But like going from like nothing to like just full on silent room, just having to, you know, relax, it's just can be really hard. So for mm -hmm. me, guided meditation works because my mind keeps working. Yeah, like that's what I do too. Not only where it like tells you what the focus way. on, like focus on releasing attention from this part of your body. Now this part of your body, this other part of your body, then focus on your breathing. That mm -hmm. works a lot for me. But mm -hmm. also, Jay, when you're talking about like how you can't, you you keep thinking about stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, meditation doesn't have to be like don't think about anything. It's just the exercise of when you have a thought, you just watch it and just like let it go. You like watch it like almost like cars driving by. You just see them and they go. And so that's you're really hard for me because I just like focus and I freak out and then I'm like, ah. Uh. So okay. allowing yourself to be like, ah, oh, okay. Just watching the thoughts just go through my mind and having a better, I mean, I'm not a meditation expert, but this is like the little that I've gathered. Because yeah. I used to think the same thing. I was like, I can't empty my mind. Like that's impossible. That's why it's always good something to come back to, like focus on your breathing. So like if yeah, you like, notice yourself having those thoughts, be aware, okay, I'm having thoughts right now and I'm going to consciously let them go mm -hmm. and go back to focusing on the breathing. Because you will come up with stuff subconsciously, but as long as you consciously focus on going back to the thing you're trying to focus on instead, it, it works fine. Mm -hmm. oh. Whether it's breathing or tension or all of it. Uh, yeah, okay. I, maybe I, I think I was mm -hmm. probably just doing it like too hard, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? When it was actually something very simple. So yeah, I'll definitely try that. Yeah. You can tell your meditating is working with rocks or yourself start to levitate. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you're not levitating by like the fifth time, I don't know what you're up to. You're like, yeah, you're wrong. doing it wrong. Damn. <laughs> True. So when you start talking to someone, um, let me make my music softer. When you start talking to someone, how important is their social media or social media etiquette? Like if they have like a terrible Instagram page with bad pictures or if they follow a lot of other girls, like a lot of like sexy girls, like how much does that bother you? Uh, that doesn't honestly bother me um, because like I look at sexy girls because it like I think the woman body is beautiful. So why can't mm -hmm. a guy that I'm interested also think that? Would you expect him to stop commenting on the pages, though? No. Out of respect for you or I anything? Don't like, no? That's no, good. I don't like, yeah, like, I don't expect him to change any way of, like, how he's acting. I mean, if we started dating, I would, like, think it's cool if he posted, like, pictures of me. Because then I'd be like, yay, he's showing interest in me. But it doesn't mean that he needs to stop, like, appreciating other people's beauty. Because other people are beautiful, too. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I've always thought about that, that, like, how much pressure it must be for, like, a guy, for, like, some girls who are like, what if they're already following pages before they meet a girl? And then she's like, no, go unfollow all of them. And I'm like, what if you break up? Then he has to refollow them all. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> it's like, like, again, you're dating the person that they are. You're not dating the person that you're trying to force them into. Right. Like, like we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. What about I think there's a line. As long as he's not like messaging them, trying to flirt and show his dick to them, I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh yeah, that kind of stuff doesn't it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, like I've like I've um I've had one of like a boyfriend like a long time ago ask if like he's like, Hey, should I delete all the my old pictures with my ex and stuff? And I was like, No, that's your past. Like mm -hmm. I don't care that much. So no, that that kind of stuff doesn't bother me at all. Mm -hmm. I don't mind because I plan, I actually would really enjoy if I kept a lot of our relationship more more private anyway. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't really bother me. Yeah. I don't think it's, I think it's important to not want them to delete their past too, because a lot of what makes a person them is their past. And especially if the relationship was bad, you want that reminder of why they shouldn't go back to that person too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, no, I need those pictures. Be reminded why I left them in the first place. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. I forgot what the question was exactly. Um, if if you start talking with someone, how important is their social media or oh. like their social media etiquette? Like if they have a bad Instagram page with bad pictures, do you judge based off of that? Or no. do you not like it if they follow like a bunch of other girls and comment on their pictures and stuff? 
if, if they're being kind of like a fuck boy to other women, then it's kind of cringe. Like, it's just an unattractive thing. I don't think it's morally wrong. But if they're like, every time you, every, they're just following a bunch of women, every time they post a photo, they're like, yeah, baby, I love that. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's not an attractive look, in my opinion. I mean, I'm just, that's just right. me, though. Um, I don't think it's like morally wrong. It's just not attractive for me. Right. You know, but um, I don't think there's anything really necessarily wrong with it. But I've dated guys that don't even, aren't really active on social media then, or people that are very active on social media. It's, it, it kind of, if they're starting to like post some really weird takes, like political takes, which is a little bit more of my air arena, then I'm like, that's when I'm like, okay, that's, that's going to bug me. But um, yeah, photos, following, following women, following like um, sex workers and stuff. That's fine. In fact, I like, I, sex workers are awesome. <laughs> like, it's almost like saying you're not allowed to watch porn if you're dating me. It's like, what is, come on, like, come on. We're all sexual. We all, uh, or most of us are sexual, right? So oh. I don't have a problem with that. That's how I would be. You can't watch that. That's what I'm here for. I got that vibe from you. I got a really, like, frigid, <laughs> uptight vibe. It's I like, wouldn't oh, call it frigid, uptight. <laughs> I was just like, why are you watching that? I'm here. I'm right here. It's almost like, <laughs> am I not good enough for you? <laughs> Yeah, that's that can always be weird. It's like if they're watching porn, but but you're with them. I think there's I think there's an argument for porn being a separate type of sex versus like having sex with your significant other. Like even when I'm in a relationship, I still want to watch the porn that I want to watch. Maybe not as mm -hmm. often as I normally would, but I'm like, I this guess is for my me it's time different to be so. because I only like, watch okay. hentai, so I would be open to watching hentai with somebody. But mm -hmm. not necessarily porn because I feel like that gives them... another person. So I don't know. Though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's awkward because it's like, like I don't want to give like them unrealistic like, expectations. Mm -hmm. Like, why can't you be like that porn star? And I'm like, because she's getting paid. She doesn't actually enjoy this. I'm like, that's what I say every time. I'm like, you guys think that's real? Mm -hmm. Okay, dude. like what? No, it's not. Half of those are fake. Mm -hmm. Not real orgasms. I know. Mm -hmm. like she's faking this. That's not even a. It's not even real. <laughs> no, that's why I like hentai because it, people understand it's unrealistic. I, the guys can't be like, why can't you be like this hentai character? Because it's like, well, I mean, they can, but it's much more reasonable to understand <laughs> that you're not animated. You know? God, why aren't you an? Why Physics aren't you a don't work like this. Anime. Like, I know you do a lot of cosplay and you're very talented at it, but like, can you just become hentai already? Like, why no tentacles? Like, oh, I can go get a tentacle suit, baby. I'll be Ursula for you in five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Body oh language God. with all eight tentacles. Someone in your chat mm -hmm. mentioned virtual reality porn. That stuff is that is so cool. Virtual reality porn is is awesome. A lot of Same it's really too. bad porn, like the porn's cheesy, but it who cares? It's like you're there. I haven't it's gotten to try really that because when I went to the AVN, that booth was constantly taken by fuckboys. So. <laughs> Oh, so like they, they had that. It was like, they yeah, had they that, had like, a they had porn, porn? A, a, like virtual what? reality at the really? AVN. Yeah, because AVN is a, is like an adult convention. Oh, okay. I go to an adult convention. That sounds like fun. Why aren't I going to an adult convention? I'm an adult. <clears throat> You're probably. <laughs> Why have I never? It'll probably never be like me. Of this. People will keep trying to put you in the like in in the exhibitor line. That's what they kept trying to do for me. What is, happens if you're in the exhibitor line? They think that you're working in the convention instead of attending. So I kept trying to like get my badge to entry, and they kept sending me over to like the the like the people who are working the convention area. It's like having to go oh back God. and forth. Yeah, like five times. I would go to the place. I'm like, this is where I get my ticket, right? And they're like, no, you need to go over there. And they'll go over there, and they'll be like, okay, I get my ticket here. No, this is where people are exhibiting. Go back to the line for the registration attendees. And I'm like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Because I kept thinking that I was, uh, like, a porn star working at the convention. I'm like, no, Wow. I'm trying to attend. It was very confusing. God, I'm just trying to attend this adult convention. Stop thinking I'm a porn star. <laughs> yeah. I always have run into that, too. It's like, come on. Come on, bro. You just know? trying to hang out at this adult convention. Mm-hmm. I feel like my concealer is caking up so grossly under my eyes, and I'm glad that mm -hmm. no one really noticed it because... The lighting and like camera is shitty enough that no one can notice. So I'll you look like, better without makeup, anyways. Oh my god, you want to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> it works. Look at that. It works. Easy. It works every time. 
<laughs> Love it. Um, let's see. Mm, what else do I want to talk? Oh, yeah. I saw a tweet once that said dirty talk is just tell them what you're going to do. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them what you did. <laughs> like, have you ever dated or talked to someone who was into either dirty talking or texting? Because I feel like that is. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do all this stuff to you. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this stuff to you. And I remember when I did that stuff to you. Is it like, mouth dirty talking or text dirty talking? Uh, either. It depends what you've had experience with. Huh. Have you ever mouth dated or talked to someone who was into that, whether it was in person what? or on text? I'll, I'll let the I'll let I'll let Roxy <coughs> and Jay go first. Uh, <laughs> what I gotta go first all the time. <laughs> uh, all right, I, all right, I'll go. Um, I, I'm I'm super into it. Super into it. Texting words speaking all of it i don't care i'll tell you what i like what i don't like i'm very very straightforward i actually think i probably come on too strong honestly it's probably what the problem is but yeah no i'll, I'll do that shit all day i don't care i think it's fun it's all fun stuff i don't really have any stories though they're probably not gonna you you probably shouldn't talk about it anyway you know so <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's all i got <laughs> Uh, I've gotten a lot of people who try to dirty talk with me messages, none that I've actually dated, though. And oh, usually yeah. when they say talk dirty to me, I'll tell them that I took a giant shit and suddenly they're disgusted. <laughs> I don't know why. Nice. I mean, I thought it was pretty dirty. So. <laughs> You're such a fucking dork. It's like, <laughs> just like dork moment number like 27 from you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm basically a six-year-old trapped in an adult body it's me yeah I'm really sorry about it's that it's not even 12 it's like six i just want ponies and puppies and i like i make poop jokes <laughs> but then you go to adult conventions they keep trying to make you one of the exhibits i'm like what the fuck i'm just <laughs> trying to see some wide. dragons i heard you could find dragons here <laughs> i'm just looking for proof that's actually really adorable at the same time. So you're like, hey, can I hear there's dragons here? It's just like dildos. Yeah. <laughs> like, where are the dragons? That's Everywhere. not a dragon. What the fuck? That's not a dragon. Where are the dragons? That's just icky. Why, were you, why are you doing that to her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. People have the wrong idea, I swear. But yeah, I, I can't say that I've ever been good at dirty talking either. I'm like a really awkward person. And so like the mm -hmm. person that I had a relationship with where we actually did it, I was just like this at the most of the time when we were sleeping next to each other. I'm just so socially awkward. I'm like... <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> my dirty talking. It's like legit. <laughs> having fun? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> I, hope, I hope I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm so awkward. Yeah, I remember I think, like. <laughs> so go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I think like in person, it's. I think like I've tried like doing it, and it's like um, because like I find it interesting, and it can be a turn on. Um, but I find like in person. It's like it's just awkward to start it and then like continue it because you're like, I'm putting on a play now. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like having mm -hmm. to think up things to say, and I'm like, I don't oh want to concentrate on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, it's hard. Yeah. Like, there's depends on like the kind of dairy talk because there's like when it's more of like there's no dom sub dynamic. It's just like we're both here and we're both like equal power levels of sex stuff. Then you have to like talk to each other but like mm -hmm. i'm normally i'm used to like the dude being like dom dommy dominating dom whatever and i'm more submissive so i'm mm. used to just like hearing it and being like oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> i like that <laughs> and like ooh. oh that's my other go-to just like yeah yeah you like that Have fun. yeah <laughs> like, uh, you mix it up are you do you do you enjoy that do you uh, appreciate that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, Would you recommend I'm this? I'm like, just thinking about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried doing the dirty talk stuff before, and, like, it's hard. Uh -huh. This is why I always feel really reluctant giving guys advice on how to, like, hit on women. Because I'm like, 
ultimately, I am a re- I am the receiving this. I don't know what it's like. Yeah, ball. You get like some balls. Props to the men who are brave enough yeah, to approach risky, women at all. You're like, yeah, no, you put yourself out there for sure. Like, imagine if you, if you go to everyone's been to a restaurant, but very, very far less people have actually been been servers. People have been servers before. Mm-hmm. After you've gone to the restaurant so many restaurants so many times, you feel like you get a for a good feel for what it's like to be in a server. But then you're a server and you're like, everything I've seen is not at all what is actually the experience of being a server. <laughs> I feel like that's the same experience with like guys that are putting themselves out there trying to hit on women or trying to initiate dirty talk and stuff. I'm receiving that and I'm observing it and I can tell you things that I like and don't like, but ultimately I don't know how it's like for you. Like I can't, I don't have that burden on me typically because I'm typically not the person initiating. I don't know. I it's always I always feel uncomfortable like telling people how to do shit like that. Props to dudes that go out yeah. there because it's difficult. I'm sure. Like it, I would, be, I'm intimidated by the idea. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd ever approach a guy like in public and be like, "Hey, I like you. Can I buy you a drink?" Like some mm-hmm. girls can do that. I think Peach Charles was saying she does that last weekend, and I'm like, "Damn, girl, that's impressive." That's pretty cool. I'm too much of a chicken. <laughs> my friend in high school, like, well, he's my best friend in high school, and then, you know, we were, became friends, we were still friends afterwards. So when he was older, he would go to bars and he would send waters to chicks. <laughs> he would like, send her water. And the bartender oh, was like, What? Give her that's water. So sweet. And he's like, <laughs> It's like hilarious. <laughs> it's just, why'd you send me this tap water with a straw in it? <laughs> because you, girl, I don't want you to make bad decisions. <laughs> Drink water, bitch. Drink water, girl. You got this. <laughs> Um, that's so cute actually I would actually love that if a guy sent me water at a bar and was like just trying to have you hydrate hey girl you need to be hydrated these fuckers out here and I'm like you right drink that water thank you sir thank you sir (laughs) I appreciate that (laughs) send you a vitamin c tablet just you know just trying to help your immune system no no I'd have to watch them pour it I have to watch the bartender pour it I can't have it be roofied he can't hand me the drink the bartender would have to hand me the drink oh yeah 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 (laughs) yeah um what were we talking about I forgot I'm having a we're talking about dirty talk oh yeah (laughs) I remember my friend Breezy and I I don't know if Breezy's here she's one of my mods so probably not my mods are trash. Wow. Unlike yeah, my mods. My mods are the best. Are they really? They actually are. Oh, that's really good. Do you hang out with your mods ever? Yeah. Like, do you meet up with them at the conventions? conventions. Do you? That's awesome. I don't... I, yeah. That's a no. I've hung oh, out yeah. My, I've hung out, no, no. I've hung out with some of my mods, <laughs> including Breezy. But, like, typically I just don't really... I mean, I just... I don't know. I just... they. I guess I don't... I don't know. Why haven't I why aren't you at conventions? <laughs> it's just a bunch of losers. Because you don't like them. I don't want to meet you. True, I really hate them. That's a good point. I don't want to meet you if you're mean to them. Yeah, exactly. What point do they have Although to go? I made I newly modded Chloe today and I made her swear that she will stand by me no matter how much abuse I give to her and how mean I am. Plot to her. twist, they're at every are. convention. They're just avoiding you. <laughs> well, it's awkward too, because like what do you talk about? Like, hey, so we're finally meeting in person. There's a lot riding on this. No, I just say mods like, hey, what's up? And then we just, usually I'm streaming. That's like an activity. You don't have to decide what you do. It's like you just join the stream group. And we're like, we're going this place right now. We're like always on a mission just because I have a lot of shit to do at a convention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I guess that like, helps. Do you ever go to conventions and you meet up with like viewers and stuff and then yeah. they just stare at you waiting for you to talk the whole time? Because yeah. they're so used to that dynamic. Oh, yeah. That's weird. It's so awkward. Don't do that. Oh, please. super Viewers. awkward. Mm-hmm. I've had people who like will not like shut that. up in my DMs. Literally never. Like I can't pay them to shut up. I can block them and they'll make new accounts to keep talking to me. Show up in person and then like they just say nothing to me, but they follow me around all day. Ugh. Like they say nothing me. though. Oh god. And you're saying that's a bad thing if we follow you around not talking, just staring at you the whole time. That's a bad thing. Yeah, talk to me. Like, Oh, see, hear that? It's a weird, bad thing, everyone. <laughs> Don't just to follow me and be. have nothing. Like, I understand you're awkward. I'm awkward socially, too. But at least make an effort. You came all this mm-hmm. way, 
And, and, and they're always mad, too, afterwards, these types of people who do this. They're always like, you didn't talk to me enough. I'm like, yeah! Well, you should have talked to my back to me. <laughs> you yeah. have no you obligation to, to me. They're, they're, they're ongoing in-person entertainment. You're... <coughs> Like a, that's what I mean, like this <coughs> so weird relationship. Like you only know streamers as these like people that are always entertaining, always putting out content, always like no, they're they're people too. Shocking. This I know, is what but... they do. I'm gonna show chat what they do. Just... Imagine hanging out with the server and then Pretend like we not realize me. Like, like where's my food? <laughs> look at she look at her little. And then like I'll be walking and they'll be like this far behind me the whole time. And then when I stop, they're like. <laughs> Oh my god, this is she can't hear me. You this you two can hear me. Why did you talk in... to me afterwards is what they say. I'm like, <laughs> bitch, where were you? You were like behind <laughs> me, like ten feet away from me the whole time. Fucking psycho? I swear. I want one second, I need to I need to thank somebody for for something. Hang on. I think it's the worst too when people come up and you're having a conversation with somebody. Like you're in the middle of a conversation and then they just come up and uh, like interject themselves and i'm like yo i was literally having a conversation with somebody else oh yeah like that's weird too like, but i'm probably guilty to... of that so i don't know i don't pay oh. attention very well but yeah i agree like yeah it's annoying <laughs> however i prefer that still to not saying anything yeah <laughs> like at all right because the i can correct them there because sometimes they may not be paying attention so i can at least correct them and see if they like improve but it's harder to correct someone who won't talk to you mm -hmm. and like stands away from you it's so strange i don't know <clears throat> yeah i feel kind of bad though for a lot of those guys because i think a lot of the time they don't want to offend you they don't want to get in your bubble they know you're swarmed by people all day i think mm -hmm. a lot of those guys are just genuinely shy even girls like I, I think they're just really shy and they are actually listening when we say hey we want space we want space i but would because, agree you know, if i was alone know. like if i was streaming by myself and no one else was following me but if all the other viewers and mods and subs are hanging around too and there's like there's actually room around me because they don't they don't stand like they're not like bodyguards where they're making a circle around me there's like right. room to walk and interact and they're just standing away from the crowd intentionally even though like there's room for them if they wanted to just come up and be a part of it, right? It's different if I'm, like, alone. And they don't know if, like, I don't know if I should approach them right now. They're probably busy doing stuff. I don't want to, like, interrupt them. But if it's, like, I'm streaming, I'm interacting with everyone else, and you're over there following the entire herd 10 feet away and being a standoff yeah. weirdo, that's mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. awkward. <laughs> you know? It's like, no, mm -hmm. you know it's okay to approach me. I literally have nothing else to do. <laughs> mm hmm yeah. Or they're hoping they'll pick you out of the crowd. Yes, like, pick, they're hoping like, that I'll give them, them like selective attention. Yeah, yeah like, you all the way in the very yeah, I see. Yeah, you can you come up to the exactly. front. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Come on up. It's Single so file. weird. Yeah. I don't know what they expect. Yeah. I don't know. Chad, don't be that person. Be better. Don't be like that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, where was I though? Uh, we had other topics too. Oh, oh, there's some I skipped before because it just didn't fit in with our conversation flow. But um, what's something that you wish viewers understood? Like, if you could tell them anything to help them relate to you better. Mm, mine just goes pretty much back to the like I don't live on social media, so if I don't respond to you. Like that day, that doesn't mean that I'm ignoring you. I that just might you might have just been in that time frame where I'm taking a break from social media. Like I have to live my own life too outside of this. I'm not sitting on social media like all the time. See, I, I relate to that a little bit, but my my alternative is I'm always on stream. So I'm not on my <laughs> other platforms checking messages mm -hmm. constantly. But I am on social media all the time. But yeah, definitely. I feel like some people are like Oh, why didn't you respond to my message? I'm like, do you know how many other things I do with this life right now? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know how many other messages I get? Yeah, so definitely I agree there. I wish people were more understanding and patient when it comes to communication. Mm -hmm. True. Big true. What about you, Jay? Um, something that I would want them to understand. Um, I am not a furry. <laughs> or 39 
That or thirty nine, yeah. yeah. That that I am not a furry, and they're capping now. Oh god, dude, no. I, that that's what I would tell them if they could understand. I'm not. That'd be cool. That that's all I got. They're actually cat. Oh god, this. Is Have so you taken good. the fursona quiz just in case you were a furry in another life? Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I've done I've done all those quizzes, and um, t- they do not point to me being a furry. There's a possibility, <laughs> but that's not. It's not true. Not true. Which one did you get? Like which genre um, of furry? It get, oh I got the I got crocodile. I got the crocodile. Oh, you're a reptilian. Ooh. Are you Let's related to the real. Queen of England? By yeah, I think... Are you related to the Queen? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. That'd be sick. That'd be cool. <laughs> Why are you back on furries again? <laughs> We're asking I, the question the was question. is there something that you wish viewers understood like you could tell them anything to help them relate to you better and JC said that she wishes they understood she's not a furry. True. True. She took her headphones off as I was talking. <laughs> she, she said never mind. <laughs> <sighs> uh, the disrespect. Mm. Anyways, um, I wish that they understood that every single month they had a free sub that they could use with Twitch Prime and that they would choose my channel wow. to use it. Oh, look at her. Look how smooth. Excuse me. I never realized we had a smooth operator streaming with us right now. Uh, how convenient. No, no, but, but one really... of you might have a spare Prime sub to provide oh, Amory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no but, one gave me the uh, sub. Amaranth deserves your prime sub for that. If you right. I see a prime sub, I'm going to be very upset. She was so smooth. That's right. So slick. Yeah, yeah. But in reality, though, something I wish people understood, I guess, is just, like, what I'm actually like rather than just going off of what other people say on forums and not giving me a chance to even, like, watch my stream. I wish they could understand mm-hmm. that. Because I feel like for a lot of girls, not just me, they, like, assume that Twitch girls are a certain type of way and that they don't actually <laughs> give these streamers a chance and just, like blanket statement all of them summed up why do you think they big. come to that conclusion that's cool i don't know probably bad experiences with girls in the past i mean interesting uh, i don't know i've had bad experiences with guys but i don't like go to think all guys on twitch are like that person well you're 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 200 iq so that's oh, that's true I'm, i am a genius this is yeah. true yeah it's it doesn't, not everyone has 200 iq you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's different. So Some thing? of your chat just asked me if I like crusty things. Crusty <laughs> what is what are do you do you like do you dip your pizza crust in ranch? Okay, the last part of that makes that's a little bit like less weird, but if you just end it at, hey bad bunny, do you enjoy crusty things? I enjoy this is like your a crusty really crabs. Weird person you don't know. Mm. Oh, I love crust. The more crust the better. Just crust me. Whew. Does that what gets you know, going, Jay? Does that, that, that get that... you going? Is crustiness? Oh yeah, you know it. I just love it. So you've got that like Jay, you wake are up you okay? Like, oh god, did you just, just have a crust gas? Uh, What's going oh, on? Oh god, I hate that word. Oh crust? my god. Do you do? Oh, oh, I'm actually crying. <laughs> sorry. It, uh, it, it just it gets me, man. Oh, sorry. Is it okay, the I'm rust good. in it? Because that could. Do you also cringe at Russell's name if you cringe at crust? No, I can okay. do rusty. I can do the word moist. That that word about is supple. just supple. No, that word's fine. But it, but crust what? with the Y at the end of it. That's crusty. the one. Okay, so yeah, crust, that crust, crust, like crusty. Oh, oh, dude, <laughs> dude, I turned, I had to turn the volume off. I like turned it off. I was like, she'll, oh finish. God. she'll finish. She'll have to finish. Okay, that's a, actually, Ooh. I want to delve into this. Are there things that you're like really grossed out or really <sighs> like upset by that are like weird, that are like unjustifiable? Like that to me is unjustifiable. There's no like legitimate reason why that the reaction is like appropriate. But all of us have those things. For me, it's bananas. I I am so unbelievably creeped out by bananas in every way, shape, or form. Smelling them, seeing them, tasting them, touching them. In the, when they're in the room, someone's eating them. I find them so repulsive in every way. Like they actually upset me. Like they the upset smell me. too. 
Oh my, yes, this, oh my gosh, yes, oh, the smell. Oh man. Yeah. That's what? my thing. It's irrational and I just, I have a, like a, I'm very upset. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. That's I love bananas. I, yeah, I do. I love bananas too. That's just don't eat them around me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Fox, you have to have something, Fox. I wish I had a banana right now. That, just trigger you. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I can't really think of anything that, uh, I mean, like, I'm not like anything. I'm, I have like a fear of bugs. I don't, I'm not sure like anything that's like really abnormal that it bothers no me. Birds, no foods, no like sounds, no, um, um, tastes, no. I mean, I think canned spinach tastes gross. Yeah, but you're, <laughs> like, you're not like, what well, Jay was like. Jay was like literally had to like mute because it was like it's like a ref like if a doctor like bounces a, the mallet thing off your knee and you kick it's like a reflex that you you're up you can't control it and you're really embarrassed by it maybe but that's how I feel about bananas and that's how Jay feels about the uh the c word c word uh, well I mean like I do have like a, a a fear of like I said bugs and to the sense of like even things that aren't necessarily like a scary bug um ladybug. I can't have them touch me at all, even though they're like good luck. I, yeah. I can think in my mind that it's okay. Like I'm like, yeah, that's a ladybug, whatever. But if it touches me, I freak out. I cannot have them touch me. Damn. Mm. Is it like the sensation of how light they are, or is it just visually? I I I mean, I know like what started it was when I was a kid. There was a um a bird's nest, and I was like. I want to feed the birds so i went and caught a grasshopper and then i was like i should see what i'm feeding them Open i like my how hands. you have an accent when you're a kid but not now oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so like, I, 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 I i saw like the like um inside of it like their exoskeleton and i was just like i don't like this and now after that i cannot have a bug touch me at all Ooh. Oh, i don't like bugs touching me either that's it just grosses me out. So I guess I'm similar in that way. Um, mm -hmm. I think my big tra traumatic moment was when I felt like overwhelmed when my mom took me to the butterfly exhibit at the science museum. And like I like butterflies visually, but once they started landing on me, like multiple of them in places, I started being oh. like, oh, and now like anything that touches me, I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I guess similar. You went on to hug a furry that said free hugs with pants on. And and now, like, I, I like yeah, yeah. I like, won't hug this. Like, like, now as an adult, that I think wrong, I would be okay in the butterfly exhibit now because I'm like, I'm like, they're pretty, they're harmless. But as a kid, you're like, it touched me. Ew. You know? And that, that still mm -hmm. stays with me too for like crickets or June bugs or stuff like that. I'm like, ew. Disgusting. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah. Similar. Interesting. So yours more yours isn't as much as it's the bugs, it's as it's the uninitiated, unwanted contact. Yeah. Especially if it's like lots of things just like fall like you can't control it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's yeah. really creepy. Yeah. True about mm. that. See? I still don't like being touched. <laughs> that <on> some <laughs> level true. goes back to my no physical contact. Um but no, it's different though because if if I have like a pack of puppies and they're all like climbing on me and licking me, I'm in heaven. So it definitely I isn't all that. things touching me. It's just like things that I consider gross, you know. Hmm. What about snakes? How do you all feel about snakes? I'm okay. I don't hate snakes. snakes. They're whatever or they're disgusting. I'm okay with snakes as long as they're not trying to bite me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's fair about like all things, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're like in the tank. I love watching them. Cute. Oh, have you ever held one? Have you guys ever held a snake I've held before? A yeah. 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 I've been oh, to like okay, a snake cool. farm. Oh, that's and, like, they, like, oh yeah, they, I mean, they didn't have like obviously the poison ones just like roaming, but yeah, they had just like the boa constrictors. Like, out. And the funny thing is, is I convinced my friend to go to it. And then I found out there that he's scared of snakes. And I was like, why did you agree to this? <laughs> Interesting. What do you think it's going to be at a uh, like, I love holding the boa constrictors because they just, they, they're so soft and like the muscles feel cool. It's like a massage. Yeah. Like your muscles are so I, strong. I went and like grabbed, I just went and like grabbed it and then he was like, I don't like snakes. I was like, 
Wait, he brought you there or you brought him there? We were on a road trip and then I saw like a sign that was like a snake farm. And I was like, yo, let's go and check that out. And he agreed to it. And then we got there and of course there's snakes. And then he was like, I don't think they were going to just be out. That's like so, one of the weirdest experiences. Go on dates with people that you don't even speak the same language. You take the Twilight. Yeah, and then what is you going on here? And you're Fox, like, why are we do doing you, this? Do you just say yes to everybody out of pity? Are you one of those girls? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, like, okay, so let's just recap from today, from Foxy's stories. We have the person you took. You went on a date with someone didn't even speak your language. You took and you took them to Twilight, and they didn't understand yeah. anything was going on. Then you also yeah. had the daughter DM you saying, "My dad wants you." To no, 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 no. It wasn't a daughter. It was somebody that was a sugar baby herself, and they called him daddies. And her, she her guy. sugar yeah. daddies and sugar babies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, oh, yeah, um, yeah. She was but a sugar still. baby. Yeah. I yeah, I had like a random sugar baby of someone message me and say that her sugar daddy wanted to talk to me. And I was like, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, no thanks. And then you have the friend who was like, let's stop. You're like, let's stop by the the snake farm. He's like, sure. And then he gets there. He's like, holy, wait a minute. I didn't yeah. expect there to be snakes at this. Why is your life farm? like such a good content? Yeah, your <laughs> life is great content. Like, I would love to have, see this type of stuff on stream. <laughs> you should yeah. have, like, a Katy Perry house where she has, like, cameras everywhere. Does she still do that? Do you know about... Katy Perry used to have, like, a 24-7 stream where she has cameras all over her house. Weird. That's kind of I interesting. I don't know if she still does it. I don't know. Hmm. I never knew about that. I have no idea. Yeah, I didn't know either. Damn. Huh. That is kind of interesting, though. Would you yeah. ever do that? Have, like, 24... 24- seven cameras in your house i would love to have that actually like i have after i'd be really quickly just completely oblivious to it i'm already pretty oblivious to like you know the first time you've ever streamed chat have you ever streamed before when you first turn the camera not camera on and you're like oh my god it's happening yeah. that feeling yeah. is like completely you do your feeling about having the camera on is so different like if you say like i don't know like four years later or whatever it's so dramatically different for me the first time i was ever on camera i was like sit up straight i put on all this makeup i was trying to just put on like, heavy makeup because i thought that's what you do you put on like super heavy makeup which is fine if you do that but i thought you had to do it like you had to put on fake lashes you had to put on all this stuff which you can but you don't have to the whole thing was very i was very very nervous and i was and when I left my apartment, like shortly thereafter, I was like, "Are people gonna remember me? Like, am I? Are they gonna be like, you're the you're the chick who was awkward on the internet?" Like, I thought it was it was a very different <laughs> feeling than the feeling I have now about being on the stream, being on stream, yeah. and being on the internet. Yeah, I know what you mean. It, it, camera doesn't bother you after a while. You're just like, "Cool, it's a camera. It's nice." Mm-hmm. So imagine having cameras in your house just 24-7 would feel the same way. I would love to have that on my, like, animal ranch. Because I think that'd be cool. 24-hour oh, animal cams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would See be all cool. the puppies playing? Hell, yeah. Oh, See all the together, teach. little pile of fluff? Yeah. It'd be really cute. Until they start fighting. And then it's drama. <laughs> drama. 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 Stream drama. Alert. drama cam. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but when they're cuddling, it'll be so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Yeah, someday maybe. Have like a puppy cam. Be awesome. Aww. Wouldn't that be amazing though? It's like you go to the, the sanctuary site where you want to adopt and you can just see live cameras of the dogs. And like, I want to visit that one. Aww. I feel like that would get them adopted so much more because I feel like a lot of times people can't pick up the personality and like the cuteness of a dog from like a bad photo. But like, imagine mm-hmm. if you're seeing like a live feed of how the dog is just chilling and interacting. Like it yeah. would help a lot. Or even just videos. But yeah. I don't know why more shelters don't do that. Just like little videos of their dogs. Mm-hmm. That'd be so much better. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, what's another one that I had? <laughs> Uh, oh, if someone was trying to win you over via an email or a DM and they were like a perfect stranger, is there anything at all they could say that would give them a chance? I think of what not to say. 
<laughs> like <laughs> so many things. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what to say? I don't True. Know. I don't know because I've never. I can't imagine that working very well in any case. So, definitely what not to say. Don't send your dick pic. Don't send yeah. nudes. Don't ask for nudes. Uh, don't ask for feet pics. Oh, good. <laughs> don't say hey, you look cute. Don't just say hi. Hi. Yeah. All the or one like words. where the subject is high and the text body is empty. Oh. <laughs> I, I keep that. talking to the person like they're talking to you, but they're not. Like, after one DM, I'll say two. If you can send two and there's no response, it's over. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. care how much you like them. I don't care if you've envisioned an p- amazing future with them. <laughs> Even weirder if you did. Like, that's, a, that's weirder. But, like, you just drop it. I have, I'm sure all of us have experiences with dudes that just send us, Continue like, one side up. conversations. It's really awkward. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I've gotten that so many times. Like, most of my DMs are probably one-sided conversations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chat, press one if you've ever done that. I, I think see it's weird you've... that the, the creepiest ones are the ones that, like, keep it up the longest, too. Like, they send you something that, like, you don't have anything to respond to it because it's, like, I, I had, like, some guy that was, like, Oh, you're so beautiful, but then add it at like, which is like, okay, I guess to say, I mean, I'm not going to be super interested in talking to somebody that just talks about how they think I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. Uh, But then like, he, (laughs) then he ended it with, and I want to like, screw you in your P and your A. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say anything like that's not good for Twitch. Um, and I was just like, what do you think was going to come from this? Like, you thought I was going to respond to this? And then this guy, like, talked to himself for over three weeks, like, saying the same <laughs> stuff. Like, bro, I didn't respond the first time. Why do you think, like, I'm going to respond now? Wow. Shameless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shame- <laughs> Shamelessness. <laughs> See, that's what it's like to have fans. Shamelessness. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, that definitely is creepy. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, I can relate to that. I've had a lot of those. Um, mm-hmm. Three weeks, mm. though, is actually kind of short. I'm sure you've had longer. Three weeks, though, is... By the way, I have over to you say... In three weeks, applause. Huh? What oh, sorry. Have... I, was just... I just want to make a note that dick pics are not wrong. Dick pics are wonderful if they're solicited, if you are in a, if you're people, some people love dick pics. I am one of those people. I actually have a little dick pic guy that I have saved on my uh, OBS. You know why she I'm likes them? Questions. Because she likes to make fun of you, and she probably laughs at them. And it no, to, no, like, take your pictures no. and tear them in half and stuff, what and is, like I've, cut them if up you want, into little okay. bits. What am I? What am I? First of all, so <laughs> make sure that. The person you're sending the dick pic to is like, hey, can I see your dick? That's a really strong sign that they want to see your dick. I would I would really <laughs> recommend waiting for that. If they're like, hey, I want to see your dick. But, but that's like, a trap because it tips, could be sending like, it to her friends to make fun of you because she doesn't like you. I don't know. <laughs> no! Okay, if you're sure, I, keep going. I'm sorry. Keep going. No. Tell, your, tell your bit. Tell your yeah, story. yeah, no. I was saying like there's other tips that I have like if you're in the situation where someone's like, hey, I want to see your dick. You're like, great. If you then proceed to want to take a dick pic, there's like things like if you're taking the dick pic, mm. don't hold up an object for comparison, like a Red Bull <laughs> can or a ruler or a remote controller. A banana for scale. It'd yeah, be bad for you. <laughs> I, I hear you, but like, don't do that. <laughs> also, don't have trash in the background. Like, throw away your trash. If you have trash bags and like empty water bottles and stuff, or like you just have a stained carpet, don't do that. There's like fun tips like that. But honestly, the biggest tip I can give you is wait, get it, make sure that somebody wants to see your dick first. Okay, that's all I have to say. Damn. I've never really like, when I've ever received dick pictures, I don't think I've ever checked out the carpet. You know, that's a that's a <laughs> all right. <Okay>. I know <laughs> that's I'm not saying anything. No, like if somebody sends you a dick pic and like it's here's their dick and 
here's the rest of the photo, and it's just splattered, linty, like stained carpet with like trash on it. What am I? I'm sorry, but your dick is not that like magnetic that I like, didn't cover all that. <laughs> it's like, not that big. <laughs> <laughs> you think not that like interesting. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, just not literally not. That's <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. Definitely hold up a monster can. Thank you. Thank you, Amaran. Yeah, I was going to say like there's certain types of beverages that are appropriate to hold up next to your penis. A monster. Wait, can you're not talking like, actual floor carpet, are you? Yes, I'm talking floor carpet. Oh, oh you people are acting like in pubes. I thought you were no. real carpet. Okay. I have yeah. 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 Why would you have trash in your pubes? Why? Yeah. What? There wouldn't Jeez. be trash on your pubes, I would did, there? I don't. That's what I'm saying. They're over here. Like the trash and stains on your pubes. <laughs> what? So that's a, are you guys? Are you guys okay? <laughs> <laughs> I said the dick is here. And the carpet. <laughs> are you growing? Have <laughs> <laughs> you, you seen in your life? Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm just, that's why I asked. So I was like, "What? I don't think they realize." Oh my god, are you real okay? Topic. Yeah, I was like, so scared for, "Like, what kind of people?" I just had to ask. I just had to make sure because now because they were question marking me. So I was like, "What do you? What okay, are you talking okay, about?" I'm okay. Sorry. okay, yeah, no, no. I oh. meant literal floor. Okay. <laughs> Carpet. Uh, that's good. Are yeah. Sure? Okay. Whew. If you have trash on your pubes, please find help. <laughs> Yeah. You have an empty water bottle that's like stuck, stuck in your, your pubes. pubes. Please, please. <laughs> don't take a professional First thing you do, help. don't take a picture and send it to a woman that's not looking for that. If you got a water bottle stuck on t in, like you got stuck inside a water bottle, and now the water bottle is burying mm -hmm. its way into your pubes, please seek mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. Send mm -hmm. Bad Bunny a picture first. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh, no. and then, oh, I kind of do want to see that. Listen, if that's your life, you know what? This is my invitation because that is so weird. Like, how are you like that? How are there? How is there trash stuck to your body? This is This doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh, do not do that on purpose for lols. I don't want you to actually have to go. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Actually, I take it back. Don't do that. Don't send it to me. I take it back. I don't send me anything. I take it back. Thank you. I just yeah. meant don't put it in a water bottle for lols now and send it so you can send her a pic. I just, we don't want you to go to the emergency room. Please look out for your pubes and other parts. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. It's like the Tide Pod challenge. And then there's like the Amaranth challenge where dudes are just sticking their dicks in water bottles. That's some streamers do that though, so you know, you never know. You gotta get those views. What do you got? You gotta get those views. Whatever you gotta do. That clout though. You don't know. Yep. Ah, oh, this is good. It's a good laugh. I need that. Um. Oh, I have also a never have I ever for us this week. Oh. Sure. <laughs> never have I ever. Let me pull it up again. Uh oh. Uh, it's not scary. It's fun. Oh, there's, there's a lot I, I, I haven't done. We'll just like go. Me too. But the, we'll just tell <laughs> cool. stories. If you've done it, you tell a story. If it triggers a memory, cool. We don't have to hold fingers up or anything. We'll just talk about them. Cool. All right. Never have I ever eaten a whole pizza by myself. I've definitely done that. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But they're mm, yeah. easy. But yeah, in one smaller sitting. one. Yeah, I, I in oh. one sitting. Or like oh. over the course of a day, maybe. Over the course of a day? Oh yeah, definitely yeah. not in one yeah, sitting. Yeah. A whole pizza. Do you like cold pizza or do you like warm pizza? Uh, I actually I like it cold. Yeah, I was like, Me I like too. pizza anytime. I like it yeah. cold because it's less likely to fall apart, and it's also but more refreshing. I have like a way with pizza that I found, and I think it's like a, a stoner way. I'm not a stoner, but uh, I'm pretty sure that this is like a stoner way to reheat pizza. So a really good way to whenever you have cold pizza is to put it into a frying pan and then fry yeah. it with eggs. And it makes pizza oh. eggs. And uh, yeah, my friend like told me about that and I was like, I'll give it a try. And it actually like turns out really good. It makes like the pizza like reheated pretty much and not like turn into cardboard like a microwave would do to it. And it's a good way. So wait, wait, what are you doing again? 
you just um, put, you just chop up your cold pizza from like your refrigerator and then uh, just fry it up with some eggs. Oh. Chop it up and fry it with eggs. Interesting. Yeah, it's actually really good. That like, sounds yummy. Think, yeah. That's basically just like tomatoes and eggs and meat. Yeah. And some veggies. Yeah, like I like a to scrambled do. Scrambled egg breakfast. Hmm. I like to put a, a, a take, take pizza. Uh, it's cold. You chop it up. You like put it in a pan. And then you scrape into a corner and you throw it in the trash and you order a pizza. It's so good. Wait, what? What? What are you drinking over there? My chat gets it. All right, my chat gets it. I can hear a little, a little wheeze. Me too. I wish oh, I had that feeling right now. That Listen, nice. the 10 people that get that, I fucking see you and I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you 10 people that get it out of many people. <clears throat> I killed her podcast. I'm really sorry. I understand if you never want I'm to I'm more concerned back. about if she killed herself with that laugh. I don't know. No, like, are you okay? I laugh when I'm trying. Oh, it's, okay. Knocks the wind out of her. <laughs> all right. Don't, don't die. <clears throat> okay. No, it's all good. Have Never have I ever pretended not to be home when someone rang my doorbell. Oh, all the time. Last week. <laughs> I'm not home. I'm not home. Not really as an adult. But like, uh, like as a kid, my parents weren't home. I'd be like, nope, I'm not home either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not home. <laughs> not home. No, thank you, solicitors. Yeah. Oh, especially right now. Have you ever done that with your roommates? They wanted back in. You're mad at them. You pretend you weren't home. Mm, I've been lazy. I've acknowledged they're at the door. And I've said, ah, so someone else will get it. And then no one it, else is home? No one gets it. No one gets it. And then I finally will. But I, I usually wait as long as I can before I do it. But, yeah. The guilt. It's right there. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Never have I ever had a clingy partner. Ooh. I don't know if I have or not. Clingy. Oh, I for sure have. Yeah, I definitely have. Everyone has, right? Mm -hmm. I like. So. I don't know. I've been cheated on. I don't think they're very clingy. I think that is the opposite problem. They can be clingy even if they do cheat on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're mine all the time, but then I'm gonna cheat on you. Maybe. And then they're clingy because they have a guilty conscience. Yeah. And they're paranoid that you're cheating on them because yep. that's what they do. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've dated one of those. Yeah, I've had that before, too, but they weren't really clingy in the way that they would text me all the time kind of thing. They actually got mad at me because I would text them while they were trying to play a League of Legends game, and I didn't know. And they'd be like, how dare you? I was doing well in that game. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It was like a very toxic relationship. Yeah, hmm. a little bit. But I don't think I've ever had a clingy partner. Hmm. I would say, like, the people who I'm not in a relationship with are more clingy, like, in my DMs than any partner has ever been. Yeah. Oh. Never have I ever smuggled food or candy into a movie theater. Oh. Oh, I totally do that. I have. I totally, yeah. I yeah. Chili Damn. dogs to the Sonic movie. Because <laughs> you gotta yeah. have chili dogs in Sonic. I just Hell yeah. <laughs> That's I do that all the time because like it's the so movie theater cheaper. doesn't have like that good of candy anyways. The only thing oh. I like there are fruit snacks. Oh, I do it for the price. It's it's much oh, cheaper yeah. somewhere else. Much yeah, cheaper. It is much cheaper too. Yeah. Have you that, ever brought your own popcorn to the movie theater? I, I have. Popcorn. Mm -hmm. I really <laughs> like movie theater popcorn. Mm -hmm. I've brought my own popcorn before. Hmm. When I was on a budget, I was like, I want to go see this movie, and I want popcorn, but I don't want to pay $10 for a big popcorn. Yeah. And so I get, like, a bag and, like, get the microwave popcorn and just pop, like, <laughs> two bags beforehand and, like, stuff it in there. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lame. Oh, my God. Why am I like this, chat? 
I'm like, it's healthier. Nope, none of that extra butter. I don't like movie theater butter. It's so soggy. Mm. Never. Oh. You. Oh, I, careful. You should be getting kind of crusty over there. Oh, God, <laughs> dude. Oh, it, was, it sounded so good. And then, oh. I was thinking about like the jalapenos. You get the jalapenos with it. Oh, jalapenos and popcorn is so good. I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you. Good. How did that work? You just, oh, do, oh, dude. Oh, I got to. Okay. Hey. <laughs> they they actually have jalapenos I'll stop, I'll stop. in little packets <laughs> at the movie theater for free. And so you get the popcorn, you have your popcorn with the butter, and then you, you get like, I get like one or two, and then you grab a handful of popcorn, and put it in your mouth at the same time, and it's delicious. So good. I, I recommend it. Delicious. I really do. It sounds like uh, uh, you need milk. Immediately, mm. oh, milk to cut the spice. Oh, oh, like oh okay, nice. okay, okay. I was like, that's a weird combo. <laughs> <laughs> Just naturally, I always have milk with my popcorn and jalapenos. Um, yeah, it's a trick though, chat. If you didn't know, milk cuts spicy food if your mouth is too hot. Mm-hmm. Water makes it worse sometimes. Oh, especially ice cold water, it makes it way worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get some mm. milk. <laughs> uh, let's see. Never have I ever tried to pass a silent fart, but it came out loud instead. Oh, last night when ASMR was luckily muted, I didn't know I was going to fart, and I was just, like, getting in the towel, and then I was like, damn, that was loud. Nice. I'm always scared of that when doing ASMR. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to pick, my mic's going to pick up anything that happens. I was like, thank God it was muted. Because <laughs> it was, like, not expected. <laughs> to that degree. I was, like, feeling kind of uncomfortable, but then it was, like, really intense. Like, the, the cheeks were, like, flapping physically. <laughs> it was bad. I've never farted, so I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> nice. Uh, I can't say I've had like a like an act. I'll say accident for that one. I, I don't think I've had something like that since I was like younger. But that I was probably, probably yeah. say like maybe I don't know. I can't remember last time something like that's actually happened. Yeah, I'd probably say maybe maybe like like eight months ago or so. I'd say it's been a while. Damn, you don't fart enough. Is your diet okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just drink a lot of water and. Good for you. Uh, I mean, I haven't eaten today yet, so I mean, there's that. You probably fart. You just don't even realize because it's so like it's so light and airy. It's just you're, the gas just escapes. Nice. Do you burp a lot? Maybe that can make up for some of it. I don't know. I, just I don't know how burp a lot. That's actually not how it works, right? Because your intestines create you the gas. Got to release it somehow, or else you explode. Mm-hmm. That's what life taught me. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't, that's probably why I have that really true. bad acid reflux, really bad mm. heartburn, really bad digestive problems. You got a so, yeah, more. Probably just, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Sure. You know. Yeah. Never have I ever passed out from suffocation. Uh, I've never. During, I have never. Uh, no. Never passed out. No. I've never been suffocated. I'm uh, well, really actually, nervous. I have passed out because my nose suffocated me by not letting me breathe. So that is its own problem entirely. So, yeah, but not like physically because someone was choking me or anything. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I've ever fainted at all. Either. Like, in any sense. The only time that I've ever, like, gone unconscious was because I was going into surgery. Mm. Oh. I fainted before, not from suffocation, but from mm. period stuff. It's like sometimes mm. you just like lights out physically and you mm. just fall to the ground. The world is dark. That's scary. Yeah, there's also uh, never have I ever talked my way out of getting in trouble. Most of the time I do. Everyone has done it at least one time, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm sure. Or they tried and failed, but they, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, that too. Both. Both definitely done that. I would always just blame it on my brother. <laughs> <laughs> it was my brother. Oh, no, I was a chat troll. And then my band appeals, I always made mad because they t- say it was their brother. Damn it. 
<laughs> I'm, I've yeah, but become... that's really their brother. Like, that's really their brother, though. Oh, I don't know. Not their fault. It's their brother. Hmm. You know how that works. My brother got on my account and started typing. What me? <laughs> Damn. Never have I ever tasted someone else's body fluids. Oh, I've tasted so it. I not not I wasn't happy about it, but it happened. And I was like, whoa, never doing that again. <laughs> and I just like make myself not taste it, you know? Tr got tricks. Hmm. What about you? Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> I wouldn't I did it once and never again. It's gross. <sighs> Eh, I don't know. What I have. <laughs> I don't know what else. Body to say about it, Like, like spit. Oh no! no it can no, be no, that no, too. No, no, no. Either. Oh okay. I can mix it together, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. I've. Yeah. I, I've had. I've had my mouth in places most people probably wouldn't. It's fine. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Whoa. <laughs> How bad was it if you think most people wouldn't do it? How bad was most it? Most people? You know how many people are on Earth right now? There's several billion, so yeah. most? That's literally billions of people I mean, haven't most, done it. If most girls wouldn't have done it, how bad was it? Was it like in a bomb? Was it crusty? Oh. Oh, God, dude. No, but. Oh, Did the crust uh, come off in your mouth? And you're like, damn, that was crusty. Oh, God. <laughs> Whew. <sighs> I, okay, maybe not most people, but I, I could probably venture to say that most women probably wouldn't partake in putting their mouth in, in places that most would consider an exit only area. Oh, you've done that? I thought you just meant like, you know, like eating a banana, but not a banana. Yeah. <laughs> that's a body fluid, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, oh you're talking that's about. Stuff. You're talking about other stuff. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, I've never done that. That's for sure. Whew. I've always been concerned. It's like, what if you're trying to do that and then they poop? <laughs> I mean, you're already yeah, you're I'm already so there. Poop. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I guess that could be kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're talking about body fluid. So right. your mouth was in a place where body fluid was being expelled, and it's the exit. I mean. There's Wait, it could be fluid for at the same time. So, like, if I kiss someone and they threw up in your mouth, so they would like, have that, to have like juice mean? coming out. Oh, <laughs> I mean, was it fluid or was it chunky or like <laughs> we're we talking about oh, body fluid? Oh, no. Okay, that's kind of different. Yeah, that's not the same thing. Uh hmm. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. I've never had. Yeah, luckily I've never had that accident happen. But okay, yeah, I'd probably say it's probably the same <laughs> as everyone else. Probably. Hmm. Yeah, that, that would kind of, that'd be really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the poop. -poo. Upset stomach, <laughs> diarrhea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chat. I'm sorry. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever given a stranger a fake phone number. I've done that. I've done that. The rejection hotline number. Is that around anymore? I don't know. Do you guys remember that? It's such a long time ago. I remember it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chat may not know if they're mm -hmm. 12. Wonder if it still plays. Let me, let me YouTube search it. The rejection hotline. The original. Let me mm. see if I can pause this music real quick. Hello, this is not the person you were trying to call. You've reached the rejection hotline. Unfortunately, the person who gave you this rejection hotline number did not want you to have their real number. We know this sucks, but don't be too devastated. So why were you given a rejection hotline number? Maybe you're just not this person's type. Note, this could mean boring, dumb, annoying, arrogant, or just a general weirdo. Maybe you suffer from bad breath, body odor, or a nasty combination of the two. Maybe you just give off that creepy, <laughs> overbearing, psycho stalker vibe, and the idea of going out with you just seems as appealing as playing leapfrog with unicorns. Regardless of the reason, please take the hint. Accept the fact that you were rejected, and and then 
and get over it. And please do your best to forget about the person who gave you this number, because trust us, they've already forgotten about you. <laughs> Humorhotlines.com Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's so blunt. I love it. It's to the point. And you, you ever don't have, have to do you, it. You ever have them tell you that um, they already know that number because they have it saved? Oh, oh man. no! Have I haven't that had one? that. Have you had oh, that? They type it in, and then it shows up as like the rejection number, and they just look at you like, and you're just like, I gotta go. And you just, you just, you just gotta leave the scene. You gotta leave the scene. It's just not happening. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, awful. You got your answer. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah, and at that point, yeah, you just, I learned how to say no. You just got to be like, nah, man, thanks. Man. I've never had that. That's funny. Oh. Poor guy. I had an instance where I was hanging out, like, uh, I used to go to bars with my younger brother. And I had, like, an incident where a guy was trying to hit on me and, like, get my number. And I was just, I, I was, like, like I was, like, saying, like, I don't really, I don't give out my number. And he just kept, like, pushing. And so my brother gave him his number. And the dude, like, legitimately messaged my brother. What did he like, say? Like, hey, I'm just wondering. Like, hey, hey, it's me. Remember the the guy at the bar? Pretty much, like he texted him, and I was like, "What? Damn, that's so weird. That was really weird. Damn. <laughs> did anything happen after that? No, 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 no. My oh. brother like didn't respond back. He was just like, I don't know why he actually sent me a message. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know when you like eat a lollipop that part of the expense is that you're necessarily needing to consume your saliva? Like you can't have a lollipop without a significant proportion of that food being comprised of your own saliva. But you follow your own saliva on a daily basis. Right. But when it comes to like a lollipop. It's like that's part of the meal. Part of the meal is like your saliva is involved. That's like that with every meal though, because you swallow. But you swallow saliva with everything you eat. And drink. Okay, so that's the case. Can you just spit in your soup and stir it up? Would that be equivalent to just swallowing your own spit? Ah, these, these are well, the. Why would you wouldn't spit on the you wouldn't spit on the lollipop and then lick it? You would just put it in your mouth and lick you do it. almost the, the same thing. It's covered. It. It's wet. Why is it wet? It's literally wet because you it's your spit. But the soup is already wet. <laughs> the spoon it has your saliva on it. True. <laughs> the spoon Listen, is wet me. though. Like I have with a anything you eat, the spoon and the fork is wet. All makes sense. <laughs> Everything chopsticks are gonna be wet with your saliva. Spoons and forks are gonna be wet with your saliva. Yeah, Straws are wet with your saliva. Don't only function when they're soaked in saliva. No, I'm just All thinking only the function when the they're soaked and, and dripping in your own saliva. That's part of the food. The food is only lollipops only exist as a consumable product. When your saliva is comprising a significant proportion of the consumable material. Thank what are you, you drinking? <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> so I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to tweet that, but I'm just going to. I saved it for Frozen you. Frozen pieces with the soup. The waiter already applies the saliva. True. <laughs> I seriously just have an image of like somebody spitting on lollipop, their lollipop now, and that's like the weirdest thing to think about. It's like, like when people share lollipops, that's all I think about. I'm like, this is so disgusting. Ooh, you ever share a piece of gum? No! No, I haven't done that. Ah, you haven't lived! <laughs> it's really I, I have, um, someone asked like one of my friends in high school asked if I need gum I'm like no just when I'm chewing they're like I'll take that and I thought they were kidding but so I took it out and he actually took it and chewed it and oh like, that's weird I've seen that happen too that's weird that's I'm so sure horrifying. there are plenty of people that would love to take your used gum oh, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gave a girl used gum <laughs> gave a girl chewed gum in a jar um, ooh ooh Oh, I, I, that's a business idea. Ooh, put it in some bath water. Millions. <laughs> Keep it moist. <clears throat> Do you mind the word moist? Or just the other one? 
Just the other one. Okay. The, yeah, the moist doesn't bother me. Should I? I probably shouldn't have said that, but you know what? Right, honesty hour. It's fine. You know, I'll I'll do it. I'll say it. Make myself one. It's moment. okay. It's fine. Maybe it'll help you get over it. You don't have that problem anymore. Mm -hmm. The more you hear I, it. I see. I thought that was gonna happen. I thought that was gonna happen. But so, actually, though, it just makes it worse. Did it's it make just like SpongeBob bad for you then to watch as a kid? It's just. Oh man, when he. When he goes to Sandy's house for the first time, oh my god, I had to turn it off. I had to walk away. I had to go for a walk. It was awful. It was awful. Oh god, he's all dry and like... <sighs> no, like, I meant oh. because of the, the crusty crab. Like, is that oh, the same god. with the K? Or no? Oh, yeah. I can't even... Uh, I didn't even really think about that. You know, that'd probably bother me hearing it, but I don't think I really thought Visually, about it Visually, like it that. might be different to you because it has a K. You're not yeah. associating it with actual... And yeah. they're showing it like related to like a hamburger. Maybe that's why it didn't bother me. But yet seeing him all dried up, it really bothered me. So I'm not <laughs> sure. Although yeah. I'm, <laughs> do you, I'm hide, do you use a lot of lotion so you don't end up like SpongeBob? Yeah, all thirsty looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ugh, so wait, like, like, do, do you get do you get triggered if your elbows and knees are, become ashy? No. Oh. Yeah, it's really weird. I think it's just just like the the sound, and then like things that I match it up with, and it just freaks me out. Mm. Damn. Oh. Oh. So if you see it written, does it make you? And you just read in your head. Is it the same effect, or is it only when you hear it? It's when I hear it because you you get that er, and then like the us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just okay. So rusty is fine. Yes, rusty's fine. I can do that. And I relate it to Russell because Russ, I call Russell Rusty. So to me, that's Rusty, fine. Which is not an R. It's it's. I'm not gonna say it, but it's only that. Be careful, one your word. roommates are gonna yeah. just troll you in it for an entire week. Call him Crusty instead. Oh. <laughs> the C word. Say the C word. Be respectful. Oh, it's okay, the, I'm the, sorry, C, the word. C word. <laughs> it's trying to help me get over it. It's just. It's really. I, I've had it for a very long. time. It's been a, a thing for a very, very long time. I just never. I never cared to like fix it. I just didn't think it'd be. I mean, how often do you use it in a sentence? Like, I. I just didn't think it'd be that big a video to try to get over. So I just I don't ignored think it's it. It's very commonly used. Yeah, unless you're in like some yeah. like pizza business and you're like constantly talking about. You know, yeah, pizza that, or yeah. Or if you're just my chat that just loves to spam it, then yeah. You're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. Sorry. So is it just the E? So the pizza and the C word doesn't bother you? I have a hard time saying it, but no, that doesn't bother me. I like that's my favorite part of the pizza. Uh, so I'll, I'll eat it. Contradictions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's just what it's related to. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to... Damn. Just, Another one. Never have I ever licked food off of somebody. Mm. I've done it. I'm not proud. <laughs> what did you lick off? If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> you I have licked story. off Nutella before. Nutella. Ooh, it's delicious. Yummy. Yeah. Very good. I don't know if I actually ever have. I don't think I have like anything against the idea of it. Like whipped cream or chocolate sounds okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever done it though myself. Alcohol. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I've, I, I, okay. I guess. I guess I've done that. Nutella makes everything better. It's expensive. I for me, it's expensive, but it's damn good when you can it get is. it. It's so good though. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've had sushi eaten off of me. Oh yeah, I remember you mentioning yeah, that. It's just cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's just very cold. It doesn't really oh, feel like it? anything though, because it's so small. This I wonder like if it nice actually cheese. tastes yeah. different. I wonder if that's really a I thing. I think that would depend on who's, who's, whose body is it on, how clean they are. Okay. So the cleaner, the better. You don't want to use your natural oils? Lawrence is professionally eaten off of you? No, not professionally. Just in a relationship. <laughs> I, know, I know it's it. totally a thing. It was. We were like, this is a thing. You want to try it? I guess. That's cold. <laughs> this is just cold and miserable. 
<laughs> it seems like that would be miserable and just not really miserable. It was just cold. Like 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 oh, if I like an ice cube cold. was lying on you, but not melting. Like just like that yeah. first sensation when it before it starts melting. You're just like, oh. <sighs> hey, bad bunny. We're we're talking uh, about our last question. Never have ever licked food off of someone. I don't think I've ever done that at all. And now I'm thinking of this one restaurant that was like, there's a subreddit called like, we want plates. I think, I think is the name of it. It's a subreddit dedicated to like restaurants that try to be all like super hipster fancy. And they're like, here's an omelet served on a brick. Here's a, here's a steak that's served on a surfboard. It's like trying to be all like uh, artsy like and stuff. And in one of them, it was like the subreddit was like, okay, we should shut down the subreddit because we it, this is it. It was food. Like the 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 chef would show up and just literally like pipe like like plate the food on their hands and the whole thing was you're supposed to eat it or like this, you're supposed to oh eat off your God hand. God. It was just so nasty. And I'm like, now I'm just thinking about it again. Now I've never eaten food off of someone, but now I'm just thinking about that and it was just so wrong. Unless someone in the chat's like, no, that sounds great. Then like, cool. But it's just, it feels like it's cursed to me. That feels cursed. Off of their hand or your own hand? No, their own hand. But maybe, I mean, they could always exchange, I suppose. But I was just wondering because I'm like, I wouldn't mind that. Like, Really? Chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no. If your hands are clean, I yeah, wouldn't lick their weird. hands. But my own hands, I, I, the, the food weird. was good, I I'd try it. <laughs> yeah, I lick my own hands fine. I just want to lick the chef's hand. That's gross. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Damn. Let me look at the chat topic. No, 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 let me see. Um, have you ever sent a text message to the wrong person? Ooh, I want to ask you that, but has it been like a naughty text message to the wrong person? <laughs> That's never happened to me. I'm really paranoid. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done anything like that, but I have accidentally messaged somebody on my phone who I just put them both down like the same name and I accidentally texted them like thinking it was the other person. So it wasn't anything like crazy. I was just like, hey, are you going to be here? And they're like, why would I be there? And I was like, because you told me you're going to be there? Damn. Hmm. And then, yeah, it was like the wrong Kate. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that before, um, except mine sounded naughty, but it actually wasn't. Like, oh, the context. <laughs> yeah, the context. Um, I don't remember <laughs> what it was exactly. I think uh, my friend was over, and I was exchanging with her back and forth, so trying to get toilet paper. And um, she's. I asked if there was a roll in the other bathroom that she had access to and she was like yeah they're selling them and then i texted her back like i was like i had to close my phone and wait for it and turn my phone back on to end up sending the response to her to the wrong person i sent to my mom and i said come give it to me <laughs> oh, my mom was like who are you texting so i'm like no 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 I'm like, no, it's not what it sounds like. I'm just trying to wipe my butt, I swear. Mom. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> chat, I... Damn. I'm like... talking to my chat. Chat, should I tell the story about DVS? DVS, one of my viewers, is not me, but he one time sent... Not to the wrong person, but it accidentally sent the wrong thing to a person. Do it. Um, so I have a viewer that um, is a regular in my community. One time his kid, he couldn't find his kid. And he was like freaking out. So he texted his neighbor and they're back and forth texting about like, okay, where's, I can't find my kid. I'm so scared. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. And in his panic, he accidentally sends, and this is, the neighbor is like a very strict, very conservative Christian. He accidentally sends his neighbor 
a picture of, of someone else's dick, which what? means that he has other Money? people. I don't know why he has other people's dick pics on his phone, just like ready to go and accidentally sends them. But like, what do you say? You're like, sorry, man, that wasn't my dick. <laughs> I can guarantee you that he had just a bunch of stock photos saved up for di he searched for like big oh. dick and he chose like the nicest looking <laughs> ones in his mind and he has those saved to send to girls that are like the same color as his dick but nicer looking and bigger looking and he just has those He's saved married. up. That doesn't change anything. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think, I think he, I don't ever, did we ever get to the bottom as to why he got other people's dick pics on his phone? Anyways, it's like, what do you do in that scenario? Like, I think later on he went over there and he was like, I'm really sorry. But you you can't say, it's okay, it's not my penis. Because now this person thinks that's his dick. There's, like, really no way you can really explain your way out of it. Time to move? You just have yeah, to move? Yeah, yeah, time to move. Exactly. You literally just have well, to, like, pack up and move to a new location. This neighborhood is fucked now. Bye. <laughs> time to move. Yeah, I don't know. That's about it, I guess all you can do she bros send each other dick pics all the time it's fine it's true bros wait do really do they no. know it was really child oh. i was like I will be positive <laughs> they, they send do. it to their friend first is this a yeah. good one my dude <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, they de there's definitely a lot of guys that do that, 100%. They need to, they need the confirmation from their bros if it's a good I'm dick. I'm gonna ask chat right, no, we'll figure don't. this out oh my right God, now. Stop. Do you send each other what? pics, yes or no? <laughs> Hell yeah, they do. Dudes that are comfortable with their sexuality definitely do. 100% do. 100% do. And if you're saying no, you're hiding it and it's fine. Okay? I'm, no one's gonna judge you. I don't care. I think more of this chat would say they show each other their poop more than this current poll. They'd be like, do you ever take pictures of your poop and ask people if it uh, looks normal? I think, I think guys definitely do that. Yeah, I feel like they do that for sure. <laughs> They're like their friend going through med school. Like, is this normal, bruh? Bruh, tell it's me. Normal, bro. Bruh, am I okay? Bruh. <laughs> Is my ass bleeding, bro? It's like, no, did you probably just have red velvet earlier? Like, oh, I did, bro. Thanks, I forgot. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> red velvet? <laughs> that yeah. was someone's favorite cake. If you, you have red velvet cake or pancakes or, like, brownies or anything, cookies, anything like that, anything red velvet will dye your poop if you have an excess amount of the Beets dye. will dye your poop? Yeah, that's what they used to use in red velvet cake. Beets. Oh, really? Now they mm -hmm. just use red food dye. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. The more you know. All right, chat. Press one if you've ever done. If you've ever done that, since you're, you have a dick and you sent a dick pic to your platonic friend to be like, "Yo, check out my dick. How's my dick look today?" <laughs> Press one if that's ever <laughs> if you've ever done that. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Cool. Where, where, <laughs> where are you from again, bad buddy? Where am I? No, it wasn't my claim. No, I didn't no, say no. that. Where are you from, that. like location wise? Is it based on? I like, live in like, Seattle. Okay, maybe it's. I don't know. I, I feel like Texas is too conservative for me to know people who have done that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, all the people I know are like internet people, so that's true. who knows where they're oh, located? Yeah, that's true. I see a few ones in my chat, but I can't tell if they're memeing or not. Oh, another person asked um, my, in my chat topics, do you think women, women will ever have a date after sex bots come out, or will it be the end of the species? <laughs> of course they will. Of course they'll have a date, of course. Guys, it's not all about sex. Maybe when you're, like, young and just still a virgin Your dick coming hurts. out of being a virgin... <laughs> But, like, as you mature, I think a lot of guys, like, crave a relationship because, like, they've had sex. They, they, touch, they can touch themselves. It's like, yeah, okay. But they crave social interaction to some degree. Mm-hmm. Companionship and intimacy yeah. and and want to feel loved. You can't say with. I love you to a sex doll. Yeah. Like, there's real dolls. Those are pretty, like... Like five grand or something each. They're like pretty they, realistic. Some guys want a family. Some actually just want like companionship. Some want mm -hmm. a partner to go experience the world with. Hugs, yeah, or they want hugs. Exactly. Can like fling a silicone yeah. arms around your neck and be like, oh, thanks for the hug. 
Yeah. You gotta like need some need someone that actually wants to hug you. Uh, I mean, like, who's to say that women won't get sex dolls too? Like, what you know what I mean? Like, ah, we fuck, do have like I'll vibrators and sex doll. Fuck, that. why not? There's male sex dolls, so yeah. I, I don't know. I I think <laughs> if they actually do like come out with something, they're great like, listeners. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> They don't talk back. It's true. They're really good at it. <laughs> it's like a giant pole. It's better than a giant pole. Because it's not actually a pole. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> Ow. You underestimate how deprived some people are, Bunny. Severely underestimate. Huh? No, no, no. We're asking, is it going to replace women? If you are severely mm -hmm. deprived, then you're not already swimming in pussy, right? You're, like, severely deprived. So it's not replacing women for you. It is the only thing you have. It's not a replacement for something that's already in your life. Yeah. After you've fucked the sex doll, like, a million times, you're gonna, you probably aren't going to be that interested anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're old news. Do you think anyone's ever done it a million times over the course of their life? I feel like it's a lot. It's a big number. Yeah. How many days are you even alive? I don't know. It's a good question. I'm sure we can figure it out. I just <laughs> someone else can do it for me. I'm a genius, so I don't want to flex how smart I am. So I'll allow someone else to do it for me. You know, it's like just trying to save do people. The math. Like, how many? How many days are in? Uh, actually, that's easy to do. Just do 365 times 100 at the max, probably. Just do a million divided by 365, and that's how many years, right? Or in a million? How many days? Days, days are in a million years? No, a million times. I don't know. That, no, that's not quite right. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally done. <laughs> 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 I, I don't have a calculator in front of me. Am I drinking? No, I'm not drinking. I'm just thinking too hard. <laughs> A dangerous pastime, I know. <laughs> Redneck Tech, thank you for the sub for three months. Um, Anon says, what's the story of the worst wedgie y'all have ever gotten? He donated $14 over the course of two different donations to say this. A wedgie? Women just wear thongs. That's like our yeah. I was, I was like thinking like I don't think I've ever received a real wedgie in my life, but I mean I guess I give myself it when I wear a I thong. I can't imagine a girl just like getting a wedgie in high school. It's usually like a guy bullying thing. Yeah, it doesn't really happen that much to women. I feel like they would get kicked out of the school if they gave a woman a wedgie because you're reaching into her underpants. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a different. It's a different. It's a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> That's painful as fuck. That shit hurts. If you had it, yeah, tell us about like, your story, JC. Go for it. it. It's it was uh, it happened to me and my like my really my really good friend got it the worst. I'll probably say her story more because she got fucked up. But like I mean, we were walking home from school and like that that was how the boys would tease the girls. And I say back giving then, them wedgies. It like, yeah, it was like you know I mean I graduated high school ten years ago, so I, this was a really long time ago. Where like back then it was it the way that we would get teased was to be actually like pretty much assaulted in a sense. I mean, they would go and just grab our, you know, underwear and just, I mean, my poor best friend, like hers, they pulled it so high. It, it snapped. Like she had, she walked home with no underwear that day. Like it was really bad. What the yeah. Hell? Oh yeah. It's been, it's, it was really weird, but yeah, I've gotten wedgies before and they fucking hurt. It's not cool. Especially with thongs. Yeah. Thongs. Yeah. That shit fucks up that. Oof. It feels like your crack is gonna like extend like two inches. It it it, mm -hmm. it actually feels like your crack is like ginormous. I just think that it it has too much friction sometimes. Yeah. If you what like, thongs? Yeah. If you do a lot of physical activity them. and stuff, like you're moving around mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. If you're walking all over a mall or something. It's like eh. sleeping in a thong feels like really weird. Mm -hmm. Like it just gets caught up and just. No, thank you. I like to change out of them typically. Damn. Yeah. 
I want, I want, I want that... guys to wear thongs and see how they feel, just so they know the experience for like a day, like a whole day. That's what I want to know, like, press one if you've ever worn a thong. <laughs> I just wanted to see. And be honest! Aren't they called... There's like bathing suits that they can wear that, that are Speedo, thongs. But kind don't of, call but them. not really... Oh, I'm different trying... ones? I don't think that they call them thongs, but it's a banana. No, not a banana hammock, but it's something kind of yeah. similar to that. Maybe it's a speedo. Yeah, but I'm almost positive. Like there are men who, who you can buy those, like and they're like cheetah print or you know mm -hmm. something out there. Speedos don't have to be a thong type. They can also be like cheeky. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. it doesn't count until they got like an inch or less. <laughs> a he string. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. A he string. <laughs> that's great that's great i like it um i don't know would you ever date a man who wore a speedo to the on the first like uh, if oh. you went to a pool you know like the first time you guys went to a pool he was just showed up in a speedo would you be turned on by that or like turned off because i know some women are like oh that's too much I would I mean, be like, it, whatever. I don't care what he's wearing. Dude, that's so attractive to me is to have the confidence to wear a speedo, no matter how like fit or not fit you are. Like that is confidence right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you just show up with a dad bun and a speedo. I'm like, damn, look at you. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you don't give a fuck that. at all. I would. I admire that. What if it's like The Rock, though? Well, then I'm mad that he's wearing anything. So, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Where's his he string? Why is there so much coverage? I don't know. <laughs> Where is the he string? <laughs> I want to see this now. <laughs> the he string. You think that's what He-Man would wear? I think so. All right, chat. I'm out of topics. Do you have anything for me, girls, that you want to talk about? Otherwise, we can close out because it's been a really good one, and I think we've had a lot of laughs. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything. I think I've <laughs> talked my face off, but my chat wants to talk politics, so. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we can't, can't do, do that, that here. Can do that <laughs> no, 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 no. Save, save everyone the headache. <laughs> Keep the headaches in one place. Uh -huh. All the anger and pain. Pain. Ooh, that was yeah, fun, a lot of though. fun. This oh, was really man. fun. Yeah, this thank was you for a really having me. Good one. Yeah, Go follow so everybody, you guys. Go follow all of them on Twitch, on Instagram, on Twitter, wherever they are. They have YouTube. That's cool too. Go check them out. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you for inviting. Fox yeah, thank you, thank you. And it was really nice meeting all of you. Like, it, yeah. like you two are new to me. I'm looking forward to like checking out your content. Uh, you seem oh. interesting. Yeah, they are. They're awesome. They're really fun. This is a good podcast. That's I like I like these. I like getting to like meet other people. Me too. It feels like I have friends. It's nice. Like it's like a genuine <laughs> way to like socialize without having like the pressure of getting out and talking to people about stuff. I don't even mm -hmm. know what. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Bye. All right, well, bye everyone. Thanks for meeting. Or th nice to meet you. Fox have a good night. Tribe and JCG. Yeah. Have a good and week, thanks ladies. again, Amaranth. Thanks yeah. again for having me. I love have, being on your stream. You're always, it's always uh, so fun here. So. Thank you for coming. Have a, nice yeah, you no, thanks. And everyone, have a good one. Stay safe. Don't get corona. <laughs> yeah. See you all. Wash your hands. Bye. Yeah, wash your hands. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank, thank you so much for inviting me. It's uh, always really fun. Like of so course. I'll catch you guys later. Yes. Oh, yeah. Bye.